As you can see, I am here with a special guest. We're going to make sure these mics are working first. Hello, hello, hello. Amazing production team behind the scenes. Is this is, is our mics good to go back there? Can they All hear right. us? We're straight. The chat's good. 
Chat, what are we saying, huh? What, what are we saying? My man Jake. We're back, baby. We're back, brother. Let's go. How you doing, The man? collab, but, not, but yes. now it's just us. It's Before just Before we were in an arena. We were in an arena. <laughs> we were both confused as hell as to what was happening. Had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I was drunk out of my mind. It was honestly great, though. It was pretty fun. We got some good feedback on that one. It felt like a WWE spectacle. It was. It, it was. Really, it really was. John the two, Fury the taking dynamic his shirt duo. off. We're back, though, and we're back for a specific reason. I'm rocking it today. I got my PFL Europe shirt on. PFL number two. We're going to watch this bad boy, and we're going to talk about all the fights on here. Jake, I want you to tell the people, the viewers, what it means to be a part of PFL and what you're building with them, man. Yeah, look, it's just an awesome, awesome organization that's really, like, shaking up the pot in terms of MMA and just being a disruptor paying fighters what they're actually worth facts like, letting them have their own Talk. sponsors Talk. um and, and the competition is growing the league is growing um the ceo peter murray don davis the chairman it's a hungry group of individuals and we want to change mma forever and give fighters the respect and the money that they deserve quite frankly and facts. and even on the women's side of things like I, we were just talking about it, like the the women in pfl are getting the same pay as men, which is unheard fun, of. Which is huge. It's, it's unheard of, really, just in any sports. Yeah. Um, so just a, happy to be a part of that movement, um, and it's it's sort of one of those things where once a company like starts to get super big, yeah, it's hard to like innovate or make changes, and I think that's like happened in the U S in the UFC, mm -hmm. and this is like a speedboat. The UFC is a yacht. We're a speedboat right now where we can do cool, innovative things, you know, testing um, the miles per hour of kicks. Yes. And different, like, stats like this AI scoring. Referee cam. The referee cam. Like, all sorts of things. The, the PFL is just... And not even to mention the season format. Yep. No one's doing that. This is sudden, like, especially for people here in America, we, we know our sports for seasons. Yeah, exactly. Basketball season, playoffs, championship, right? Yep. Same with football. We actually have an ingrained system to prove who is the best in the world. It isn't, oh, well, you sell more tickets, you got a nice way of talking on the mic. No, the best are fighting the best. And it's only in PFL. Yeah, and and there's incentive actually for like the fighters. Yeah, because they win a million dollars. That bag, baby. At the end of it. Right. <laughs> so, it makes it it makes it exciting and, um, and and it's also more challenging. I think it takes it back to like, old school fighting. Yep where you'd have to fight like two times over the a course of two days or whatever. Just same with like wrestling. You go to a wrestling tournament, you're wrestling like three, four or five times that day. So you really get to see, you know, who's the most athletic, who trained the hardest, who can stay injury free. And it just adds like a whole different element to the game. You know, speaking of that wrestling, man, I, I've been, I've been taking a, a tour around the facility. You know what I mean? I've been, Getting my bearings. Yeah, do they know we're, we're in Puerto Rico? We're in Puerto Rico. I got off the plane four hours ago. I'm a little drowsy, but... Bro, here's a... You I was going to say, you hooked it up, man. You hooked it up. I appreciate it. Shout out Celsius. Shout out, shout out yeah. Celsius here. But yeah, On I've been deck. looking around the, the studio, and I've been seeing some wrestling mats, man. I, Shh, no. Saying, you know, <laughs> hey, listen, I, I do want to know, you know, are we fighting potentially this year, next year? What are we saying, bro? Yeah, look, I mean... I think the the plans um, changed a little bit after losing. Yeah. Because I was we'll like, talk about. yeah, which we'll we'll talk. We're gonna talk <laughs> we're about for, so hey, much. We're shit. here for a little bit, brother. We got a lot. To we're talk gonna about. cover a lot of crazy topics. Yes. Um, but yeah, look. Uh, after the loss, I think you know if I was winning, 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 I probably would have fought MMA sooner. But now I think I have to like revisit mm -hmm. some of the basics in boxing and take a step backwards i'm like rebuilding my team okay uh, from the inside out and okay yeah lots of lots of big changes within the team um which is exciting um and then and i think you need that sometimes yeah. you know yeah fresh start uh a new set of eyes you, you don't really learn anything from winning this is my background on my phone it's it's easy to be the winner what are you made of now Cause like, like when that. you, when you're just going around winning, like you kind of get comfortable, mm -hmm. you don't really like take a look at yourself in the mirror, like what you could have done better in that, fight. like maybe a little bit. Um, but you, I think that subconscious allows you to kind of keep going. Cause you're like, I won anyway. Yeah, exactly. Cool, you know? Exactly. And, and especially for me, like I made the mistake of 
getting comfortable like very quickly in okay. the sport and <laughs> i hadn't been doing it my whole life yeah so like i think some boxers can get comfortable and get away with it because they've been boxing their whole life um not you but not me i not i can't you. get away with it but yeah so okay revisiting a lot of things on the boxing side um but still want to do an mma fight okay I'm, I'm looking probably late 2023 or or middle 2024 okay okay but now, we'll see yeah i we'll, gotta we'll keep it on the back burner. yeah we'll but there's we'll definitely see. some jujitsu mats upstairs hey it's hard though it's hard to balance everything like i bet dude you're doing so much stuff yeah. we talked about obviously the boxing side we'll get into that a little bit later you're doing the mma you got companies galore i've yeah. seen posters and plans and yes. all these things you have going on you got how do you do all that and keep the main Celsius. thing the main thing there you go live fit <laughs> um d caffeine yeah yeah <laughs> no but just like working around the clock but also having an amazing team that can hey, like handle the boys. they're they're there they're they're, they're just back there doing there, their thing but you, you can't see them um but <laughs> you have to build out a proper team to be able to like help you scale the infrastructure of everything facts that's like one of the number one most important things in building a business or building out your content ecosystem whatever mm, whatever okay. it might be yeah um but the team and then just being like i'm addicted to hard work like actually actually like super super addicted i'll tell you this when i first when this whole thing first started and i started covering jake paul it was when you and ryan garcia well obviously i covered you and gib and you and deji but really covering i mean like does this guy really want to do this yeah because when you and ryan garcia were doing the, the back and forth like y'all were gonna fight yeah and bro i was heated you go back and watch like 2020 wade videos it's like this guy's ruining the sport Fuck what is him. going on yeah after you know whatever no i know i know you used to say crazy things about i was me. i was dude i went wild good good it's great <laughs> nope and rightfully so like no one knew my actual intentions it was hard to tell and no one knew like how hard i actually worked i'd put out like little clips and stuff but i secretly didn't want people to know how hard i was training mm -hmm. and like how seriously i was taking it i think the cat's out of the bag now i knew it when uh the nate robinson fight i mean i really knew it when i saw you turn over a right hand versus gib i was like oh no yeah he's learning how to punch yeah because you know you were kind of slappy in the deji fight and then i was like oh no he he can box and then I was watching the NBA world because we're, we're both big sports fans. Yeah. I was watching the Seth Curry's. I was watching all the NBA guys go, yeah, Nate about to go get a dove in boxing. I'm like, no, he's not. No, he, no, no way. No shot. It's actually crazy like, to think I was the underdog against Nate Robinson. It was wild. That, which is You know what's even hilarious. crazier? I was dead set on Ben Askren beating you. No way. Dead set. You got to go I don't think it. I saw that. I don't <laughs> think I saw. you seen these videos? Bro. Bro. So. <laughs> So there's no way. Here's what here's why, right? Can I explain myself? I don't now think I'm you can. Here, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay. So you had only had you never been out of the first round. Well, you got you gotten out with Nate, but Nate was bulldozing and he was not really trying to yeah, punch you. Yeah, yeah. I was like, man, I need to see him do this to a to a seasoned guy that's been in a fight, that's had hard punches thrown at him, that's taken hard punches and been around. And I was like, what's his gas tank look like? Yeah. Because I knew you could throw and I knew you could hit hard. But what's his gas tank look like if, if Ben Askren, who got dumped on his head by Robbie Lawler and took massive shots in four-ounce gloves and won the Bellator Grand Prix when he's in there? Now, granted, I got proven wrong very quickly, and I think it was from the first little jab you threw. I was like, yeah, this is bad. As soon as I saw him, like, not react to my right hand, I loaded it up these. as hard as I possibly could. You were throwing hammers. And fucking <laughs> nailed him. <laughs> Uh, but but that's why it was ironically like it was a big fight because yeah. it was the first professional fighter. Yep. Still to this day, it's a lot of it did a lot of pay per views, and um, I think a lot of people just were super curious and didn't really know what was gonna happen. There it was. Can we talk about something the four ounce thing? Because because this is like a it's not talked about enough, but there's actually more blunt trauma from a ten ounce glove in boxing. Than a four ounce glove, so like it, it actually that. hurts you more to yeah. get hit with a ten ounce glove scientifically, okay? Um, because the surface area, surface area is bigger uh, of the glove is bigger, so it cover the impact like spreads over a larger area, right? So if you hit someone in like the perfect spot, if you touch them on the spot in MMA, it's you're it, gone exactly. But, but if you don't, 
in in boxing you it's more likely to knock them out because you don't have to hit them perfectly exactly. in the okay. spot so there's 100%. like there's this i think people need to talk about it more because there's always like the oh it, the four, four ounce glove, glove the yeah. four ounce glove and then also the fact that it is heavier you're if you're getting the the speed up on the punch and it's a four ounce you know whatever your arm weighs plus four ounces not much is coming at you there's actually less weight coming you're swinging at you. a mallet with 10 exactly you know? so if you can get the same speed it actually becomes a, a bigger weapon but obviously it, it, it's it's different but but yeah it's it's something to think about we Some got our first science. fight coming up here in a second um Lots of science coming up. A lot of science from, from Jake Paul and the team. He's getting fed these cards, I swear. I was like, where is he getting that info? But no. Yeah, we're, we got a fun fight card here tonight, man. Um, PFL number two and a season-long journey for a lot of these fighters. Like you said, the opportunity is endless here to, to become a superstar, really. You know, yep. like What I think that you, PFL, and really what you bring to the PFL is basically this light on us right here. To be able to shine a light on someone that maybe is relatively unknown to the mainstream, but known in the hardcore MMA scene. I think we're going to get one of those fighters this year, and I have a feeling you're going to be a big part of that. Though. Yeah, 100%. And that's really the goal of me and Nikisa coming over to the PFL is to make, you know, obviously help with promotion. Yep. And like like you said, shine a light kind of just, just like I did with Amanda Serrano, right? Massive. Like one of the best fighters in the world. I've just, told people, I said, I don't, like, I love Amanda. There's a running joke on my channel, by the way, that I'm I'm going to marry Amanda Serrano. I don't know if you know this, dude. She's looking for a, like a boyfriend. She's down? Like, we were talking Chat. about it. Hey, we were kind we of made it, baby. <laughs> you should you should ask her on a date. Hundred percent. There's there's dedicated Twitter and Instagram accounts called the Serrano Concept. No way. I swear. <laughs> and it's me photoshopped on some jacked up individual in like wedding photos. Yeah, no, Amanda's Amanda's very beautiful and an awesome girl. Facts. So you, you and should And she can protect me. You should, should go for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. You should go for it. I'm down, bro. Amanda. I'm here. Yeah, we should we should we gonna call her? We should see. I'm gonna oh, see if bet. I can get her on the phone. Bet. Well, while he's doing that, like he said, it is a big opportunity for a lot of the fighters here. And like I said, I have a feeling Jake, Nikisa, what they're doing with the PFL is something that is going to have lasting effects for years to come for some of these fighters. But hopefully for me, you know what I'm saying, the effect is I mean, it's around. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying. No, but yes, yeah, it's going <laughs> to happen. No, but we, we – uh... And Ashton still, by the way, too, like there, there's so many fighters that you're bringing up that – you know, people relatively know, but they're getting that light shine on them. It's like, okay, now that now they're getting that deserved credit. They, they need. yeah, you need it. Like you, that's what fighters need. I mean, essentially, to be honest, that's really all. Like, the UFC was just good at was promotion. Um, and people think I hate the UFC. It's it's, I don't hate the UFC. I don't. I think Dana White's greedy, but I don't hate the UFC. What I they, think you even respect what Dana's done. One hundred percent. And and all he really was great at was promotion. So, it's me. Me coming over and um, helping with that side of things, the media, giving these amazing fighters. We got Larissa Pacheco tonight. She nasty beat Kayla Harrison. Nasty. I, I want to see that rematch. I think it'll happen for sure. Um, oh, I guess it'll be a trilogy. It'll be but, a trilogy. But um, yeah, just to shine that spotlight yeah, on them and and to to make these bigger like crossover fights happen you know like serrano versus katie taylor like we're gonna make some super fights happen in the pfl hey um, man serrano got a couple mma fights yeah you know what i mean no we're we're working on something there we're working on something okay. there all right working on something there maybe a potential <laughs> card with jake paul and amanda on it uh. but the pfl is growing like crazy obviously on espn crazy like the viewership is going up um, the the fighters and the talent. I mean, that's that's the biggest thing is having that elite level talent that you know can create superstars. And you know what you guys are doing well? You're creating a feeder system. Yeah, I was just there at PFL Europe. I saw some of the next wave yep. of European martial arts and something that Dan Hardy has been screaming about for years. You guys aren't showing a light on European fighters. That where is the the the, the scout? for the European fighters. And I'm seeing it now. Simeon Powell, 6'5". Dude looks like Kenneth Farid over there. Insane. And and that's the thing is now the fighters have other places to go yep. versus just the UFC to 
be promoted mm -hmm. just as good and to make even more money than so you can't beat it. Chad. So you, you can't beat it. Seriously, like the the champions in in the PFL are making more money than the UFC champions, which is crazy to think that's about. That's mad, and that's why the younger talent choosing PFL should be choosing PFL. Choose PFL. There you go and choose Celsius. <laughs> I'm a walking ad, <laughs> but, but seriously, it's, it's cool, man. And makes the MMA world less of a monopoly, Facts. which is good for, it's good for everybody. It's good for everybody. Well, listen, everybody we're going to see when this main card starts, you know, we're starting out with a fight that I think a lot of people will understand the name value of. Yeah. And a relative of the great Muhammad Ali, the brother of Nico Ali Walsh. You want to pronounce his first name? You can do it, actually. This oh, is your job. <laughs> no, no, no. We were, <laughs> we were trying to do this earlier. Be, be, are people watching with us, too, yeah. by the way? Like, yeah, you guys better be watching. Can they see the feed? They, turn PFL on your TVs. On ESPN+. Plus. Turn on your TVs. We're, we're watching the stream. That's we're why live. we're kind of looking over here. That's where we're at. I don't know if they know this yet. Guys, get with the program. You know what the watch parties are on the way concept, all right? Turn on the PFL. Come watch with us. I think the fight's starting here in a bit. But his name is... Um, Bijou? Uh, Bijou, 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 I think. Bijou Ali Walsh. Bijou, Bijou Ali Walsh. Or it could be Biagio. Bago. Well, I don't know if you. I mean, he's collecting bags. Biagio. Bell, you feel what I'm saying? Facts. So, he's Facts. in an amateur fight here to lead off yep. the card. Three rounds, three minutes each round. Uh, but a little bit of a different vibe than just the boxing realm, right? And you have some. A little bit of a relationship with that family. Talk to me about what uh you know. Well, yes. I mean, first of all, it's cool. Like he he it's has the name, him. he has the hype, um, and yeah, his brother. Well, I guess there's kind of a lot of there's there's a lot of different connections. But okay. Muhammad Ali and I actually have the same birthday. What? Um, yeah, which is pretty crazy. And so okay. I've I've always looked up to him since. Well, you know that the the meme that, that goes around about you right I now. I know where it's like. It's like that, plus it's the one where my granddad had Ali. Oh, yeah. My dad had Mike Tyson. I have Jake Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I see that. I see that a I lot. I mean, listen, it makes sense. Now. It makes sense, I guess. You're sharing I, the birthday. I got I to gotta do a lot more things to For even sure. be considered at that level. For but sure. But I'm, I'm working on it. Yeah. One hey, step at a time. <laughs> it's every go. day, bro. Well, one uh, of the steps was potentially Nico Ali Walsh, yeah? Yeah, so, I mean, we I tried to fight him, but his team, like, his team denied it because because there's not that many professional boxers with oh wait this oh who wow. is it? asking you shall receive brother yeah? oh yeah yo <laughs> yo no um we're on a we're on a live stream right now we're on a live stream right now I just wanted to introduce you to my friend Wade Amanda how you doing Hi, beautiful. How are you? <laughs> um, no, like he he just has like one of the biggest uh, fight channels on YouTube, and um, basically, I got you. Hold on, I'm I'm doing Appreciate this. You, basically, um, his fans create fan pages of you and him together. They're like basically trying to see you on a relationship or something like that. So I just thought I would introduce you guys. Listen. Well, you, know, you know that that's, uh, that's not true. <laughs> it can be. But hey, it can be true, Amanda. You just gotta give me a chance, okay? <laughs> you just gotta give me a chance. I'll take you out. Nice dinner. I'm a, I'm a gentleman. My mom raised me. My James, mom raised me right. James, you know you know the plan. You know the plan that we had. That I had. Yeah, only only till like after boxing, but yeah. it's fine. Yeah. But. Listen, Amanda, He's patient. He's patient. I'm a patient man. Just like PFL, I'm a disruptor. I can disrupt the plan. Just let me know, okay? I'll be here. I'll wait on you. Whoever's coming from JK, he must be a good guy, right? Great guy. Great guy, Amanda. Great guy. I know we were talking about this on the show, so I just, yeah, I thought I'd, I thought I'd bring it up. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's almost Easter. Yeah, it's Easter time. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter, Amanda. I'm at the mall doing what I do best, I love it. I love it. All right, well, 
Um, say goodbye to everyone. We'll let you go have fun with Easter, but bye, man. Bye, Amanda. Bye. Bye, bye. It's my wifey right there, yo. <laughs> my wife. Hey, hey. It, Chat. I think it went I melted. Good. I think it went well. Like, she, she. You gotta rate like, the riz, yo. though. It, it was good. I, I was doing my best to wingman you. I think we. I to think like we, set it up in like a good way. People know the duo about like. Yeah. Wingman, <laughs> ten out of ten riz. Easy money. You know what I'm saying? W yeah. Riz, hey, I'm saying, bro. Don't let me get comfy out here in Puerto Rico now, all right? Yeah, the Serrano. Shout out to the Serrano concept. Shout out to Serrano <laughs> concept, man. Tag me on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, plus her. she couldn't even, like, hear. She was holding the phone up to her ear. All I needed was, she just needed to see it. Yeah. She just needed to see. Yeah. You saw, you, you saw the grin. It's you over, got the bro. blue eyes, the it's grin. Over. The baby blues, it's done. It's over with, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, so you're single right now? Single, bro. <sighs> Do you date out there in California or, like? I mean... I'm, I was saving myself for a special individual. So yeah, I like that. You know what I mean? I like that. Amanda's that one. <sighs> Can't be messing with these Orange County girls. You know how it is, bro. Yeah. You got to be careful out there. You got to be careful, yeah? You got to be careful Tell in California. Well, <laughs> I don't know nothing about it. I've just heard okay. that you right. got to be careful out okay. there. I'll make sure. Because I ask my peoples. everybody just... Be fucking each other. Okay, buddy. Are we allowed to swear on this? Yeah, yeah, it's YouTube, whatever. Nice. <laughs> Frick yeah. Frick yeah. But no. <laughs> so. But no, yeah. Uh, so fighting, yeah. You and Amanda and fighting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ali Walsh. Uh, yes, yeah, Nico. You were supposed to, to get it in and. Yeah, uh, I, I tried happen. to fight him because there's not that many professional boxers with a bigger brand. Which so. he does have. He started yeah. to come along. Yeah, and it's funny. Um, we actually had this like I didn't we didn't know it until <laughs> after, but a long time ago, I like sparred this kid in Vegas who was like a football player, a pro football player. Was this the guy that you broke his tooth? Yeah, exactly. Oh, what was going on with that guy? So, so I remember I made a video on this. Yeah, so basically, we were in this gym. We worked out at this gym every day. And we would go there, and this football player was there, and he was friends with my friend, D-Cut. D-Cut's a former football guy, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's how they knew each other from Hawaii. And this kid one day started talking with my coach, and he was like, yo, like, I would beat Jake's ass. <laughs> okay. And, like, a typical, right. like, he's Jack, yeah, yeah, typical yeah, yeah. football guy who could, like, doesn't realize that fighting's, like, an actual sport. Right. They think it's just brute Just athleticism strength. and strength. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, like, he starts – chatting and he comes over to me i'm like yo like you wouldn't last one round like, <laughs> just I'll stop give you, yeah. i'll give you 200 dollars. like if you could last one round boom whatever he agrees to it shows up the next day yeah and he's like i'm bringing my coach with me mm. and we didn't know it at the time but the coach in hindsight when we watched the video back we realized it but his coach was nico ali walsh so they oh, get word they get to the gym they're warming up or whatever and the tensions were kind of like weirdly like it went from like friendly to like yeah to like serious, yeah. and I started talking shit to his coach. I was like, "Yo, like fuck you, bitch! Like you get in, you get into the ring next. I'll beat your coach's ass too." <laughs> and like he, Nico like looked at me like this and like didn't say anything, and so I, I beat up that dude, um, and I guess. Th that that was really it. That's the end that's, of the yeah, story. That's but <laughs> as far as it goes. But but that is cool though. I didn't even know that. But yeah, there, there's uh he has he has a decent name brand and um wanted and still I would still fight him like still still hey. would love to run it. But I think his team his team don't want they don't that. want that right now. They don't want. They're, he's he's one of those fighters that they're you know they're building him up. Right. Fighting fighting taxi drivers, getting nice KOs. Typical boxing. Yeah. Yeah. You know how it goes. Yeah. Well, listen, bro. We got a banger on our hands right now. Uh, do you wanna you wanna go name pronunciation games with Jake Paul right here? Yeah, Marina Makatina. Almost. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't it. That wasn't it. <laughs> and then we got Yoko. Higashi. Higashi. There we go. Let's go. Yoko's first season in the PFL. Oh, Justin, Justin Roberts. Justin Roberts from Team Ten. There you go. Justin Let's go. <laughs> okay. The thing about Justin is he does AEW now. Let's see if he does it here. It sounds like he's going to herdiate himself every time he announces someone coming out. I don't know if he'll do it here, but he does it in AEW all the time. Like he's going to get a hernia? Like he screams his lungs out. I don't yeah, know how people do that without Moxley. losing their voice. They like Every event, I lose my voice. Yeah. Every event. 
Every time Logan fights or something, I lose my voice. I'm just screaming. <laughs> you have to learn to like diaphragmatic yeah, breathing, bro. Yeah, do it from there. But I don't no. fuck that. Fuck too that much. Shit. Too much to learn. So it's Maria uh, Marina's second PFL season. Back at it again. Eight and three. Five submissions. Three decisions. Uh, we also have Yoko in her first PFL season, debuting here. Three knockouts. Five decisions. Toss up fight here, Jake. But the favorite is Marina. I like this. What I want to see Start here is... Start us off good. Yes, a banger. This is what we want. Referee cam ready to go. Yeah, I wonder if that's annoying as, like, the referee to have that thing on your head. You think it has to be prescription, right? Like, you got to have some <laughs> decent glasses there. You got to be checking in on the action. You don't want to Herb Dean this thing, you know? Bro, yeah. isn't it crazy how, like, I, th some of the look, referees... Look at there. Little ref cam, man. We're live on the ref cam. It's crazy how some of the referees Wee. have more clout than some of the fighters. Facts. Like, Herb Dean has hella clout. He does. And then Dan Mergliato. Hey, okay. And then... Who's the... You know the, you know the man. The one right who now. looks like the gnome from World of Warcraft. Do you ever play World of Warcraft? Who is that? The What's dwarf. His name? It's not even his beard. It's his mustache. But but you, does anyone here play World of Warcraft? The the dwarf? He looks you a like... You WoW player? What? You get down on WoW? I used to go crazy, bro. Oh, nice right hand. I, my brother and I were addicted to World of Warcraft, and yeah. I think um, my dad, like, Ooh, yes sir, deleted my brother's account. Was it one of those things like that that Taj Point O segment the where the, the kid out. freaked out and tossed his lost his fucking mind? <laughs> Y'all had hours. Should have filmed that, huh? it. Yeah, we were. I was really good at WoW back in the day. A little overhook here from. Higashi, you want to? Jake, you're a wrestler here with that overhook. If you're Higashi, you want to? I'm la I'm throwing a lat drop. Yeah. I'm letting her, I'm letting her come off the cage, throwing a big old lat drop. Immediate lat drop. Yeah. They gotta work through this clinch. There Oy. we go. There we go. Nice takedown there. And again, Marina favored here to minus five eighty. You're seeing a lot of this grappling in MMA now. I think Habib kind of revolutionized it where it is a lot of not just cage work, but once you get an opponent to the ground, working upper body and then trying to pin those legs underneath. I see a lot of people doing that It's now. crazy because if, if you master that in this sport, like, it's really It's tough. almost GG. Yeah, you can't. It's overpowered. OP. Because a lot of takedowns, especially – Against the cage is a lot of upper body work, and if you watch a guy like Colby Covington dragging people back down, letting them up, dragging them back down, Habib had kind of mastered that leg pin where he's just got you half canvas, half cage, and he's just working his way to a choke or ground and pound. And they're just resting the whole time. Yeah, you're holding that weight for him. Like this, this for Marina is like just chill vibes. Nice a little two on one action, and they break. I like Agashi's hair. Yeah, you gonna think about going to die? I thought about dyeing my hair, but then I, I don't know. The blonde's kind of my thing. Blonde's kind of it. You used to have that stupid blonde hair. What happened there? Was, it, was that dyed or what was that? Yeah, I bleached it, and it <laughs> turned out terrible. It was like white. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It was like a one of my ten quarter-life crises, you know. Sometimes you just got to. <laughs> you got to talk to Logan about his style, man. What's going on with his hair? That fool don't, he don't cut his hair. He's got a mullet. Yeah. I th I don't know what's wrong with him. He doesn't even like dress himself or like <laughs> he just like wakes up and puts on random ass shit. Yeah, bro. He needs a, he needs help. You got to style him, dude. Cuz he he's like I don't know, it's nice overhand there, Marina. Like he could just dress a little bit better. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, Logan. I'm sorry. But he just doesn't care, which oh, I yeah, which yeah. I respect. Are we going <clears> to <throat> Oh, nice. Little lead uppercut there. Are we going to see a Paul Brothers potentially in the PFL together? <sighs> Yeah, we we're we're ready for you, Logan, at the PFL. Hey, we we got contracts for you. He knows that. He knows that. Of course. I think he uh, he has his prime partnership, but um with with the UFC. But yeah, but but I don't think the UFC would like let him fight there. But look at that beautiful double leg off the right hand level change. Jake, you taking notes, bro? <laughs> I'm I'm not. You're not taking notes I'm on not. that. I'm not. I need I need to be. That was a beautiful right hand <laughs> that was level clean. change. That was nice. Really clean. Bo didn't teach you that, bro. He was in here working with you. No, I. Uh, he I think he did teach me that actually, <laughs> but actually, I forgot. Yeah, no, he did. 
Look at that. Ooh, nice slam. Okay, this. Got the back. Throw the hook in. She's going crazy, yep. Loki. Oh, rear naked. Under. Yep, rear naked. Rear naked. Fight that. Does lead she hand. got it? Fight the top hand. Does I she got, got it? Look at that beautiful switch, too. Fight it. See, she might have the neck crank in yep, there, too. Yep, yep. She's uh -oh. not under right now. She's uh -oh. chilling. She's chilling. She's chilling. That's not under. We good. See, we but good. are you allowed to grab their nose and pull the neck? Off? Don't. Yeah, you don't see. It. Oh, look at neck crank. You don't see it. A lot, that's what I would think do. So go right in the mouth, right? Just I would yap. grab the lips. Yep. Grab the lips. That's gotta. That's just should be Jake legal. Jake Paul, everyone. Grab the lips grab and the lips sink and in the rear naked. Okay, buddy. Things are getting sexual. <laughs> Things are getting very <laughs> expletive. Okay. But you know what? I got you doing a good job here fighting the lead, fighting that hand, the top hand. And listen, I know this because I just, I don't know if you saw this, Jake, but I just received my white belt. Oh, oh, oh there it oh, is. That's oh. in tight. That's in tight. Yeah, referee's taking a good close look. Oh, end of the round. Oh, Woo! Saved by the bell. Yeah, saved man, I don't know if you bell. saw. I'm a white belt now, bro. Like, don't At, get, I'm the, just saying. Well, so. I'm just saying, don't get too comfortable. So, <laughs> don't lie. everyone's a white belt. Well, no, but I got Everyone mine. in the world's a white no, belt. No, but I got it, though. Like, it's official now. Like, I showed up to the class. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking so, one but more you step got it the rest of the world. But they put it on you and tie it before you even start the class. <laughs> no, no, not... not. Pff, hold on. You're talking about Faye Sensei school, right? Oh. He makes you earn that Does he do... Belt. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Bro. He okay, makes you okay. earn it. You, know what I'm saying? you should so come what, out, man. So how did you earn it? Like, one class or something? It was a class and, like, a private session after? What up? I honestly... <laughs> What's up? That's great, yeah. No, that's really. I'm proud of you. Thank actually. you. I'm just saying, don't get comfortable. I'm a karate white belt. Now. I feel like I would fuck people up in in jujitsu just because my wrestling is like really Ooh. good and I could like understand. Now you I know really... what they do. What? Look at that nice crown and pound. Round two here. Now I will say there is a wrestling stigma that you guys are not comfortable on your back, right? That you guys are, are almost it's ingrained in your head to be able to to give your back to get back to your feet, right? You don't want to be on your back. You guys are not used to being there for the, you know, because you, you don't want to get pinned. So have you been able to adjust in any kind of training so far for something like that? Yeah, like in, just in the like little bit of jujitsu that I've done. Yeah. I don't feel that uncomfortable Oy. for whatever reason. It's coming pretty naturally to you, which it yeah. will for, for the most part. The grappling stuff, right? You, you've done that for years. But I guess it's kind of like a good thing if you're not comfortable there anyways because you still want to like get back up. Big takedown. And if I, if I do MMA, whoever I fight is going to do two things. Okay. Try to take me down. Yeah. And try and kick me. They're Leg not going to try to box. Leg kicks all day. At all. So, like. No, they're not, that boxing range is not something that you're going to see very much. Yeah. So, really just got to. I, but I, what's interesting, man, is like. You got a freaking. I don't. Oh, mounted crucifix. Beautiful. <sighs> Pin that arm. Boom. Mount a crucifix. Oh, wow. Bang. Oh, wow. Hammers. Nice work there from Marina. Yeah, like, I don't know my wrestling level, obviously, because it's been a minute, but you versus Logan I competed on the match right now. in wrestling. Yeah. It, w it would be really good. I think I think Logan would probably have the edge. He though. might stop this here. Yeah. Yoko's getting beat up. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Wow. Let's go. Marina, last name, go. <clears throat> Magnatina. That's what it says here, folks. She takes her first win of the season. An outstanding performance. Massive, yes. Outstanding. Big takedowns. Three of those. Kind of did what she wanted on the ground there, too. A potential Jake Paul performance there. Yeah, bro. He take him down. Ground and pound. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, oh. Potential, potential. Like, like, like what someone would you. do to me? Well, you know. I, I Maybe a white belt like me. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so so you got your white belt. So I got my white belt. Um, and That's you guys huge, are seeing on huge. screen right now just complete domination from Marina. Yeah, uh, I got my white belt from basically getting mounted by Sensei and not being able to get up. That's how embarrassing it was. That's good, man. I Do you ever see yourself fighting? Yeah, I think so. With do the you, right training. Do you, do you train at all yet? Not now. I did before. Muay Thai before. Three years of Muay Thai. Got into the boxing, then decided, you know what, body? Why don't you just shut down in all aspects? Blood clots, surgeries. Look at this Wait, bad boy. I'm going to show you on camera. You ready? Wait, wait. This is my surgery from, I think, the time I started covering you. 
Oh, yeah, shit. Money. What what happened? Uh, so I had what's called a lateral ligament tear. So, you know, you roll your ankle. Yeah. Whatever. You roll it. You roll it. Well, I played football for 16 years. Uh, shout out University of Tennessee Tech. And I just rolled my ankle all the time. So I'm running one day in Orange County. Rolled it. This time it snapped. Tore the, tore the straight ligament. Straight through. Just couldn't walk. So we had the surgery. Um, and after surgery, wow. I got a blood clot. Wow. Yeah, because I was sitting editing my own YouTube videos, bro. So you weren't moving enough. No. Just pulling in my leg. So from what there, I developed. What position did you play in football? Quarterback in high school. I was cold with it, bro. Option read quarterback. Nasty. Nasty. But you got to remember, you got I, the came height. From, I came from Loudon, Tennessee. Shout out Loudon. Uh, I graduated with 60 kids. 60. I was the biggest kid on my team at 6'3", 190 pounds. That's crazy. Like, bigger than my offensive lineman. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. But Tennessee Tech's Division One, no? Yeah, FCS, man, yeah. Wow. I walked on, earned my scholarship. Nice. Uh, and then didn't want to go to school. So yeah, <laughs> so fuck I, that. When my eligibility and then was is up, that I when like, you started your YouTube channel? So I bounced, went to, went to Orange County, uh, spent three years in Orange County working as a golf cart cleaner at Coda de Casa where the Orange County Housewives film. People out yeah. there, bro. Yeah, let me tell you. <laughs> they're crazy. Well, no, they're just disrespectful. Like, oh, here's $20 yeah. to clean my clubs, peasant. And I'm like, oh. All right, Mrs. Freaking. <laughs> yeah, people are rude out there. But I was I was they? working in a 24-hour fitness as well, double job in it, and then I would come home and make YouTube videos. I would do eight-hour live streams just like this. This is this is where it started. Is doing live streams. Doing live streams That's every weekend. Crazy. I would do I would do the early prelims all the way through the card on on all fight cards I could find. That's amazing. And I would stream for two people, myself and my mom. She would watch it on another computer. You would have literally like two. one, two viewers? Literally. Like you're, you're, How about this? You know, there's a... That's crazy. <laughs> bro, listen to I this. I fuck with that. Marina's getting her uh, hand raised right now. Congrats, Congrats to her on the win. I used to do it on Twitch as well. And Twitch has an in-system in, uh, viewer bot that it sends to your chat every time you live stream. It's called Commander Root. And it's basically to make sure you're not breaking TOS. I thought that was a real viewer when I was streaming. I was like, yo, bro. Someone's watching. I'm like, I would shout him out. I would shout him out. I'm like, yo, Commander Root, what's good? I'll see you again. No. It's a freaking automated way. bot. And I did that for a year, not knowing. I, I thought I was homies with this thing. And it was a bot. That is hilarious. <laughs> that is absurd. I was like, this is my homie. Yo, dude. that's. <laughs> oh, gee. Uh, but man, no, that, that's how it started, man. You got you to gotta start with that one bot watching Max, you. Bro. Just grinding. Run those numbers up. <laughs> Yo, see it if the bot crazy. has any friends. <laughs> Send all the bots to this live stream. You know what really That's popped cool. it off, though? Megan Anderson on screen, by the way. Presenter for ESPN and the PFL. Former championship contender in the UFC. She runs her own Twitch channel as well. But you know what uh, changed it was I was on a trip to Vegas with my then-girlfriend, and we started covering YouTube boxing, man. I started doing live streams in the car, covered the KSI Logan fight, covered your fight with Dej. That that started to pop off. Started to see it a little bit of a difference. And then your fight with Gib, I covered, and I was like, okay, there's something here. Because a lot of people were making fun of you guys. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I, I, I have this saying in my life, and I don't know, you might be able to relate to it. I know enough to know I don't know a lot. Right? That's good. And when I was doing YouTube boxing, I knew en enough about boxing from my time in Muay Thai and boxing to know okay, well, I can speak to these guys' talent level and how they're growing. Now, I'm not going to go and criticize or try to critique Canelo Alvarez, who's a potential future opponent for you. Yes. But um, I think it's I think it'll happen. Yeah? I just think he's going to, like, he's chasing bags. Like, he doesn't care about the belts anymore. Facts. He wants money fights. Now, do you think, <clears throat> what's more realistic to Jake Paul? Conor McGregor boxing match? Canelo Alvarez boxing match? Canelo for sure. Really? I think Connor's just like sort of tapped out, and I don't think Dana that's a, would ever let him do that. I don't that. know if that was a Freudian slip, but that was a perfect way to say it. Connor's tapped out. Yeah, literally. No, in all ways. <laughs> in all ways. <laughs> in all ways. <laughs> I, I, it'll be really interesting to see him come back, but he's just not been focused, man. Like, you can't be inactive and Facts. partying and Facts. filming movies. and. What do you mean I can't film movies, mate? Is that what he says? That was me. That was do me doing Connor for you. He needs to fucking, uh, whoever, like... You can have a conversation with him. He's here right now. Go ahead. Well, who, well hey, Connor. Like, bro, bring, well, so, the, bring the beard back because you look like a fucking cornball without Okay, first of all, well, listen crazy. here, mate. I'll snap you in half. <laughs> That's, you I do, do that, right? <laughs> That's pretty good. But, yeah, it's... Uh, you little nobody. 
Nah, bro. I think I think. Listen, there's some big potential fights out there for you. One because the name value you have. Two because you you mix it up with some guys, and and I've never seen you people get a reaction the way you can get a reaction out of guys. When I remember you went, I don't know what UFC event. I think it was 268. You went. And you had Daniel Cormier finger wagging you in the crowd. I was like, dude, I just pointed to my hand. I was like, he's got him. Bro, he's in the palm of my hand, like yeah. a grown ass man coming up to me, telling me to keep his name out of my mouth. Like, I, he gave me exactly what he, exactly I what wanted. You wanted. And so did the entire and these crowd. Pe- these people get so mad and like bent out of shape and worked up. I mean, same same thing with KSI. Like, yeah. he's like a. I, I see right through him because I used to be like him. I used to be like the insecure, famous dude who like didn't who had this like fake confidence. What do you think about all the stuff he's going through right now? Did you? I don't know if you. I'm sure I've, you got to no, keep for up sure. With it. I mean, I've seen it, but like, I, what he, do you think? He's that like is, a man? he's I th- just like an egotistical narcissist. Like I see it. Yeah, I see it, and his his image and how people see and view him means everything to him like he can't sleep at night unless people like him and he's winning and he's the man and um you said you used to I be used like to that. be like that right I used to be like that but and it, and it was this big long journey for me because I woke up one day and I was like this is like terrible like why am I why am I like this and it, it took me years to like find self-love and I, I'm I'm still working on it like crazy Facts. but like and it's a never-ending process. You're always going to, like, run into new challenges and stuff. But I realized I placed so much of my happiness into, like, my audience and how people viewed me and content and if I was successful and views and all of these things. Um, and it's just, like, so unhealthy. And it I think a lot of you guys, I mean, <clears throat> I can even feel it in myself a little bit now, but I think everybody that's as successful as you, KSI, even Logan, you got to feel a little bit of that. You kind of like have to be like that yeah. to get to that level. But I just didn't want to do that anymore and it's just like moved on. And, and in my life's been so much more peaceful since then. And, um, and I, but I see that KSI is still so deeply into that. He's in the weeds with it for He's sure. He's in the fucking weeds and in, in the thick of it for sure. And, um, and I think honestly, I think it's a good and bad thing. I think for him, because listen, I think everybody has seen what happened, you know. Yeah. Uh, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I we I talked to JJ. I, I genuinely I like JJ. He's a good guy, and I know that you guys have your beef, and I think I think one day, maybe it won't be that way, because I think you guys are so much alike. It's like two Rams, just this. That I, I don't think you guys are necessarily alike in the way that's like oh they're the same person i think mindset wise you guys are alike a lot no for sure i see a lot of similarities that's why i know what he's going through i could see yeah. how he acts and i'm also like can manipulate his mind like i'm in control of like bro anything i say to this guy he freaks i mean the reason he's mad was mad at you was because of me no he well he thought and so did i guess a lot of people on our team that i was playing both sides which I, you and i have never spoken N- ever never like and by the way, that's your fucking job. Like you care that much. Like no. he's a this guy's thirty, by the way. Like I don't even know how old you are. Guess. I think you're like twenty seven or eight. Ooh, I'm a young young bull out here. I'm thirty. Okay, so 30. he. But this is what I'm saying. Like he's thirty years old. And he acts. It's see, like I don't even like to go into this shit because people just think I'm talking shit. Well, I, like, I think that it's more so like, and they just think I'm like biased. And of course, we've had this right. beef for so long. But like, genuinely, from the outside looking in, if you like had a psychologist or someone like assess this guy, he's just brittle, and he clearly has this thing where like anyone that is with me around me sides with me likes me he like wants to be better than me and prove that and that's his like mission as a 30 year old to to compete with me to, and you, yeah. to, to prove that he's better and tougher than me but, and that's like all his world revolves around and that's why whenever i like say something about him or whatever he just freaks the fuck out and like to me i'm like sitting on my phone laughing and like mm. having a fucking blast not a care in the world, but I could see that it actually like the shit talk actually gets to him. And the the moment I really realized it was when we were on that like Twitter live thing. Oh, the Twitter space. Yeah, the Twitter space. 
and he just like, like crumbled yeah. had nothing to say got embarrassed was just you said one of the funniest things i think i've ever heard on a twitter space you said you it was ski mask on yeah bank robbery yeah i'm gonna knock him out and do a front flip off his dead body yes I was like, <laughs> jesus christ i was about to get on a plane i went oh my God. yeah <laughs> yeah was like burnt that was just graphic bro yeah. but no, i think I, like i said i think that he is a very determined individual and i know that especially recently he's had a lot that he's just like a lot of external stuff i can tell and it, we talked about it but his goal is to put you down that's it no that and that's great like i'm i'm happy for him like i don't i don't wish harm upon the kid like i i respect his hustle i respect his determination his yeah. w his work ethic like i know i know and, the kid know, is a legit worker and like and he's smart with his businesses and etc but yeah. but um he thinks the same about you by the way like he, yeah. he does respect that you work your ass off like yeah that's that's what i'm saying there's mutual respect there it's just something's got to get settled yeah you know? we just gotta that's it. fight that's it and and really like if it if it wasn't for seeing how the fight affected my brother back in it's the a day big factor yeah i don't think i would even give a fuck i'm really still doing this for logan because that's why i became so good at boxing was because I saw it, this shatter my brother and like his yeah. ego and identity and confidence. And I saw it happening to him and he, and he told, he literally, I can remember the moment vividly. My brother it's was on camera. Yeah. My brother. Yeah. And he grabbed me and was like, yo, like you need to go fucking beat this kid. Yeah. And since that day, like I've just been on this, on this mission and the mission's changed, but right. that's what really initially started it. And I, I know deep down, like, Logan can play both sides and say like Logan's playing both sides. You heard it here first. No, he no. is. He is uh, publicly. Yeah. And and He's I in have a tough even, spot too, you know. It's like Well, he put himself in that tough spot. Yeah, he so did. he can, no one like he can't complain about it. But I mean, at the end of the day, that's blood. I I know deep down Logan wants nothing more than to see me knock out KSI. He won't say that. Of course. But but it's blood, man. And especially what like yeah. you said, I watched you and by the way, we have uh, another fight on our hands. Yeah, we got Martin's carried away. <laughs> and no, I love the conversation. Uh, I was going to say, I saw you that night. You know, I saw you the way it affected you, too. Because, yeah. you, you know, it affected Logan a certain way. And I think you watching your brother go through that. Yeah. And how it affected the whole family. Yeah, it was You're doing tough. that for the Paul family, man. Exactly. You know what I mean? No, exactly. And, and I think, yeah, KSI's, like, whole goal is to... Uh, to beat me and he needs me for his legacy i think that's the biggest thing for him is yeah. like in his mind and and i think to the world yeah like if he beats me his legacy is complete like mm. he's um you know doing all the youtube stuff and was the king of influencer boxing whatever that's like what's going on in his head so he needs me for his legacy to sort of have this cherry on top and kind of like be completed because he's had a great run. Yeah. Um, Guillotine. But for me, it's like, it's like a side quest. It, it was a big part of my mission and still love the fight, still going to do it at some point. But for me, um, I want to fight real, real fighters and right. professionals and, and climb up the rankings and see how far I could take it. That might be a fight, you know what I'm saying, the next one coming up. You got something in the works? I got something in the works. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of conversations going on. Okay. Like, Interestingly enough, like m more people wanted to fight me after, after losing. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Well, those PPV numbers came in, buddy. That's what happened. That's facts. That's what happened. That's facts. You guys pulled crazy, man. I, I think, thought I, I was surprised. I think it's the biggest in the past two years. Yeah, it was massive. Out of any boxing event. I think it's the biggest since... What do you think... I mean, I, I the obvious answer is you and Tommy Thane. What do you think contributed to that high a number? I think the... Both of us being young, undefeated, the family aspect of it, yep. the shit talk, the multiple promotions that the, fell I, through. You know, I was going to say, the two yeah. fights that fell through really yeah. did... 
ended up paying off. So we got to use all of that marketing as well. Um, and then the timing of it was perfect. There was February 26th, right? Uh, there was 5th or 6th. Oh, yeah. Nice elbow from so back there. There yeah, was like was no other sports going on. That's right. The time slot was good. It was prime time in the UK. You guys had this this relative unknown YouTuber doing eighteen hour live streams. I don't know if you. Yeah, you pushed it. You were the main. <laughs> <laughs> you were the Come main check, reason. Right? No, <laughs> nah, it was honestly. I was so excited for that fight. I've been telling people for years that was the one, man. Yeah, and and um, just the general interest, and then I think all of like the stars being there. In the lead up, I'll tell you this: Uncle Mike looked like a proud. He looked like a proud uncle. Mike Tyson was there like a proud uncle, wasn't he? He was having Had a his blast. Camera out. He's like, "Go on, Jakey, go, 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 go on! You're doing great, sweetheart." <laughs> you know, he's like going for it. Yeah, he's the best man. Yeah, such a good guy. You are the only man I think that could ever get Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury to handshake and hug. <laughs> After their beef, you saw that crazy, yeah. No, but then, but then Deontay <laughs> Wilder right after it. was right like, the only reason I was nice to him is because we we're in Saudi and <laughs> I was right fuck back him up, it. but I hate him. Or he just got he the number one rank too. Deont- WBC number one. Deontay. <laughs> we might be seeing a, Tyson and Deontay number four. Fourth? Yes, bro. Jesus. I wow. Hey man, he still got that one. Wow. You know what? You know what Teddy Atlas calls Deontay Wilder's right hand. Hmm. The great eraser. Yeah. He I, erases all his flaws. I think he, he's the only person that could beat Tyson Fury because you have to knock out Tyson Fury. Yeah. You don't think you don't think Usyk dances nah, on him? Uh-uh. Zero percent chance. Tyson does what he wants with him? Yeah. Yeah? It, I mean, if Tyson, if Tyson beats Usyk, I think he's... He's GOAT? The greatest heavyweight of all time, I think. Who's the greatest right now, in your opinion? Because I got an answer for you. Like pound for pound number one? No, heavyweight. Oh, uh, I I think Tyson. You think Mike Tyson is? No, Tyson Fury. Oh, Tyson Fury. Would you would you give credence to the argument of Lennox Lewis? You're oh, so you are saying all time? All time heavyweight, yes, not pound for pound. <sighs> yeah, no, for sure. Because he was undisputed. Then. No, for sure. You know, even if he lost, right? He lost it. He lost to a, an almost opponent of yours, father, right? Rockman Senior. Yeah. But came back and knocked him out. I, I think that's the thing, though, is that I don't think any heavyweight has retired undefeated, and that's where I think Tyson Fury. Fair. He's definitely avoided some people, but if he that fights, Joshua fight, yeah, if, but but no, like I love Anthony Joshua. Now but I agree with different. you. It's I different. It's different. Like Joshua Anthony off Joshua, the Klitschko fight, his, though. Yeah, in his prime, it would have been different, but so back in Martin's round two here, stop going like this. Stop! I'm touching. I'm fucking up the mic. Sorry, oh, guys. Oh, okay. I have AD, I have severe He's ADD, doing the chicken dance, you and know I mean? start like twisting this, and I start tweaking out. Like I can't. No I need. Where do I put my hands? No worries. Got the Ricky Bobby disease. Yeah. Evelyn Martins and Carolina Sobek right now getting it in. Both ladies in their first PFL season. Sobek I think took the first round pretty handily. Now, Jake, you're seeing on screen the bonus points for this season. Did you see that? Yes. So, so this is the scoring to get for the playoffs. Correct. Yeah. And you're getting bonus points for finishing the fight in the first round. Points go down in the second and third. But still, if you finish the fight, you get bonus points on top of your victory. We just saw that in the first fight with a second round finish. Five points to uh, Marina. So everyone's going to be looking for that finish. Again, more incentiviz- uh, incentivization. How about that word? Incentivization. Come on, bro. Spell it. <clears throat> I N. C E N T I V I T A T I O N. Chat, you're gonna have to double check it, but it sounded In- nice. Incentivization. Incentiv. Incent. What's the word again? <laughs> <laughs> Incentivization. Incentive. I didn't even have a Z in there. Incentivize. Yeah, you had a Z. You you said Z. Did I? Yeah, you said Z. I N C E N T I V I Z. Incentivization. A T I O N. That's what I'm saying. I think that's a dub. Crown him. Spelling bee champ. Yo, next up, bro. Influencer spelling bees. <laughs> Dog. Let's get That'd that shit. That'd actually be funny as Let's fuck. Let's get that shit. That's hilarious, I'd actually. Sure. I'd moderate. That's what I'd do. I'd moderate it. Martin's here, half guard. Or, excuse me, uh, side control. The problem here is. 
if you're Martins, you had a chance early in the first round. Guillotine was locked in. So now, after being on your back for four minutes there, you're going to have to start to work on top here to really land some significant strikes and turn this fight around. Because in all reality, she's down one round already. Yeah, so I think I blacked out because I... You're going even, crazy. I don't even think You're I... You're spitting. Yeah, I don't even think I saw the... First round was basically Sobek on top. Uh, Martin's looking for a guillotine for about two and a half minutes. Probably gassed her arms out a bit. But Brazilian jiu-jitsu, high-level grappler. You see her trying to step over in a mount here. And again, with this incentivization, bars... Incentivization. That's got to be a word, Is right? it? A, I don't think it's a word. If I'm making it up, that's clean off the top of the dome. Yeah, we should, you know. we should make sure it becomes a word. I heard you guys were building the studio upstairs. You might need to have me in for a couple, you know, 16. I'll lay down 16 bars. Incentivization. Bro. It's a word, ain't it? It's with an S. Oh. So it goes from incentivize with a with Z, a Z and they to switch you, an S. They switch it on you. That's fucked up. Jake, Welcome when you coming out with a new language. song, man, I think the people want the people want a new one. Oh no, it is it is with a Z. So I spelled it right. Yeah. W. Thank you guys for coming to the spelling bee. When I need to drop a song. You That's know, what I'm saying. So what was your last song? It was the diss track. Yeah. Yeah, Dana White. It was a good one though. It was good. It, the music video confused me though, and I'll tell you why. I don't know if you saw my, my breakdown on it. I didn't see it. You. Or in the video, you know, first, first off, the, the the video is fighter pay. You know, you don't pay your fighters. And the first bar you have is, first of all, Masvidal, you ain't shit. <laughs> you ain't rich. You ain't rich. Yeah, and then yeah. What's the next part? First of all, Masvidal, you, you ain't, ain't rich. rich. 50 fights for five mil, that pay ain't shit. shit. Right after you're like, data pay. It's a bar. But then you go, the video confused me because th there's the guy, right? He's the fighter. He's in the hospital. They're not paying bills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Whatever. yeah, yeah. But then in the end of the video, the person that knocks him out is, is you me. with a chair. I was like, Jake was the villain the whole time. Yeah, man. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> you, we need you on set next time for the storyline. I was like, wait a second. The guy that Jake was just. Fuck. But now you had the Jack Daniels in there. It was a good. It was a nice video. You got Chris Cyborg to cameo. How yeah. about that? The, the video didn't do like any good numbers, though. Like it fell flat, kind of. Really? It, it's only. I got, think my breakdown might have done probably more views. More views. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> it's my like lowest viewed music video I think ever. Sorry. Which I don't know why because it it seems like it, it was a perfect. It was a perfect popped time for off, it. Yeah. but it only got like f five mil views, four or five. Okay, like, no, it's mine, not did, good. mine definitely didn't do more than that. It's not good for only for four or five mil. No big deal. Fell flat. No big deal. But I need you to need get, to drop a new I one. I need then. to get back in the studio. So, um, Jasper. My best friend. Yeah, yeah, saw him earlier. He's, yeah, he's here somewhere. We should get him on here to just say stupid shit because he's hilarious. But the man. um, he's gonna drop an album soon, or he's okay. working on. It. He's gonna start to work on it. Some hammer fist and there. He's from gonna back to end the round. He's gonna have me uh feature on one of the songs, like doing a verse. Okay. So that'll probably be my next. What's the What's the favorite song, Jake Paul? I think. Park What's the South, one you play? Park South is freestyle. the one that you play on the Nate Robinson on your video on your channel. The Nate Robinson knockout. What one is that? That's Park South that's, freestyle. That's your best song. Bars. That, that that one I went absolutely stupid. That one. It's, that one's my favorite song. It's here. my favorite. We just like went crazy on the music video. Like I don't know. Everything about it is 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 really fun. You, bro, I miss need, doing music. You need a sixteen. You know I got. I'm a wordsmith like that. You you can you can write. Like you rap or you just freestyle something? You know? <laughs> I kind of want to hear this. If we get a certain number of viewers, Wade's going to freestyle. Bet. Bet. Where are we at right now? I don't even know where we're at. What's the chat at right now? 7,200 people in the chat okay. right now. So we, hit we, 10, get, we hit 10K, I'll, I'll drop some bars. If we hit 10K viewers. <laughs> I'll drop bars. 10K Wade, concurrent. Wade's going to freestyle. I'm dropping bars. <laughs> send, this, send the link out to your friends. Facts. <laughs> Your mothers. Oh, how Send about it this? To your this, is, this is really cute. Speaking of mothers, I'm sitting in. Uh, so you fu you fucked my mom. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. No, That's just what I came to. That's not mind. where I was going sorry, with that. Sorry, sorry. By the <laughs> by the way, we're in round three here. Martin's in Sobek. Uh, the line is actually switched here, so it looks like we, we're, we're even money basically. Uh, both both ladies need to win this third round, but it, it, this is a cute story. So my mom loves my channel obviously is super proud you know proud mom she was your first viewer first viewer right that's the og and uh 
she's my world. My mom is. That's so, amazing. Yes, dude. So she is just now discovering Twitter. And your mom <laughs> follows me on Twitter. And she, you know, likes stuff sometimes. Yeah. I'm like, oh, cool. That's, that's Mrs. Pam, you know. That's cute. So my mom now found out that that's your mom. No way. And she wants to be friends. No way. Yes. She's like, I, I love it. She's like, because my mom's now tweeting because she's like, maybe if I tweet enough, like Jake's mom will like want to be friends with me. Yeah, no, my <laughs> mom loves Twitter and her tweets are hilarious. They're the like, best. they're just so they're the best mom tweets. Mom ever. tweets. Yes. I'm so proud of my boys. <laughs> XOXO, heart, heart, heart. heart she heart. reminds me a lot of my mom, though, because she's just like a, a Midwest, like, yeah. loving, very supportive there. Sweet, mother. sweet. Yeah. Sweetest lady ever. Shout out to my mom. Shout I love out, you. Pam. Shout out, Mrs. Pam. Yeah, maybe they could be friends. They got to be at this point. It's it's tough, too, like, for parents with their kids being in, like, media and stuff. Yep. And, like, the exposure. They could always, yeah, they could always use a, someone to relate to about that. Funny stuff. enough, your dad. Jake Paul joins the show. Look hey, at, look at that. What time is it right now? I'm going to actually, 10 p.m. I thought I'm joining hours. at 7.05. Damn, we've already, we've been on for an hour. Oh, look at this inside trip. No, no, sir. I'm pretty sure at 10 p.m. Eastern. That's got to be right before the main. You going on prime time, buddy? And you going on ESPN two? Bro, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to be on at 7:05. I might have missed it. They said, "Listen, we can't have him on the prelims. We got to bump him up to the main event." Plus, I thought the it we're was doing yeah. With the I Ali thought, Walsh. I thought we did too. Maybe I got scrapped or maybe they're just rearranging the card a little bit. But listen, I'm not mad at it. We have a great women's fight on our hands here. Yeah, I don't even know. I, I don't even know. They're putting you on, on ESPN the deuce, boy. You understand? This ain't no ESPN plus. ESPN dose. Dose on them. I made it. I made we need it this big. inside trip. Martin's got to head this. A little judo throw. Step over. Judo is really underrated in MMA. It's. I mean, Kayla Harris. It's so clutch. Another another PFL Europe prospect, uh, Dakota Ditchova. <sighs> High level. I mean, we talk about one of the innovators of women's MMA, Ronda Rousey. Yeah, she was Her judo great is nuts. at judo. Her judo is nuts. If if Ronda Rousey doesn't decide she wants to be the women's Mike Tyson, I think she stays around a lot longer in the UFC. But she was a rocket ship, though, man. Oh, you're saying like if she didn't, if she didn't yeah, decide, yeah. let me just box everyone. Yeah. You know, yeah. Head movement, head movement. I want to see Ronda Rousey come back and nah, do a I'm fight. Not. It's over. Oh, look at that! I remember Outside being suite. a kid, like seeing Ronda Rousey. It she was, was like, a, like she was a rocket ship, man. Yeah. And and really, PFL has that type of star on their hands. With, I mean, we talked about Kayla Harrison, Larissa Pacheco. We talked about Pacheco, but I I truly think. You got Sammy, uh, Sammy Joe Luxton's coming through as well, but I truly think Dakota Ditchova is, is one of these superstars in the women's division that, granted, she's not on the on the, the main season PFL yet, but she's taking over the scene in Europe. I think she really can do some stuff. She was on Ariel's show last week as well. Look at that out. Look, oh, you see that my, ankle pick? Oh, leg. Is this that was a nice. Leg? I think she – Oh, oh. I think it got messed up. Not a much you lock? can do here, yeah. She's trying to go a little – Leg lock, maybe heel hook, but a little submission. nothing under the – maybe a little, little toe. A oh, little no. toe submission. A little toe hold. A little break the pinky off. <laughs> that's what they're is teaching you, Jake. Is that a thing? Yeah, names, so white you know? belts are learning the <laughs> pinky submissions. The pinky toe hold. Yeah, that's – that's got to be dangerous. But Martin's I really, really want to know if you can grab the old fish nose. hook, yeah. I don't think you can fish hook, huh? I like, mean, if you can't fish hook, then you can't nose grab, I wouldn't think. But you could probably. But lift you can. Up. But you can. You you guys smother breathing all the time. You know when wrestlers are on top, they're sm they're like putting their hand. I do that down. in boxing too. Yeah, smart. When they're like under me. Yeah. Why not? You do a little elbow elbow picks too, on the outside. You, like like oh, elbow turns. It? Yeah, yeah. Pull them turns. I, I haven't. You haven't utilized that one yeah. yet. Yeah. That's a cheeky one though. Yeah, I need to get. You know what people be saying? You be you be you be utilizing the headbutt. Me. That's what they say. What they I've say. never headbutted anyone. It's just you level changing. Because you and Tyron Woodley level change at the same time. Just yeah. Boom, boom. We were. That was annoying. Yeah. That like ruined What cut you up that fight? Was it that was elbow? elbow. It was elbow. It was elbow. Bad, bro. I, I went down there. That was your like first a, experience with that, huh? Bro. That was terrible. I still have the scar right yeah, there. Yeah. 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 It's bad. But, um, dude, like I, I level change and I go in. 
and I like feel his elbow. It, it almost feels like a massage when you get hit with an elbow for some, like a strong massage. Yeah. And it didn't really hurt. You and then the I like blood. stood up and all of a sudden dripping like crazy. Right down your and eyes. I, you don't feel the cut and no. you're like, fuck, this is <laughs> terrible. And my eyes just turned into this like red couldn't see instagram filter <laughs> it was terrible and then your body like starts to go into a state of shock a little bit because you're seeing it i guess yeah yeah it was not fun jeez buddy it was who do you think wins fun. this fight jake i know you're you're locked in here who do you think uh who do you think taking this one i i think we're gonna have to I look at martin's. Evelyn martin's yeah just with the control and pressure from round she two turned on. it up in round three yep Working for submissions, I think the judges Look like that. to By see that. By the way, on our on our report card here, on our fighter report, I mean, we're gonna talk about wifey. You you're trying to for you? I you I got a lady. I have a I have. Oh, you got, wait, you have a girl? Right? Yeah, man, Amanda Serrano. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, of course. I have a girlfriend now. I'm too. committed. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. As of uh, God, I don't even know. A couple congratulations, of days ago, I guess. Invite me to the <laughs> wedding, yeah? Or what were yeah, we were. <laughs> <laughs> we we're actually talking about the wedding already. Wow, and, dude, uh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Wait, aren't you? You're divorced though. Is that okay? Is she is she okay with a divorced a, div a divorce? I scene? don't even know. No. Oh, with Tana. Yeah, I didn't know you're divorced. <laughs> the f no, 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 the fake <laughs> wedding. She asked me about that. She was like, "What is this?" I was like, <laughs> "Listen, don't worry about that. Don't worry. don't worry about that." You got that. That was away. the first ever pay per view wedding. That was on pay per view. Yes, That's right. Works. Unbelievable stuff, man. <laughs> Hilarious. Revolutionizing the wedding game. You, yo, if you the AI score gave it to Martins, Martins as well, Randy and Kenny. I wonder how the AI it. scoring like is. I've working. seen it in boxing. I've is seen, it, the, I've seen the prototype vision? in boxing. It's 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 like copy box in real time. It's pretty crazy. W. Nice, W. The AI was right. AI never wrong. Terminator, the machines are, are after us. But, yeah, Jake, listen, we're, we're a couple fights in right now in the PFL Smart Cage. Card is ramping up. You're seeing now the point system in place. What are you thinking so far of this PFL card? I like it. I like the, I like the points here. Like, you, you see these competitors. Obviously, Marina just fought. Yep. So you're seeing them actively – work their way with these point systems um, yep. and trying to get into the playoffs. And we have Larissa P Pacheco and Julia Budd coming Aspen up later. Lab later on, yep. Larissa has the opportunity to become the first ever two-weight division the chomp, champion chomp. in PFL. The champ champ. The champ champ. Yep. And uh, I, th I don't know, man. Like, this this is great. This is great. Look, she got the Celsius. She is repping for you right now, bro. This is great. All seriousness, though, it does have to mean a lot to you to be a part of, especially you're a young guy, man, to be a part of something like this after you had been fighting. And I think a lot of people don't don't give you credit for this, the fighter pay aspect of what you've been doing, fighting for it, fighting for it, uh, and now finally having a chance to implement that. Yeah, look, it's no, it's I'm I'm just doing my part. Like I love combat sports. This, by the way, this is what made me turn the chapter on you too, man, because I, you. I've been I've been. Pfft, for years screaming about it most usc fans have been most mma fans have been most boxing fans have been so you but coming in and, crazy. and standing by it it's, has been dope it's the only sport in the world where you're like actually risking your life and yeah. just so many fighters are taking advantage of and i've just heard so many stories in this sport i mean not mma but boxing saved my life yeah in so many different ways and i just owe it to combat sports to help these fighters because i i just stumbled into this position it really is crazy i like got having here. the responsibility and the platform to be able to actually make change and it was like one thing to just talk about it all the time yeah and like do this fighter pay blah, blah 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 but really behind the scenes i was like actively and still am actively working on things to actually make changes and partnering with the pfo was like the first step in that to be able to get fighters 50 percent of the pay-per-view revenue yeah they can have That's, their they can have their own sponsors like basically all the stuff that Francis Ngannou was complaining about in the UFC we're, we're now changing with what the is PFL. uh is there any I mean I don't know if you're even able to say this but Francis is still a free agent 
Yeah, there's been a lot of conversations there. Yeah, he's he's taking Bro, his time. Bro, Francis in the PFL. Be, yeah, Woo! we're working on it. Okay, I, I mean, it, it, for me, it's a no brainer. Yeah, like, yeah, hundred percent. I I think he just has to see that for himself. But he's, yeah, he's taking his his time making the decision. All right, Jake, are you I, ready? I think they I think they lied to us. What do you mean? Oh, with the with yeah, the what? <laughs> I don't know, man. I haven't checked my phone since we've been live, but I'm sure I've got a text being like, "Hey, make sure you mention this." And I <laughs> didn't even. Yeah, say I don't even. Ah, <clears throat> uh, here we go. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Are you ready? I'm you know not... what time it is? No. Jake Paul pronunciation time. Ready? Okay, Martin Genrova. She's from the Czech Republic. Martina, Martina Ginrova. Ooh, I like how you rolled the R Martina there. Martina Ginrova. Ginrova, got you. She's from Czech Republic, so okay. shout out to all the Czech fans. Kleba. Shout out. Do you know about Kleba? Talk to me. Do you know about Kleba? No. Talk to me. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Talk to me. Brother. Wait, why, why are we making faces back there? Brother. Do I need to be afraid for my life now? No, what are you, you need to be scared. I'm looking over my shoulder now. No, the, Kleba is like a movement, bro. It's like a seriously a big movement okay. in the in the Czech world. Um, Kleba means bread. Okay. Like get that bread? Just no, just bread. Just bread. Like <laughs> we ain't getting paper. Just bread. Sorry, I'm a YouTuber mind. Go ahead. And it um, <laughs> it somehow became the nation's favorite like a rally word cry or because something? of me and my friend John. He's a YouTuber in the Czech Republic. John. Uh, the blonde one. The one I call your stunt double Yeah, sometimes. the Jake Paul lookalike. <laughs> Surround Jake around Jake's. Um, <laughs> John Marinick. Okay. We love you, John. Shout out, But John. he's like the most famous YouTuber in Czech. Word. Because okay. he's from the Czech Republic. Yeah, yeah. And um, basically, this we started saying Kleba as a joke yeah. for whatever reason. Because okay. I didn't know how to talk in his Czech YouTube video. There's like a whole backstory, but it's, I'm gotcha. not going to bore anyone. But the only word I knew how to say in Czech was Kleba. And so it became this fucking thing. And then the news in Czech started covering it. And then everyone in the nation just started saying Kleba. And people like drive around town now with like cars covered in bread. There's like <laughs> local ca coffee shops. Cars named Cripper. Kleba Cafe. Okay. And like all this shit. It's like a whole Dang. nationwide movement. Starting it's on the it. news. Um, Sheesh, buddy. Okay, so John. So, yeah, if you ever meet someone like Kleba that's the one. from Czech or like if you have Czech fans, you just go be like, yo, shout out, like, get your Kleba. Get your Kleba up, bro. It's a movement. It's a movement. And it's yeah. only getting bigger, you know? Like, Facts. Here we are. <laughs> we got wheat Kleba. Are we at 10,000 viewers? Sourdough? Or like, did, did Gus, did this get to 10,000 viewers? I want. Oh, we dropping, bro. We dropping. Jake, uh, we're we, falling we gotta off, do something, bro. bro. We gotta, I'm should I start off. the OnlyFans? I'm I've been keeping that one in the back. <laughs> I don't know if it's time to start that same, one. Yet. Same, same. People always ask me, like, yo, like, what would you do if, like, everything got taken? I'm only like, yo, fans like, OnlyFans. Like, it's a great option. Easy, OnlyFans. It's, <laughs> we always got an outlet. <laughs> you always, Do you hear the, the, the Jake Paul fell off, you fell off stuff a lot? Do you hear that? No, nah, I used to. Yeah. Because I, I think I were, almost did actually fall off, like, like 2018, Jake Paul was on the teetering there. What was it? It was like, I think it was like before I really took boxing seriously. It was like right, it was like a six months before the Gib fight. Okay. It was like, what the fuck's going on here? But, but yeah, I mean, I've almost gone irrelevant so many fucking times where I've heard it like. There's ups and downs in this career. Facts, as a, as an You've been in it a long time, man. I've only been in this game. I'm in it six years, but really doing my thing only about three. So I'm, yeah. I'm still a baby in this. So you're, you're probably go like irrelevant. And, like I'm probably two, it right two now. Two or three you, years. You saw the numbers. Fifty six. Yeah, bro. we're going. We're down. not pulling like that anymore. Though. <laughs> we're going down. It's happening now, live it's, on stream. It's over with it's for over us. With. That's crazy. You know what though? Fifty six hundred people watching the PFL is something I'm very proud of because I, I genuinely think. This league, this organization is next up, man. And I, I, I'm so proud to be a part of it. And that's 5,599 more viewers than you had. There you go. When you, uh, the bot was watching There you, you go. Shout out the bot. Here. You <laughs> know, I actually had two viewers because it was the bot and it was and me your, your and, and my mom. And my mom. So three. Oh, yeah. So, so three. three. 
me on a separate computer because you always got to check the live stream. Yeah, but you can only go like I think I think it's funny when like I think I think there was an era where like people would say that creators were like irrelevant. Like that was like a mm. thing. I don't think it happened. You know who started that? I think your boy Rice Gum. Probably he was he was everybody was irrelevant to right now. He's actually irrelevant. what happened to that guy, man? I don't know I, I Who knows bro? I've seen this happen, bro. I've you been, I've been in, in this shit for a decade, bro I've seen the biggest creators in the fucking world That they're like untouchable Justin Bieber level of fame just yeah. become just gone gone, bro Like who is where is MagCon? Right, yeah. Like Sean Mendez is still obviously oh, killing Mad it. Oh, MadCon, man. Like, bro, they that were the biggest thing in the fucking world. What like, would those kids do? They would just go on stage and just like be sexy. They would just like say ABCs and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, what is this? Dude? They just had like the teenage. They just girls. had it by the throat. They had the, they had the Drake level. Yeah. Teenage audience by the throat. Man. And you would never think, bro. These people were getting like millions of likes and. It's madness, man. <sighs> Who is your favorite YouTuber right now? Besides me, of course, obviously. I would say besides you, obviously. It's the obvious <laughs> choice. Obvious. <laughs> um, I like um, Whistling Diesel. Okay. Yeah. Interesting pick. Yeah, I like him. I like the car stuff. Okay. And I th- I like how he films on an iPhone and like his um, sense of humor is very similar to mine. Like just like super dry. Yeah. Um, We're not here for the laughs. You either get it or don't. Yeah, Peace. exactly, yeah. exactly. Like, and it's just like super random. Yeah. And he doesn't give a fuck about being canceled and shit. So there's like that authentic. It's I miss, yeah. I, yeah, I miss people who are afraid to ruffle feathers. Yeah. Like if you, I, I like watching old comedy movies better because there's like crazy jokes in there. Yeah. That offend everybody. Like you wouldn't be able to say exactly. No. But now. You watch a comedy and like there's no actually funny shit because it's the you can't tell the truth. Yeah. And the truth is what's funny. Facts. Talk to him, Jake. Okay. Boom. Amber Lee Brock and Martina, one more time on her last name. Genrova. Woo! He rolled it from, big time. From that the Czech time, Republic Club. Okay, we have sit dang, Amber six feet taller than you, Jake. Um, How do geez. they measure their leg reach? Well, that's pretty simple. I mean, by the I way, I'm, show you, I'm just, six foot exactly. So I don't know, bro. I'm. You don't you know, think we so? We have to stand it up. I'm six foot. I'm six foot one with shoes. Okay. Well, my my new my girl is something. is like slightly taller than me, and how she's, you feel about that? I think it's great. I think it's sexy. Yeah. It's like she's just so beautiful and tall and gorgeous. Yeah. She's like a like a. It's it's different for me, but I think it's awesome. So you're like, what's going on, Shouty? How you doing? I, I literally, from the first time we FaceTimed, I joked with her. I was like, when I see you, I'm going to, I went like this and I went, I'm going <laughs> to jump up and kiss you. And then I tried to film this video the other day of her dunking on me. Cause I always, I always made the joke with her. I was like, yo, like, I want you to dunk on me like so badly. Like, please just dunk on me. Please dunk and I, on me. And I got her to dunk on me, but she like, can't really like. She can't jam it. Yeah, she can't like throw so, it down. She can't tomahawk it yet. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. More practice. <laughs> I'm teaching her. She can't tomahawk So that one day. She, yeah. Just fucking walking around. Ah! LeBron, your shit. But I think it's cool. Like, she's just this specimen, like, amazing. Athlete, yeah. Strong woman, yeah. Nice. So. Heck yeah, man. It's cool. That's good stuff. Well, listen. Amber Lebrock, six feet, going to have. Like you said, crazy long leg reach. How do they measure the legs? I'm guessing they, you just throw it out there, big dog. Get the tape measure out, you know? What that leg do, you know what I mean? I got yeah, some crazy be, legs over here. It could be pretty simple. Yeah. But, like, Same do we have a tape arms. measure here? We do, right? I want to measure my leg reach. And yeah. I want to measure weights. Yeah, we got to measure mine. I, I got to see crazy, my stats for MMA. I got a crazy but, it, but that's what I'm saying. Like, is it from the It's got to be, yeah. Because if, if you're not going full split, like, you're not doing, you're not going there. Yeah, okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to just making sure. <laughs> Amanda, uh, Amanda, <laughs> Amanda Serrano's watching. Clip it, Jack, clip it. <laughs> Send it to her. Um, no. It has to be from the hip, like, from the hip socket down. It has to be. Yeah. I think it's cool to have those stats. Ooh. Straight right hand into a shot. Nope. Your girl Martina turns that around. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, Oh, nice right hand out of the clinch. As the head of fighter advocacy for the PFL, that yeah. sounds cool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think I'm there. supposed to like pick 
favorites to win Sorry, or anything. I, my, my girl. No, but I'm, I'm, I don't really care. Okay. Like, I want, I want Jin Rova to win because of the Kleba movement. The Kleba movement. Just right. for the Czech Republic. Like, Dang. I'm riding. You're picking against a countryman, a countrywoman? Yeah, wow, honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, traitor, guys. Traitor. Like, oh, you saw that that hip faint though, that question mark kick faint. Jake, you be throwing kicks, man. You got kicks like that, bro. I saw the ones you were throwing in Jay Glazer's gym. You know, first day on the job though. That that was my first and last day on the job. Last day since then, I haven't. I got a funny story about Jay Glazer's gym. I tried to go in there one time to get a job at Unbreakable. Yeah, when I was living in Orange County, I was trying to get in the MMA scene, man. And I knew Jay, obviously from the NFL stuff. Uh, but also, he's you know knows everybody in MMA. Scene. Yeah, Randy Couture was up there. They were yeah. honoring Randy Couture the day I went up there. I think it was his birthday or something. <laughs> I'm walking in the gym and Jay just goes, "You gotta leave." I never met anybody who's, "You gotta leave. We got something going on." I was like, "Hey, I just want to bring my resume." He's like, "No, you gotta go." So then you never came back. Never came back. It's an amazing gym. I love it there. That's where I I train there when I'm in. There's a lot of guys. LA. A lot of the the uh, Wiz is over there doing his thing sometimes. Yeah. Oh! Oh my, oh god, my gosh! Oh. No, Kleba, Kleba, come on, the Kleba. Let's go, Everly. Wow, <laughs> buddy. Jesus, what a head kick! Oh no, Dude, I jinxed her. Out of nowhere, and she is talking to her. Wow, she's Stunned talking trash. Her, Dang. See now, now this is gonna all get clipped. <laughs> it's gonna be like Jake rooting for her, Kleba, and then. Dog, what a left high kick, and she's stunting right now. My Lord have mercy. Wow. This is why you watch the PFL. This is why you watch the Good PFL. Lord. My heart rate just went up. I was going to say, am I scared? <laughs> yeah. I'm chat, apologies, but man, show that me that That was replay. nasty. That's a quick six. You see that? Quick a six points. knockout, quick six. Like me on a football field, baby. I'm taking it to the house. Wow. I'm, um, you know, Librock, um, Librock, 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 Librock. We need a, we need someone to help with we these names. We need phonetics names. on the screen for you. Yeah. We, we need someone to help with these names. How you say it. They, usually it's on here. It is. Oh wait, no, it is for the, yes, the last is. name for the last name. Pronunciation. Yeah, yeah. TBD. Yeah. It says, I swear to God. <laughs> you got to determine it. Check this, this head kick out. Let's see. I think we might've just this froze. This is the ref cam. I think the whole stream just froze. Of course. Oh, here we oh, go. Here we go. go. Reset. Go. We get faint. You see her set it up wow. right Wow. Flicked it out. Wow. Boom, that was boom, clean. boom. Hammer fist on top. Oh, not even the Kleba oh, could save her. Ref, not the ref cam there. That's the ref cam is, bro. The ref cam is what makes That's it so real. <laughs> I love the ref cam. Jesus. Um, She's talking, too. She's Amber Lybrock. Hey, Amber. Hey, hey, she, she's hey. stunned. Okay, we might have a superstar <laughs> on our hands. Come on now. Amber, I'm sorry I was wrong. <laughs> Jeez. I thought the power of the Kleba could. We got the tape measure. Oh, we got, <laughs> we got the tape measure. Amber, we great, great, great job. Great job. Head kick. Fantastic win for Amber there. Fantastic. All right. Do we go over into the second cam? Oh, yeah. Cam? You want to put the, the second cam on, guys? Should we show them? We have a second cam. Should check. we show them how dope our setup is? Let's like... show them, bro. Let's show them. All right. Produ production team behind this. Is it built? You built it. Did it. Is it on? All right. I think we're good. All right. Marcos. Marcos, we got to see. Bring out the tape measure. What the leg measure looks like, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess. Cause you little, you got the lower half stunted growth a little, right? You got more of a more. Of I a, think I have a short torso. Okay, but so I, I don't think it's know. More legs. All right. Let's go. Uh, Lee Brock was 43. I'm gonna say you're 44. It's, 44 and it's from here. All right, yeah. From the hip yes. side, like from, you know, right, right from there. From like here. Yeah, right there, yeah. Go from like there. Oh, that's not 44. Take the over. You going over on 44? He's not nowhere near. To, to the right, go to the right. <laughs> what is that, three feet and six inches. So 36 46. plus six, 42. 
One yeah. inch shorter than uh, Lee Brock. Brock. That's why she got That's those. That's why she was there. Yeah. Have you ever kids. seen you standing up full body? Because there are a lot of people who say they didn't know you were this tall. I know. Yeah, I does is every time I do a live stream, they don't know I'm that tall. I told you guys, I'm a giant. So, What's this? What were you saying? Three feet, nine inches. Hey. So you're 45. What's up, Lee so, Brock? Ah, three feet. So nine I'm inches. 42, le 42 inch legs. That's pretty cool. You Can you kick with the legs, though? That's the question. Not really. No, you got no, you got no kicks. Though? I got a front kick. You got a front kick? Where's the pad at? I gotta you got, see. You got a good leg kick. Where's it's the pad decent. at, guys? Did we get a pad so I can Jake can do the front I, kick here. I'm gonna get injured. Take it easy. I'm so I'm, I'm sore. Nothing crazy about it. But listen, chat. You now. see what it is? The height diff. All right. The yeah, reach. This though. is the first Should time. Yeah, let's get a reach. Bring out the tape measure. Marcos, let's see what the reach is. This is the first. That's the first should. time you've seen me standing up, though. You saw me in Dubai. Yeah, but I think it was like at the table and you oh, were like, like, kinda, like, hey, like. I definitely didn't do that, bro. No, I think, no, I think you like you stood up kind of. Oh, like, I got you. And yeah. then I sat down and you, it was like a half stand. Okay. What are we saying on the reach, chat? What's Jake's reach? What do they, what do they bill your reach at? I think That's they, the question. they always get it wrong. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to say. I think they bill my reach at like. Wait, you have to hold it. I got you. I think I'm like 74. Wait. 74? Six feet, one inch. 73. That's pretty good. 73 inch reach. Heck yeah. Not John Jones, but we'll take it. Well, you, might be, you might have a longer reach than me, Loki. Do a little tour chat here. You might have a longer reach than me. Six feet, four inches. <laughs> Damn. So you got... I'm cold with it, buddy. 76. 77, 76. 76. Okay, now, knowing that you have this crazy, crazy leg reach discrepancy here. Am I gonna give you a front kick? Yeah, a little front kick. Am I in range yet? Not, not nothing crazy, no, not. Okay, yeah, I'll just do like a little like, so I, I think when I do MMA, I'll probably be okay. bouncing okay. and okay. that's like a, oh, it's gonna be bad. Ready? How, how hard do you want me to go? Like, I, can, I, can, I can handle it. Let me just see, let me. Okay, I got yeah. that. Okay. I gotta be bumped. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. That's Let's good. Go. Let's I don't want to. We don't want to get anyone in here today. I think I peed a little, but we're good. Nice, nice he, front kick from Jake. This is pants. It, that felt good. I don't think I've ever front kicked Same, someone. But you, here's the thing. You gotta get some. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna teach you a little, right? A little Muay Thai. I think I can saying. fucking knock someone. You gotta get a little out. lean in the hips. It's all, you know, a little. Put listen, that's stuff. for that's for my girl. But you gotta be here, right? Bah, right? One of those. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gus, come on. Put the, Whoa, so let me see. Put the body pad on. What happened? Gus, you going front kick? Gu Gus, what, what, give me your background. I did Taekwondo for like oh, 10 years. Oh, bro. That's what we're doing? <laughs> so they have So I get, my, I get my karate white belt, and I'll just take the Taekwondo kicks to the stomach, huh? I mean, you're, you're a karate right? white belt, too? That's what that's what Sensei teaches, karate. I thought it was jiu-jitsu, you said. Oh, no, no, no. We, well, he does a little jiu-jitsu. He definitely yeah. said jiu-jitsu. No, I said I got, I got mounted because we were, he was teaching me get-ups on my back. They're, they're but that's jujitsu. No? I know. Yeah, he, he teaches some grappling. I'm telling you, you should bring some tay down, bro. You dope. All that's right, guys. Do it, bro. Yeah, tell me. Chat, what you're saying. Just, yeah, just. Oh yeah, it was, easy I was right. Like, though, right? Yeah, you were yeah. right. Just, I would say, go on the ball of your foot more. Oh, just straight okay. more and push forward. Because if you're flat-footed, you can't get the. Oh, I can't get in. Let's see it. Implementation. No, I just need to see it one more All time. Right. So straight. Yeah. Okay. Get on a ball of your football. Oh, yeah, okay. That's better. Okay. Stop playing with <laughs> He's the man. Come on, right. now. That's it. I'm Count out. him out. All right, chat. Let's go back to front camp. Yeah, we're going back to the front camp. and you have to pee. Oh, I give them a little uh, double dose of content. I give them an old video. Let them watch an oldie. You, like, can roll it in? Yeah. Bro, I, I'm my own producer. Wow, dude. That's... I ain't got the Jake Paul production team, you know? Class, first class over here. Yeah, they're doing a great job. They're killing it, man. Well, we don't normally do live streams. We're good at you other things. We gotta do other more things. of these live streams, man. Live I'm down. Like I'm, I'm down. They're super fun. Whenever Imagine... You, whenever you want to come back here, let's hey. run it. 
Hey. Okay, they got a We can make this a me. thing. We should do it for the uh the championships, PFL championships. Bro. That's going to be so crazy. We already got saw last year. Sadabu C, Brandon Lowlane, Lowlane. Yeah. I this is name stuff. Lowlane, you know. Ro Robert Wilkinson. Robert Wilkinson is a monster. Monster. If you're telling me right now that Robert Wil Wilkinson's not one of the best light heavyweights on the planet, you're crazy. Yeah. You are no, crazy. I don't he, care what what company, what promotion. That guy is one of the best dudes, one of the most dangerous dudes walking the planet. Same with Brendan Lognane. Yeah, th these guys are the future of the the PFL and I'm the fucking superstars, future. Superstars, superstars. Facts. But yeah, I always you know what sucks like we, uh, side thought, but side this thought. shit this shit always happens to me whenever I pick a fighter to win. I'm the same way. And they fucking lose. I'm the bro. same way. I'm gonna, I I stopped picking it, I stopped picking against you for this reason. Yeah. I said Anderson yeah. Silva. I can't. I can't have Anderson Silva lose, lose to, me. to Jake. My childhood, Jake's childhood, everyone's childhood. Ruined. Yeah. What Go did on. that feel like, man? It's crazy to me. I I don't think it's still like registered or set in. Honestly, I got this spider tattoo for Anderson. Yeah, that's dope. I don't know which side it's on. You you're inked One up, buddy. Sides. Yeah, I just got a hell of more tattoos. The, like, the week, you got a Vegeta tat? I didn't know you yeah. was Dragon Ball Z like that. Yeah, you know me. Okay, buddy. And Gohan. You got the gotcha hat. But, <laughs> but yeah, I, I got this tattoo because it was just like a reminder to myself that life can take you in the most crazy, unexpected it places. Really is, and a reminder to myself that like I can accomplish anything I want to put my mind to. You're so. doing it, bro. Thank you, man. You're Thank doing you. that. But it's, it, I don't think it's set in, really, that I beat Anderson When Silva. I watched you knock him down, it was like watching your favorite NFL player blow out his ACL <laughs> and never be the same again. Never because it's like again. It's like Jake just took part of his – I mean, not maybe not his legacy, but part of him as a, as a mixed martial artist, Jake just took that. And I was like, Wow. It just, just it really opened my eyes, and I got a text that night from uh, from someone on Team Paul that said, "You better stop doubting now." <laughs> I said, yeah. "Okay, probably." Right. I'm guessing it was BJ. <laughs> that would be correct. <laughs> he's always telling me that you guys are like texting. Yep. And like, I chat with. BJ. He's like, D -d 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 "We got this." No, like we got this in the bag. I don't know. Giving <laughs> giving you the insights. Yeah, he he does, man. I I always want to know. Who's in camp? What's going on? And and listen, man, they put some they put some real killers in front of you in here. Yes, you know what I mean. See, no, they actually do. What's the worst no day in played. sparring look like for for Jake Paul? It was this. It was this past camp. Yeah. At least the one of the worst days in a while, like since the start. I I it was when we did ten rounds. Oh, Jorgen De Castro coming up next. You guys were going 10, okay. Yeah, and I was just, like, not feeling feeling good and, like, sick. And just, like, forcing myself through, like, the last three rounds. Yep. It was pretty fucking brutal. Just getting jabbed up. You got the whole team out here boxing now, too, though, man. Everyone's got... slowly getting it. Tell me who out of Team Paul is going to be the first one to step in. Because I heard D-Cut had been training for a while. I think it's going to be Carl probably, right? Carl. Okay. Yeah. Influencer and, and boxing, yeah? We we getting he, him signed on or what are we doing? He doesn't have much clout, but, but the attachment. I'll promote him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll be his promoter. You get him, you get Jake. Yeah, no, exactly. So, you know? so yeah, I mean, we'll get Carl signed up. He's he's go. naturally good, too, and, like, strong. We'll get pretty him long clash, reach. Yeah? We can get it. We can make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy money. Mike Leonardi. Yeah, I dubs like everyone. Yo, if you ever want, if anyone wants anyone on Team Paul, come and get it, it. Let's make it happen. Come and get it. Make some offers. My dad wants to fight too. Really? Yes. Greg Paul, Mister Shit Down Your Throat, is going to. <laughs> is going. That's to, the craziest <laughs> name for him ever. It's so true. Is going to fight. Who? Who would GP fight, man? By the way, I don't know if you've seen this. And I have to tell you this because it's, it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Sensei and I started watching WWE live streams because Logan is doing it and, you know, we wanted to see him. By the way, he had a fantastic performance at WrestleMania. Crazy. Insane stuff. But Edge, you think you know me. You know Edge, wrestler, WWE wrestler, no? 
No. That's okay. I know. But if you look up Edge on your phone from one of the pay-per-views, I know he face. looks just like Greg Paul with hair. He looks just like Edge. Him. I couldn't. I can't not see it now. Look up Edge WrestleMania, or Edge. Oh he, yeah, he, he definitely looks just does. Just like your dad. So when he came out, <laughs> Sensei doesn't know. He looks about like wrestling. Lo- Logan too, kind of. Yeah. Because Logan looks like my dad. And I said he looks nothing like Sensei knows nothing about wrestling. He goes, "Oh sweet, Greg Paul's wrestling. This is cool, dude." I died laughing. That's hilarious. I can't not see it now. I don't know, my dad. My dad wants to fight someone. I think it has to be like someone older, you know. Like, it does, but I don't know who, who's like an older influencer. I feel like there's maybe like some vlog family channel with like a dad out there somewhere. I don't know. Greg Paul, Austin McBroom, Addison Ray's dad. Ooh. Oh my god, that actually might work. Greg Paul versus what's his name, Morky or something. There you go. What's his name? It's Ma- Mikey or Maddie or. That guy's out of his fucking mind. Which Off one? The deep oh, end. yeah. I don't yeah. know if you've seen him, but... No, I've, I've heard I stories. feel bad for Addison. I've it's heard stories, man. Well, listen. Pretty Speaking crazy. of going off the deep end... Clout's a hell of a drug. Speaking of going off the deep end, we have Danilo Marquez versus Jorgen DeCastro. This is potentially a very high seeding heavyweight matchup. Now, Danilo Marquez stepping in on short notice here. Yes. Um, yeah, see, we don't even... That's how that's how the, that's how quick things move in a PFL, man. Yeah, we even got the research on this man. But looking at his background, oh look, there's your boy. Not not Mark Mark's, Smith. That's Herb what? Dean. We got Herb the, got Dean. The, we got the nameplate wrong there, but do you think Herb Dean like he can bang? He can fight. <laughs> <laughs> he can no, he's legit. He it, can fight. N- I mean, he can bang probably too. But yeah. No, but that's what I was I was gonna ask. Do you think Herb Dean like oh, gets yeah. hella girls? Yeah, hundred percent with his clout. Yes, dude. And you that's see the way crazy. you see the way Herb be looking sometimes in the background when fighters be walking up. Be like, Herb's got it like that, bro. Oh, there's that there's that front kick, bro. See, I wanna I wanna hear like I wanna meet Herb Dean and just hear like a story. story? Ooh, he's got stories. Like, head kick. Marquez it. coming out swinging, buddy. Jordan DeCastro got big power in his hands, knocked out. Um, God, who was it he knocked out? It was a city kickboxing guy. Fa, uh, Taffa, Junior Taffa. Knocked him out a couple of years ago. So he's got big time power, especially his lead hand. Taking center of the smart cage here. I just get a feeling with this fight that it's not going to go all three rounds. Yeah, man, these heavyweights are going to swing. I Ooh. love watching the heavyweights. Marquez is fast too, man. For that size, these guys coming in at the limit, 265. Nice level change. The Castro staying patient though. Look, they're giving you the shout out again there. Yeah, Jake Paul joins. What the are you going to talk about with the with the fine folks over at PFL tonight? I don't know. Sean O'Connell, the Kinda legend. Nervous. Ah, bro, you do you do well on these. You just, just gotta say, say you just gotta stuff. you just gotta say what you said to, to Tommy <laughs> at uh when we when we commentated, bro. You have no dick. I think that's, that's, that'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I can't swear on this. No, not bro. You're on not the, on ESPN. You're on the worldwide leader now. Yeah, you, I can't you better swear. Better go get your suit and tie on, buddy. Yeah, I got to go back to my Disney days. There you go. Okay, Bizarre he's, marks part two. Yeah. De Castro is not he's coming, playing. Yeah, he's I like swinging. the mohawk too. That's a good look for him. I do think that Marquez level changing like that is is giving him some cause to pause a little bit. That mohawk's a little funky in it's the back, though. It's a little though. crooked yeah. now that I'm so, looking at it. Someone jacked him up, bro. That, that, that's crazy. <laughs> I was like, it's meant to be that way. I don't know. Yeah. I don't Ooh, know. outside well. leg kick. Now, Jake, you have to know that you're going to face something like this. Somebody at range leg kicking you. Have you felt that yet? Have you felt a true leg kick on your low calf or your thigh yet? No. No. I know it's going to be the same process, though, of like when I first started boxing, where at first you don't like getting punched at all. Of course. And then once you get used to it, it doesn't really even bother you that much. And I think it's probably going to be a lot like how you learn to box, and that's going to, they're going to throw you in the deep end. Yeah, seriously. You're going to have to learn that way, right? Throwing me in with the killers and just going straight for the leg kicks. I think. I was going to start to get, like, this um, wooden stick to, start, like, dead yeah, my nerves. Yeah, start Wonder Boy in your, your, uh, your legs doing the yeah. shins, the shin uh, preparation. Yeah, Marcus, there. could you actually order me, like, a wooden stick, please? I'm going to start up, to do that like, now. Long wooden stick. Like, a, like, a, like this long. Like a broom. I'm pretty like, sure they got them at Spencer's. You could probably. I just need to start hitting myself in the, like this every day. 
long wood. I think you'll find what you're looking a for. A Razor dude. scooter hit it, oh, hitting me bro, in the, the shins. Razor scooters. That was the worst. Yeah, shit hurts too. Nice hook it to the was. body, Organa Castro. Yeah, this this mohawk is definitely crooked now that right. I'm seeing this. Oh, it's more off than your fight picks, bro. Oh, that front kick. Jeez. Hello. Jorgen's walking him down, though. Got his back on the cage. Doing a lot of fainting. He's wanting to let that left hook go. He's, he's thrown it a couple times and not quite gotten. Here's the problem with Jorgen Castro. He's, he's at a size, this is like obviously heavyweight, but he's at a reach disadvantage all the time. Yeah, I always wonder with like a little shorter guys like this. like Daniel Cormier faced the same issues, man. Problem with DC was he was faster than everybody. Faster than John Jones, if you could believe it. Yeah, when DC came up to me to confront me, I was like, this guy's not that big. Super He's fast. Be so strong. And ridiculous uh, grappling ability and understanding of range. Remind them where to watch at home. Someone told you to remind them where to watch at home, yeah. Jake. Um, hey, guys, I was told to remind you where to watch at home. Where's that? It's ESPN, PFL. We are watching live. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is great. Fantastic work. Like he said, ESPN Plus live in the U.S. Make sure you guys are tuned in. And when you want to watch with us, make sure you like and subscribe at The Weight Concept, man. We're going to be here all night. All night. We're just night. getting warmed up. Facts. You saw those front kicks? I'm, I'm two sure. Celsius is deep. Where, what am I at, bro? Probably got... I'm half warm, bro. I'm, 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 just, I'm babysitting. See, you're a professional at this. <laughs> I've been I'm drinking a, Celsius long caffeine. enough to know that at, at around the the one and a half mark, I'm I'm doing this number. So yeah, I can't I can't do it, bro. I'm gonna add, I'm addicted to caffeine though. So how like how day? many milligrams a day? Those are two hundred. I know that. Yeah. So you don't tell me you're going six hundred millis. Pro probably like Jeez. right around there. More? Yeah. Oh, bro, you're nervous. You know, I'm part of what's going on with me physically. I got a nervous system issue. Wow, like your immune system? No, like my central nervous system's in flux, always. Fight or flight, always. Not even like while I'm relaxed. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't know but how to do describe it. But do you feel it? No. But you're but the but like biofeedback stuff. Yeah, biofeedback stuff they do on me is like I'm I'm in fight or flight all the time. So it's like I my, feel like my, you need to smoke weed. Did they prescribe this? What are we saying? Uh, they have not yet, but they have they have prescribed some other things that are around the same. Uh, like some indica. That make you like. Chill out. Like that? Yeah. Exactly like, like some, that? Some ketamine, maybe. Holy. We're going deep down. You can get some fucking... What else is there? Round two here, PFL. <laughs> Smart <K. laughs> Meditation. Yeah, no, actually, though. Meditation was one of the things they said I needed to try. But did you try it? I, I think I'm just not good at it. I need to do it more. Yeah, it's tough at first. Because yeah. your mind starts going to all these different places. At first, I couldn't do it. I don't know how to breathe. That's the thing. Well, you actually probably do because if you didn't, then you would be dead. Dead, right. That makes sense, yeah. actually. I don't know how to breathe correctly. You know, the <laughs> diaphragmatic, you know, whatever. I could teach you, bro. I meditate twice a day. Yeah, you, you were, I, when I walked big in, you were killing it. Big meditation guy. Speaking of, the, the same guy you've always worked with, right? Yeah, o Ocean and Lucas. For Lucas is my breathwork coach. Ocean is like... Which which one is the guy that you, you're seen doing a lot of the stuff in the ring with? Bald. That's Lucas. Okay. Yeah. The one that Nate Diaz took a swing at, yeah? Yeah. He took a swing at. Bro, him. everyone's tried to fight this guy. Jeez. It's because he's got tattoos everywhere. Oh, so there's... And so he looks... He's the most peaceful guy. Right. I mean, he'll he'll fight somebody. Don't oh, get yeah. me wrong. Oh, yeah. He can, he can throw Don't down a wrong. little bit, yeah. But he's not trying to fight people. And he always just gets caught in the crossfire. <laughs> like, even Israel Adesanya, like, was, like, trying to... No. Not yeah. Izzy, bro. Yeah. No. It's, it's this whole thing. But <laughs> Izzy hit him with that freaking Naruto, bro. You but, like, yeah, it's. You're about to freaking write your name in the death note, son. I, I do breath work in the mornings. And, uh, and then, yeah, like most of the time at night, try and go to sleep. You're. I, I will say this. You, by the way, we're in round two here, PFL heavyweight season matchup. But I, I will say you're you're one of the, I was talking to to some of the guys here. You're one of the forefronts of this bio. I don't even want to call it biohacking because I feel like it gets a bad rap, but just like understanding of like modern upkeep of your body. 
there's so much I, new I respect technology so much, and dude. I love it. I respect I it. I love it so much. Like I've become so obsessed with it and just like recovery. It, I mean, yeah, I like that it's called biohacking, but, um, just everything about it, like longevity, living longer, brain health, like all of these dude, things, I, bro. Upstairs. I saw all the stuff you got. I'm so jealous. Cause it, when I watched the, you preparing for, for Tommy Fury and I saw you had a, what is it? What we called it? The pimp. Yeah. The pimp. I was machine. like, not, there's not a lot of people that have that. No one knows about the pimp machine. And I was like, okay. Jake's, Cheat code. Jake knows about it, bro. Cheat code. I've done it a couple times. It's, it's again, Orange County, you know, you can find some places, but to have that there 24 seven. Yeah. Crucial. When you, when you have to drive to go do it and you do it like it's once like, yeah. a week, it's, like it's not really effective. Like you gotta, you gotta that. Yeah. hit that shit every day. Yep. But it's a it's a game changer. Love Shout out up. to Nikola Tesla. Shout out, bro. Jake going to live to 150, dog. I, I I'm going to live I think I could be immortal. You obviously like can't die in like a sudden way. Right. But in terms of health, they're like 3D printing <laughs> uh, organs now. So I'm going to need them to 3D print me like a new arm, you know what I'm saying? Got a the new ankle. Tear. New ankle, that definitely a new nervous system. That that's one I need. Just implant it. You know what I mean? Oy. See, they got this max kick speed, fifty six miles per hour from De Castro. That's nuts. See, I don't know if I'm ready to get. De Castro miles kicks per hour. like an interstate highway. That's insane. That's dude. crazy. That's wild, bro. I think the speed I, limit. I seen um, Sadabu C. Yeah. In the PFL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the fastest kick in the PFL. I don't know what the. I think oh, it's like sixty seven miles per Woo! hour. Woo! Insane, man! Kicking like one of your supercars, bro. Seriously, it's that front kick is doing damage, though. Look at Marquez. But Jorgen Castro still not only staying at range, but as the shorter guy here, maneuvering it pretty well. I don't know if you saw Jake, but when I was doing PFL Europe, I got to for a brief period uh, do some commentary with Stefan Struve, the tallest man in MMA history. You remember Stefan? Long, about seven feet tall, fought in the heavyweight division. Mark Hunt knocked him out years ago. I don't even remember what I He's, ate for breakfast. <laughs> he is a giant individual, and I'm a tall guy. How how tall is he? Like seven feet, legitimate. Oh wow, legitimate seven feet. It was insane to see. I'm I'm surprised I don't know who this is. Yeah, bro. Fought in the UFC heavyweight division for a long time, but now. A but partner. I'm sure I would have seen like highlights. You would know of him it. if you see him. Well, most of the highlights didn't go his way. That's probably why you hadn't seen him. Mm. So he, he should have played basketball. Probably. Probably yeah. should have stuck with basketball. Oy, that was a little bit of a lazy head kick there from Marquez. Now, I do have to ask you, Jake. We're obviously about to wind down round two here in the PFL. As we move forward through this season, do you have a fighter you want to keep your eyes on in the PFL right now? Man, I, I think um, Brendan. Brendan's the man. Yeah, like. He's got that star power, that that fun yeah. style to him. Yeah. Um, I, Kayla Harrison, I want to see come back. Sadabu C is exciting, amazing kickboxer, yep. and then obviously we spoke about Robert Wilkinson. Yes. So there's just there's a there's a ton of star power, a ton of a ton of talent. Um, o U M. O U M. Uh, Oliver Aub Auburn Mercier. There you go. See, Auburn Mercier. There you he's go. Got a, He's got a tough name, that's, but uh, the that's Canadian Ariel's, gangster. That's Ariel's favorite fighter. He's he's incredible. Yeah. Ariel Hawani's favorite fighter? That's what I he says. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Was, well, second to Jake Paul, I think is what he said. But Did he say that? No, nah, <laughs> I was going to say, like, I don't think Ariel would say that. <laughs> just play with you. People would hate him. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, Ray Lewis in the building. Look at this. Let's go. I need him to lead, uh, I need him to lead out doing his, his tunnel dance. How about Shane Burgos as well? New, new signee to the PFL. This He's is the Ali, so this is Ali Walsh getting ready in yep, the back, yep. no? So yep. getting a pep is this talk up, from Ray Lewis. Yeah, is this up next or? I think so. We're we'll out to see. But no, there's a ton of great fighters to watch here. Oh, Jorgen Castro coming forward, big right hand there. This third round is going to be key though, man, because like we've talked about, you're not just fighting for a win here; you're fighting for placement and points. You have to do something to set yourself apart in the PFL. Yeah, you got to make the playoffs. You got to make the playoffs. That's where the big money's at. Only MMA league with regular season playoffs and championship. That's something you're not going to get anywhere else, folks. Nowhere else. Not even down here in beautiful Dorado, 
Puerto Rico. Let's fucking go. Oh no, we're st- we're just. I love it down here, man. It's I've, I've only been down here for a couple hours. I love it. It's such a vibe. Yeah, man. This gym nice. too is like perfect area for training. We don't really show the gym, I guess, online. Like I don't. Yeah, think you guys haven't really, really done a tour or nothing. Yeah, man. as you guys can see, we should do a tour. You, it, the, you've kind of taken over this space. I know it's yours and Logan's, but this is kind of your space, man. Yeah, Logan's always traveling. Yeah, he's doing his he's thing. He's always traveling, man. Because I'm looking at I'm like, man, they, they ain't got a Logan ring and a Jake ring. They got two Jake rings. You know? Well, we just changed it, actually, yeah, for a right. shoot the other day. Oh, yeah. That, that's normally his ring. his ring. But he put a bunch of pictures of himself over here with Tana Mojo <laughs> underneath <laughs> them. Tana Mogadu. I still don't know how to pronounce her name like seven years later. You would think, wifey, you would, you would try harder, man. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. In you. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Listen, it's another life. A life long gone there. De Castro, now even money because you've seen Marquez go to that front kick to the stomach multiple times. Outside leg kick from De Castro. This has become a stalemate where we got a lot of action early. I think both guys are very hesitant at the moment. Yeah, they're maybe respecting each other's Wait. power. He's going for that knockout. Give me that head kick, like boy. Amber. Give me that head kick. Do you think Amber is going to like... She's coming for you now. She's going to tweet me. She's probably, coming for you, right? Yeah, she's coming for you. <laughs> I'm going to get roasted. You're getting tweeted, her. and she's like, let's set up a bar. I deserve it. I deserve yeah. it. That head kick was ridiculous. Flicked it out there, too. Bouncing on the lead leg. DeCastro's got to make something happen. Yeah, I think well, it, right now the even line is is it's a tough fight to call, but the action is being forced here more by Marquez, right? The, even the feints, the kicks. Jorgen DeCastro's kind of been reserved here in this third round and just kind of staying in the middle of the smart cage. Going to be more aggressive. I don't get these odds. I think the second round has started to tip it a little bit more because it was a great first round for Marquez. Little switch kick high there. Even if that doesn't land, he's pushing action, right? Yep. Oh, he Ooh. left hook. A little check hook there off the and kick. And he's dangerous with that, bro. What's your favorite shot, Jake, in a fight? What do you like to go to? I know what your favorite shot was in the Tommy fight. That the check hook, hook yeah. yeah bro. Did but you think that was going to be the one? No. No, no, no. Like, we didn't really even, like, practice that in camp. You started um, just found it in the fight yeah. and kept going to it, yeah? Yeah. Because it, it did look like you started to bait it out, too. You were kind of giving him that head jut forward, yeah. pull throw. Pulling it. Yeah. I, I mean, for me, my favorite's the jab, man. Like, once you get the jab landing, everything opens up. Yep. So if you can't if you can't get the jab landing. And, and everyone always, like, that fights me always comes in looking out for the right hand. Yep. But they don't realize, like, my left what. hand's actually better. <laughs> You landed that right hand on Tommy in the first 15 seconds of the fight or first 10, 20 seconds. I don't even remember. He walked into one, and I was like, oh, my God. You caught him flush, too. Caught him here. He just ate it. I was like, damn. He was taking good shots. Yeah. I haven't watched the fight. Way spinning back kick. You haven't watched it back Mm-mm. yet? I think I've watched it a couple times at this point. I need to watch it. Without watching it back, what do you think? I mean, I know you've kind of already talked about it, but what do you think of that performance? I think the you? biggest – Ooh, I, it, it was, switch. It was a very flat performance. And, like, I think my, my coaches Inside had me do the, like, completely wrong game plan. I think I was coming forward too hard. Interesting. Trying to create action. Okay. But, I, but that just was, like, walking me into his jab. Yeah. Um, he was doing a good job of, of throwing multiples, right? Yeah, Wasn't no. Just the, his it. combinations is what won him the fight on the car with the judges. That's for just sure. something you haven't. Uh, to be honest, I don't. I think you would agree with me. Something you haven't seen yet. One hundred percent. That you know? punch count. That high punch count. Um, yeah, and just like not fighting in transition, like after some of the punches yep. were done. It's like you go, I go, stop. Yeah, go exactly. Again. That was yep. the, that was the biggest problem. Last ten seconds here. Something happened in these heavyweight matchup. Let's go. Turning front kick there. He's going high kick to end the fight. Nope. There it is. Whoo, it's going to be a tough one to call, man. This is going to be a tough one to call. I think that Mark Marquez might have done enough here in this third round, just pushing the action to, yeah. to, to eke out a decision. But maybe it was two to, two to nothing, uh, Jorgen Castro. We're going to see here. I think, I think the AI score, that's what I was really going to say. I want to see what the AI score says. Jake wants to see that AI score. I want to see a better Mohawk on Jorgen in his next fight. That's what I want to see. Oh, see, it doesn't look – wait. It doesn't look crooked. Oh, it's still – It's like it's a tail. He's crooked. got a tail on it. Here's the, the punch, stat, and strike count. Again, tough to really gauge. 
But it is pretty wild that only 16 strikes were landed from Jorgen Castro. It's tough to gauge over three rounds because you don't know which rounds what was landed in, right? But it does look pretty slanted toward Danilo Marquez right here. Doubled him up pretty much in every category. Yeah, that's what's so trippy about fights is that, like, you can land more, but you didn't win the round, essentially. Like. Round by round scoring. What do you think about something like an open scoring system? Would you be in favor of something like that? Yeah, I think it's cool. They, I think they used it in the last fight. Like in yours. The, the WBC used it. I was going to ask about that because I didn't. we couldn't hear it on camera, but did you know yeah. at certain points in the fight where you were? In round four, I knew I was down on the cards. Okay. But honestly, I don't think I liked knowing that. Okay, it's so like maybe, a mind fuck. Yeah. It's like, hey, you're losing. <laughs> like, okay, thanks. Like, Appreciate now I'm like, okay, now I got to try. Right. Versus, like, sticking to the sticking game to plan. the game plan. And then, it, even, too, that's what fucked me up is losing a point in the beginning of the fight. It's very weird. And I'm like, fuck. Like, what was now the I gotta explanation try harder. for the— Bro, there's no explanation. That's the, what's the craziest shit in the world. I didn't even hit him in the back of the head. You know what was I funny he, was— I think he mixed it up. I think Tommy hit me in the back of the head. As he called it, Tommy yeah. hit you in the back of the head. Yeah, and I think he gave, took a point away Tommy from was me. being very—look at those outside leg kicks. You know, he was being very slick with you, and I don't know if it, when you watch it back you'll see this. A lot of the things he kept saying were, oh, he's holding me. He's holding me in the clinch. He's holding me. What Tommy, it looked like to me, was doing was overhooking you and then spreading his arms and yeah. raising you up. Yeah. And all of a sudden it was like, no, he's holding me. Look. No, it's but an old yeah, the nice ref, boxing trick, bro. The ref definitely saw that, and— he got the he got point that point yeah, later on. But. I mean, that's a that's it looks like a clean sweep here for Marquez. Oh, look at Couture says De Castro AI score says Marquez. Can it go two for two? Fucking Herb Dean. Come on, Herb. Raise the right hand this time, Herb. Bro, I want to have Herb Dean on BS with Jake Paul. Yeah, you want his stories bad. That's huh? what I'm saying. Like, why doesn't it, why hasn't anyone ever interviewed Herb Dean? Okay. Oh yeah, Herb so was I'm, on Rogan. I'm wait. All right, I'll fuck off. All right. It'll AI AI has been right. AI is right once again. Jake, you want to go on Joe Rogan, man? I think it'd be dope. I you think, think that's gonna dope. happen someday. I think at some point, who knows? Like. It makes sense. He's always talking about it's me. Always it's crazy. I don't, I don't know. Like, I think he's an amazing person, oh, amazing Cordero guy. Like, I don't want to brag, but I've been on Joe Rogan's show. I don't want to brag. Have you? Well. Oh, he, like he's talked about you? or? Well, you know, he didn't talk about me, but I was. I happened to be in a clip with you uh, as he was talking about Tommy Fury. Mm, and also, so you have been on it. I've been on a show, and I've been on Let's it. Go. And, uh, he mistakenly thought Dad from Creator Clash was actually beating up his son. So yeah, I yeah, I remember that. You know, got the commentary voice on there. I remember that. Oh my God, Dad with a shot. Yeah, that was. Me. Yeah, he, that was like a big controversy thing. To him, it was. Yeah. To nobody else that <laughs> actually knew that it How wasn't do you think his dad. That his actual father is in there beating him up. Come on, Joe. I mean, it's 2023. Why would the announcers call him? Why would we call him Dad? Dad with a shot, not his name. Come on, Joe. I know. He's going to slip up. He's going to slip up. It was funny. He was so passionate about it, though. Like, he had researched it. He's like, I saw this thing. I can't believe it. Can't believe they did this. Yeah, no, I, I would love to go on Joe Rogan. I I think that we would get into some crazy conversations. Like, pe would. people expect – I haven't really, like, gone deep into – my, like, philosophy on, like, so many different You're trying to get deep right now? Topics. You're trying to get deep? I we'll save it for I Joe Rogan. Floaty, no. <laughs> wow, you heard no, 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 it? No, no, no. That's crazy, man. No, said, just, Wade. Nah, bro, we say that for Joe. That's no, awesome. but I, I have to save. I've been saving stories for, like, a big interview like that. I, it might be Joe. It might not. But, like, just, like, there's so much shit uh, and stories about me that, like, everyone... We I always kind of like talk in the same areas, yeah. But I love to go into like philosophy and politics and the state of like our society. And oh yeah, okay. Healing and the mental side of things and like biohacking, like huge on that side of things. Facts. Like peptides, ayahuasca, peptides, the toad, okay. I can DMT, talk peptides. fucking all this crazy shit that like is a huge part of my life that yeah. I don't ever really like go into. But one day.
But one day, I don't even know if I'm ready to like fully go into it. So that you're still young. Yeah, you're, those stories are gonna come. Yeah, that's why you know? I think. Um, I think in, I think the Joe Rogan thing would be good for me in like a year, or two years, maybe yeah, three bro. years. It'll come. And you're talking about like guys like Herb Dean, all the stories they must have. The stories you must have, brother. I have crazy living in shit. LA as long as you have been, top of the world, the whole thing. Crazy that's why I think YouTubers are so much more like. The people that especially don't give away much of themselves on camera are so much more interesting than you know. Like, even guys like, I'm sure, Jimmy, Mr. Beast, the stuff that he could talk about, you know? Uh, you, Logan. Yeah, you know? and, and it's never really, like, the right platform. I've been filming myself, like, with a documentary and, like, a camera since I was, like, 17 in when I first moved to Los Angeles. Really? And I've just we've been like waiting and waiting and waiting and I, pr I probably won't come out for another couple of years, but like Dang. just all the footage I have of like behind the scenes shit and stories and revealing stuff and all the controversies and all, all the madness, it. like all, all the behind the scenes and stuff just been waiting for the right platform to tell that story. So we're going to do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to, we're going to, this day. is no longer. You, know, you, to, you told me, I don't know if you remember in your saucy state, you told me in Dubai, I was the next Joe Rogan. Remember that? You I don't remember that. I, I think in terms of commentating 100%, hey, like that. you have like your own star power that you bring to the table for sure. That'd be awesome. I would, I for would sure. love to, like, I, I know I'm not a Joe Rogan, like, on his show, but I would love to, to fill that void in whatever way I could. PFL, hopefully, one day, um, in the boxing scene as well, being that, that color commentator. I would love that. That's the dream, man. No, I, I, I s totally see that. That's definitely going to happen for you. And then maybe getting a, a scrap percent. myself, you know? Who, fighting, here's a question. Fighting yourself? Yeah, I'll fight myself. I do that on a daily. But here's my question for you. Who do you think the Wade concept would go one-on-one -on -one in the ring with? Such a great question. It's got to be a, a, a YouTuber. You, how much do you weigh around? Like, 200. When I'm working out, when I'm... Ugh, okay. Like 215. When I'm on that sauce, wow. I'm just playing. Chat, I don't do that. Wow. <laughs> I don't do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're... Uh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Forearms are big for no reason, too. <laughs> worry about that. Chill. Uh, who, who, who would you fight? Come on, matchmaker Jake. I need it, bro. Wow. Yeah, I would cut. Yeah, I'd come down. 190. I'd come down. I could get to probably 185. I want 170. 170 weight. He, along with it. 185, that'd be crazy. I don't really have beef with nobody, though. That's the thing. Yeah, and it's like, it would be your first fight, so like, who else... Would it be their first fight, or maybe they already have like one or yeah? Two. Do you, Doctor Mike? You know what's funny? He's got, but that he's like so much more experienced. Listen to this. We're we're in Creator Clash uh, last year, around this time period. Mike's fighting in the main event. Every time I came, I love Mike by the way. Mike's one of my good buddies now. But every time I came up to him, he's like, "Wait, what? What are you weighing? <laughs> what, what are you doing? What are you signing? He was just sizing me up. I'm doing that. So that would be fun funny. one day potentially." I like Mike though. That's your boy, man. Yeah, he's, he's on, a great he's guy. On your undercard. Great guy. Unfortunate pure to fight heart. with with uh, pure heart. Yes. With Chris Avila, he got it didn't happens, maneuver that jab man. well, but it, it's part of the game, man. It happens. What do you think about this? Your boy Le'Veon Bell main eventing in a couple of days here, or a week or so, for uh, you know Misfits Boxing over there. He's fighting JMX. How do you think that goes down? That's like it's actually happening. Yeah, yeah, main event. Oh shit, I main event in New that. Orleans, New Orleans. I, I haven't been on my on social media. I, I mean, I kind of said it before the You've show. Like, I'm so out of touch with yeah what's going on in the like influencer world and like that's why you bring me in, man. I boxing you in. world. Yeah, I need I need the updates. So, that's a good fight. It's fun, right? That's a good fight. Who you who you think takes that? I I've sort of been texting a little bit with Le'Veon like a couple months ago and he seems like super hungry and motivated. Yes, bro. He's been running up and down LA looking at different gyms and getting in with guys. Yeah. He's been at Jackrabbit over there with your boy uh, Ashton and working with them. But JMX is, has that reach. He's a tall kid. Mm -hmm. Tall kid, man. 6'5". 
Yeah, that's Lanky. tough. And, it, and if you're not used to all of that, that's going to be a really tough fight. I, I got to go with Le'Veon, but it's I think it's going to be tough for him to pull it off, to be do honest. Do you be watching a lot of the influencer boxing fights, or do you just not have time I try anymore? to. Yeah. I try to, but th I feel like there's like a dime a dozen now. Like with the there's misfits. not – like every card needs to be – for, and I've said yeah. this too, Misfits sometimes doesn't build their cart. Like, for example, what I think is going to happen with Misfits in May is they're going to stack KSI's card. Now, if I put on my promoter hat, I would say, why would you do that? Yeah. KSI is going to sell that card out anyway. Regardless, yeah. Right? Now, you granted, you don't want to have out. You have to spread it out. Put Saul Poppy as a main event in his own card. Put Deji yeah, as a main event. Yeah, that would draw. Own. That would have all have draws. Put Saul Poppy in a main event in the Philippines. Yeah, that's crazy. You you should be the CEO of Misfits. CEO. Yeah, because they do a lot of fights that like no one really starts talking. That like I didn't even know that was happening. Again, I haven't been on right. social media really, but I just know KSI is going to sell by himself. Why not give give some of these other guys a man? Slim on his own card. I know you like Slim. Yeah, that's. It. They do have a lot of uh, a lot of big names over there, yeah. so they should be spreading them out. Facts. You Maybe. gonna go in person one day and watch a fight? Think they'd let you in? <laughs> probably not. Nah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. We gotta get you on. You know what I'm saying? Get you. Get me, you one of the guys. You know what you. we should do? Me and KSI should do is uh, we should fight for each other's promotional companies. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> put it all put on, it the on the line. line. Pink slips. Pink slips. <laughs> Just straight up. What would you do if you took Misfits? What would you do with a company like that? I would um dissolve it. <laughs> just immediately yeah, done. Yeah. Dang, bro. Yeah. Like that. What about you know? Are you gonna? Bring I just all don't the think that. I don't think it's doing good for the sport. It's like WWE for boxing. I think influencers. I can agree with that. Boxing is really good for boxing, but when it's chaos and tag teams and bullshit and all this like chaos and cheap ass promotions and like, I don't like that. I think it should be two influencer fights. Yep. And. Two real fights okay, on a card. And to me, combining those two, it brings the audience, but it keeps like this realness to the sport. And I don't like letting people train who are like getting in there and like punching Three like this. And, and no head gear. Yeah. yeah and like That's tough. it's it's bad look and they're getting hurt. They're getting knocked out. Yep. Like, dude, you don't want that. Like this is, this is serious shit. So it's not the hate. I think what they've done for the sport is definitely huge, huge is big, but it's, they're now kind of starting to do things that are, they're starting a to little bit go outside of the box. a little Yeah. Little like far. too much. Yeah. I can too much. Like let's like reel it back a little bit. Serious training. Yeah. Serious fights. Good fights. Um, I want to see, listen, elephant in the room. I want to see your brother get back in there, man. Same dude. What's going on it's with been, him, bro? I don't know. He said he had the Nate Diaz fight locked up, and and now they don't they don't got it no more. Yeah, I don't know. What's How you going feel on. about that though? Was that was that not a fight you wanted? Um, no, definitely, definitely no. wanted it, but I think um, it was funny because he he got caught. I don't know if you know this. Who who who? Logan, walking out from your fight, you lose to Tommy. He says in an interview with uh, shout out Donut Corby. That's your guy. You know Donut. Yeah, he's the best. He's a man, <laughs> he, uh, he catches him on the way out, and Logan, you know, Logan, what happened? And he's like, yeah, you know, it's tough, tough fight. And he goes, but at least now I get to go fight Jake's, and Donut cut him off. And I was like, oh. Jake's what? Next opponent. Uh, I was like, okay. Hunting for the Nate Diaz hunting. fight. Hunting. So what, what do you think about that? Is that a fight that you would want now, or do you think that's just like you guys are going to fight over a freaking Nate Diaz fight, dude? Yeah, no, I mean, I think uh, the Nate fight in the eye is always there regardless. It like, just seems like there's more bad blood there. Like, yeah, there's like there's a lot of – I mean, our teams are like fighting backstage. Smacking up freaking the, – There's – I'm really just like rebuilding my team, and then with that, assessing with them like who they think mm. I should go after. Um are you still down for the one and one? Oh, one with in Nate. Boxing, one in, well, yeah. Nate or anybody. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down with, I'm down for the one, one and one with Nate for You're sure. You're telling me, Jake, listen, I gotta, I'm, it sounds crazy. You're telling me you want to fight Nate Diaz in an MMA cage. Yeah. I'd be down. He, I mean, he strikes for the majority of his, of his he MMA just, fights. But he did just submit. He did submit. Tony he, Ferg. Yeah. But, but Tony like played into that game yeah. and like tried to, and Tony was he was still at thirty eight doing the 
grabs and yeah. throws in the wind chun. That's what I'm saying. It's a little like, slower, but Tony's a legend, but. And I, I don't think Nate could keep me on the ground. Really? Okay. I, I think his takedowns aren't, like, fast enough okay. to really get me in a tough position. You got to worry about and that And then it would just be though. the kicks. Oh, the, Nate doesn't kick. Exactly, but Nate that's what kick. I'm saying. Like, he just tries to box. Yeah. And if that, you watch. That, I, now that you say that, that potentially is, is a really good matchup for you because Nate Plus, I would train for a year. Kick. I would train for a year. Yeah. Like, I would have a year of jujitsu, takedown defense, and kicks. He's a free agent, man. PFL. Yeah. Nate, so, come on over. We'll get you that cash money. We'll see, but a lot of, lot of big, uh, big names and conversations going on. Thanks. Tag team? Oh, boxing on the same card? Would you rather box Nate or Nick? I mean, Nate and I just have the beef. Right. And some people argue Nick is the better boxer. I would argue Nick, that. Nick is, Nick's I Nick's been think, cold with it when he's, like, in shape. I think Nick he's just is been tied the game. up in he's still under contract. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, you and Nate is a good one. I hear Darren Till's free these days. I don't know if you heard anything about that. He was saying he wants to take on one of the Paul brothers, yeah? I'll take them on KSI as well, yeah? I'm trying to do my Liverpool. It's not good. My Scouser accent sucks. See, so he has an accent like that? Yeah. Well, it's not like that. I butchered it, but it's an accent. The, or, well, the thing is, is that these guys like him are just doing it for a payday. Like, I, I want he, people he who He freely are, admits that, by the way. Yeah, so it's like, I don't want that. I want, like, a real fight with someone that, like, I have beef with that's still relevant. Like, so... I don't know, like Dang, all these you guys. You heard that, Darren? You ain't relevant, bro. Well, he's—I re- mean, he's really like. I'm not even trying to be like. He's just right. not like. It's not even mean if it's the truth. Or maybe it is. I don't know. But like, same thing with uh, with the uh, Luke Rockhold guy, like going off on me, that. and it's like, bro, like you're fucking forty or some shit. Like, you know that I pay who I, people who I fight <laughs> a ton of money, and you're clearly like just talking shit to me to try to get a payday. That's Mister Believe, Conceive, Achieve. What are you talking about? You believe it, you conceive it, you, you achieve it. You remember that interview? Him? <laughs> He's not the greatest on the mic, Mr. Luke Rockhold. I, I mean. <laughs> if I can believe it, and I can achieve it. That's Mike Bisming comes in. Believe, achieve, shut the fuck up, mate. <laughs> He's got a fight coming up, though. Mike Perry. They're fighting? Yeah, it's bare knuckle, Christ. buddy. What? Yes. See, that's what I'm saying. Mo- it's money. Yeah. It's money motivated. What if you, if you, bro, if you're signing up to do bare knuckle, you... Don't love yourself, <laughs> and you are broke. Damn. Like, bro, you're... The cold, hard truth, huh? I'm, like... Listen. I, th- that, it is... It's it's entertaining to watch. Don't get me wrong. Chad Mendez on that card, too, by the way. Don't get me wrong. It's entertaining to watch, but, bro, like, this is dangerous. Like, this is almost not That's a crazy. sport at some point. Like, these people are going home fucked up. Bleeding everywhere, cuts everywhere. It's like bad. it's, it's bad. I don't like it for that reason. It's street beefs in a, in, a, in a ring, bro. It's street beefs in a ring. But even worse. Yeah. Even worse, man. I don't know. There's Mark Smith, the right tag this time. Listen, we got a a, a big time another heavyweight fight here on our hands. Maurice Green, and I think another late replacement fight here with Nunes. Minus three ninety, we start this bad boy off. Maurice Green training out of uh, Jackson Week MMA for a while in uh, New Mexico. You know what's interesting? Go um, ahead. Go ahead. You got uh, it. Commentator Jake, go ahead. You got it. Trump's arraignment is interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about but, that? But what, you, no, no I, you, I don't know anything I was gonna about say, you I don't, <laughs> But what were you saying? <laughs> I was going to say... Talking about uh, you know Luke Rockhold and Mike Perry, that was a guy that potentially was a matchup for you as yeah, well. Yeah, he was the backup. I sparred Mike Perry. I remember that. Yeah. There's he, a lot of controversy about how that spar went. Because he came out, you know, he was one of those guys that came out and went, oh, you know, Jake got, got me or whatever. And then you were like, yeah, I beat his ass. And then, yeah, and then the, the clip he of came him. back out and said, no, you didn't. Like, yeah, exactly, because so. he wanted to rebuild the fight. Okay. All but right. he knows what happened. And, like, the, there's even a, I put out the clip then when he started saying that yeah. he beat me, I put out the clip of him at the end admitting he goes, oh, Jake Paul beat my ass. Or what did, what did he say? Yeah. Yeah, Jake yeah. Paul beat yeah. my ass. Jeez, buddy. He, he has good, really good cardio. Tough like, as nails. Yeah, too. really tough. But it's, yeah, I beat Is his ass. Is that an ass. easy fight for you? Beat his ass. 
Easy's not the right word. It's it's a good it's a decent fight. Like yeah. I would uh, it's a medium level. Like he's good until he I mean he just walks forward. So even in the spar nice with 16 ounce gloves, like I was stunning the fuck out of him. So I think just with the 10 ounces on like he would just walk into Got a lot, man. You got a lot of fights. A lot of a lot of people calling that name. It's crazy, man. I, How does that feel, man? You just kind of always like we, no matter what, your next fight's always lined up. You turn a corner, there's four or five dudes like right over your shoulder. It's cool because I always got a job. I'm making this Facts. fucking bags. Facts. <laughs> nah, I, but I guess that's what happens. Like, I think it's the biggest pay per view of the past Ooh. eighteen months or. Oh yeah, people, since people hollering now. Since Floyd and Logan did a million buys, it's some the of that could be attributed one. to you too. Yeah, so got it's, your hat. It's the biggest fight since oh. since then. Maurice Green turns and turns his back and runs and gets back to the center. Speaking of the Floyd that was a fight, failed lat drop, by the way. I was gonna say that that was that was my Jake move Paul move there. Failed it. I used to be nasty you know with the lat that. drop. You know where he's learned a lot of that, John Jones. Trained with John a lot this last camp. Maurice then, Green? Yeah, yeah, he trains with John out in Albuquerque. Trained a lot with him for the uh, Surreal Gone fight. Used him as a body for that You one. know, what are they doing out there in New Mexico, man? John, I don't know, man. John's the the guy, right? Him. I mean, Holly Holmes still with Jackson Wink. I don't think John is. I think he kind of just built his team out. I think if I train MMA, I should go train with John Jones. That's another thing I was going to ask you. Do you want to bring people here? Or would you want to go somewhere? I don't know. I feel like it'd be more beneficial to go somewhere. I could agree with that. Get some killers in the yeah, room, and like you know? get get around all the like wrestlers and oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Would you would you mend fences with a guy like Daniel Cormier and go up to uh, AKA? <laughs> would you shake? Well, hands I'm and, cool and, with uh, Javier Mendez. Yeah, you and Javier dope. Yeah, so and you and he Habib, said he said you could come fight on a you could come fight yeah. on his deal. No, so I mean. Definitely Javier could be a potential coach for me in MMA. Oy. Wow, he's really front kick from Maurice Green. Left he don't hand. Give a shit. Green's looking good. Go ahead, Maurice. Looking strong. Okay. Double jab. This is gonna end here. Soon. Yeah, let's go. Oh, he's stunned. Backing him up. Woo! Fake knee left hand. Don't, don't let him clinch. Get out of there. I see why are you letting him stop you. So right here, you want him to pummel there as the underhook. Pummel and circle underhook out. Circle and out. Circle, right? Circle out and, and keep circle. striking. This Nunez is hurt. He's tired, too, man. We're only in round one, and, and Nunez is gassing. He's done a pretty good job here in this first round, but it looks like Maurice is starting to turn the tide in this last minute. Green is nice six single, foot though. seven. Good defense. Stuff the head. Ooh. Get the whizzer. See, like, even that basic oh, wrestling, like. Man. Turned his back, but he gets back to his feet. That basic wrestling, like, yeah. he didn't even throw any single leg defense right and for a guy that's been working with john for as long as he has you would think like right now he should crank yep. this underhook hips are out now separate. circle out separate. separate i don't know what's going on boom big knee oh right there hand, he left goes. Hand. oh he's gonna hurt him let's go 16 finish seconds. it off finish Round it off one straight left hand down the pipe i think green's tired too yeah both guys are nice check right hook Moving forward is the Jake Paul front kick. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I taught him that. Man. Taught him everything Yo, he knows. Yo, I was thinking about this the other day. Like, we were kind of talking about New Mexico, but have you ever met someone from North Dakota? No. You haven't, no. right? I only know of, like, one so person. I, yeah, I have this conspiracy theory that no one exists, actually, in North There's Dakota. There's no one from North Dakota. And South Dakota. They're just there. So people that go to, like, college there just go to college there. They're never from there. No, 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 exactly. But, no, not even – they don't even go to college there. It's like, not even real. None of it the exists. The place isn't even there. It's literally just on the map. It's just like East Montana. Because why haven't we ever met someone or known – fuck, sorry. I'm changing my chair. There you go. Um, why haven't we ever met or known someone from, from North, North Dakota. Dakota or South Dakota? That's true. It's a good point. Cause Carson Can we Wentz see if any there. of the comments – is anyone from – Guys, chat. Any of y'all from North Dakota, man? And if there's not a single person, then it's, like, it's, it's just proof. It's much. just fact right there. Big left hand there in the middle of the round. A lot of facts in there. Speaking facts, W. I just realized it the other day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some Shout random Kev. kid. Kevin, like, we know you're just saying it for Shout clout. Shout Kev. 
Oh yeah. Someone said this. what? <laughs> West Dakota. <laughs> Everybody besides Kevin said no. Okay. That's what I'm saying. There you go. So how many people are in the chat? Uh oh. So yeah, we're we're going a little bit more irrelevant, yeah, bro. That's actually not bad. That's I don't, not bad. We, we chill, five thousand for 5, like we're two or three hours in or something. That's what we do, bro. This is crazy. Wait till yeah. wait till the co-main and main gear. It's gonna yeah, pop I'm gonna off. I'm gonna wait till Jake gets on ESPN two, bro. Game over. Game over. So out of five thousand people, no one, one Kev, person, a Kev. liar, Kevin, the liar. Dang, we just <laughs> just <laughs> just <laughs> trouncing on my man's name. Big he's, li- he's a fucking liar. <laughs> I just proved my conspiracy theory live on the Wade concept. Hey, clip that. Ship it, baby. It's part of my new intro. Now. Oh, there's another state, too, where they don't exist. I forget which one it is. <laughs> Montana. New Hampshire. No, no. I know a lot of people from Montana and Hampshire. New Hampshire. I know. Oh, big shots. Marie Green, knee. Mark Smith taking a big ex- knee. Ooh. Bro. How yeah, is this bad. guy still standing? Oh, high Throw knee again. Throw uppercut. The ref's going to stop left it. left hand. He's going to stop it. That's it. That's it. Woo! Maurice Green with okay. the Fab Five points. Impressive. Good Second performance. Second round stoppage. He's got the the Jorge Masvidal tattoo. Not a big fan. This guy is uh, six foot seven. I think he has the potential to be a Little monster. Weezy style. A monster. Six foot seven foot eight foot what? Bars. So that's back to my childhood. Yeah, bro. Who's Little. your favorite rapper in the game right now? If you say anything, Lil, and it's not Wayne, I'm walking off set. I'm walking. If I say, oh no, 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 like right now, right now, bro. And my chat always roasts me for this chat. You already know what I'm going to say. I bet they know. Watch, but who, who's yours? I mean, bro, I go to bat tough. for him on Twitter all the time. It's it's tough, but like because it's like such a mainstream like thing to say, and say people it, don't say like to no, say it because they're like, oh, it. I don't want to pick them. But say Drake, it, bro. Say Drake, say it. Yeah, Drake. Talk to him, Jake. Drake. Facts. He's the best. People don't want to realize the man is the g- g- goat. Bah, the goat, bro. He's insanely fucking good, bro. I don't even really listen to all this other shit. Like, it ain't and, it ain't, and it ain't it, play worthy, bro. It's not. And and then I just go back and listen to his Drake's old stuff. Facts. Like, I play it. Top ten pin game. Don't at me. And, and my favorite. People no, but people be like that. They're like, "Oh, Drake ain't got a pen because he had a ghostwriter on a couple songs." Bro, Drake wrote for your favorite artist. Yeah, and Stop. every every artist in the history of music has collaborated with other artists. Talk. You don't just walk into a fucking room, you Talk. idiots, and just sit there and be like, "I'm gonna make a song by myself today." You create a fucking vibe Facts. with your homies. You get fucking lit, lit. You fucking smoke some shit. You do some fucking whatever the fuck, and you just start spitting on the fucking mic. Bars. The fuck out of here. Bars. But my favorite rapper growing up was Lil Wayne. Yeah. Who I that's how I found out yeah. about Drake. Yeah. So yeah. really that duo was like my my childhood when they started Batman jumping on Robert, songs. Bro. It's crazy. Speaking of, Ra- speaking of rappers, Marcos is Wiz Khalifa. Oh Wiz Khalifa was born in North Dakota and he's he's a part of the PFL. That's your guy, man. Just expose the theory live. I don't believe it. <laughs> we got we to we gotta bring Wiz on the show now. He made that up when he was high. He made that up. Yeah, Wiz, Wiz Khalifa is not from North Dakota. No one's from North Dakota. Let's go, Maurice. What? Big time win there. You know what my favorite rapper was growing up? Hmm. Kanye. Kanye West. It's pretty good. 2004, it's 2007. Good. 2004 to 2007, Kanye was undefeated, bro. Yeah. You want to hear the, the, the lyric that got me into rap? So I'll tell you the story. I've told my chat this before. I'm a country boy, man. I grew up listening to country music on the radio. I love country music. Take you for a ride on a big green tractor. tractor. <laughs> we can go slow. Right? Or we can go faster. Oh, no. They know, they know about the vocals, but that's what I grew up with, right? Okay. Yes, yes. So I don't know if you were this area. You probably were. We had used to buy the iTunes music, right? Yeah. 99 cents. Bro, LimeWire. LimeWire hit. All this shit. Well, listen, I was a good I was a goody two shoe, so I bought my shit. You know what I'm saying? We go buy the prepaid cards. We had the we had the first iPod, the shuffle. Yep. The USB stick. Yep. Right? So my mom had to supervise all my music. All of it. She was not Same. letting me buy nothing. Well, they're ninety nine cents. You buy a hundred dollar card, you got one for Christmas, you get a cent every time you get a you purchase a song. They add up to one dollar. And I had $1 left on that account. And mom wasn't home. 
Wow. And parents weren't home, and I was like, I'm about to just whatever she said never buy anything explicit i was like bet i'm gonna buy the most explicit one right yes and this is when kanye had dropped i think it was either late registration or yeah i think it was late registration and last call was the last song on the album 10 minute song i was like i'm getting my money's worth 10 minutes cool <laughs> and the song is is yay like seven minutes telling about his story how he got signed by rock uh by jay-z and all that but he has a song in there and he says um there's two lines. And he said, I'm killing these dudes on that lyrical shit. Mayonnaise color bins. I push miracle whips. And I knew what miracle whip was because I'm in the South and we got a bunch of fat asses down in the South. Mm -hmm. We all eat mayonnaise. I was like, okay. But I also knew what a whip was from watching MTV. So I was like, okay, miracle whips, whips. He pushes miracle. Got it. White bins. Got it. And he has another lyric in the song where he says, cool as bun B when I met him at the source awards. Girl he had with her ass could have won the horse awards. So the girl he had with her, they had a nice ass. And again, a I'm, a, I'm a Bible Belt guy, so I knew what ass was a, a horse per se. I was like, okay, I get it. So that's what got me into hip hop, man. Yeah, man. I I had to sneak listen to Lil Wayne at first. Okay. And I like watched his documentary without my mom knowing. And then at some point, I just like started playing it on the way to school. Yeah. When my mom would drive me, and she was like, "What? What, is what this? are you listening to? We can't. You cannot listen to this." And I was like, "Mom, that's my favorite. Like, I don't <laughs> care." Mom, it's my. Favorite. And he's saying all types of. I remember like walking into fucking, what was it? Probably like fourth grade, like listening to Little Wayne talk about killing people and oh, shit yeah. before. No ceilings, man. Yeah. He was going crazy on that. <laughs> I, I was used to going until I collapsed. Crazy. Like Eminem, sixth, sixth grade, like middle school football in the in the locker room, just like till I collapse. I'm <laughs> Bro, I, I, go smack someone. I was in the CD era too, where like we still had the jukeboxes yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And yeah, the CD player, if you tapped it too hard, it skipped. Yep. We had the. <laughs> it, yeah. We had the little John going crazy down there. The, I showed my. She moved a body like a cyclone. Oh, okay. the, that, that that group as well. I forget what the name of them. I showed my cent. editor a VHS tape, and he the first one he'd seen in his life the other day. I showed him a VHS tape of Toy Story. We were at Face and Taste Place. He? It's 22. See, these 90s kids don't Crazy. know. He'd or never these, seen what is it, 2000s he it. kids? He took a picture of it and was like, oh my God, I have to document this. I feel blessed to be like a part of non, both. Non-texting youth. Both I'm, generations. Yeah. Like We had to go and knock on the door to like ask your friends to play. Yeah. But then we also got the texting yeah. and stuff. So like we can do both. Yeah. Now these fucking Gen X or whatever they're called. They're just like phone addicts. They don't even know how to interact in real life. It's, it's weird. It's crazy. It's crazy. What was your first phone? It was... Um, you are going to die when you hear my first one. It was the one where you like pay for the plan yep. every month or something. Oh, I used to A run Firefox that, that or some the shit. The Firefly. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Had the same line, brother. Four buttons on the phone. Didn't even have bro, numbers. Bro, that shit's gangster. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. You hit four numbers. It was like emergency, yep. family, and like friend, mm-hmm, and then like mm-hmm. I don't know, mean menu. And you had to pay for the plan, right? Yeah, every you had to pay every, every month. month. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I might have been where mine came from, Loki. And then after that, I got the razor. Oh, you were dope if you had a razor, bro. And you I, were dope if you had a razor. And I was like play like snake on it. Yeah, bro. And then, what's the texting where T9, word bro. or T nine T nine word. Where you have to punch it three times to get to the letter. Yeah, and you can like do it faster. Oh yeah, that our hand eye coordination went Ooh, crazy with that. Bro, two thousand skids will never know. And then you got the envy. The envy I got. Boom! Flip it flip up. That bad boy. Da, 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 da. Yeah, going crazy. Mad hose. <laughs> Mad hose, bro. That was and in sixth grade I had three girlfriends, bro. Word. Yeah, and and they, they all. Knew it? John Tucker. I got John Tuckered, bro. John Tucker must die, guys. Yeah, in in like one day, I asked like three different girls to be my girlfriend. Oh, you're cold. And they all like said yes. And then by the end of the day, they all found out and they like fucking hated me. I think they, I think that's like two of them still hate me to this day. Dang. Yeah. Hold the the BlackBerry. My dad had a BlackBerry, would not let go of it until like two years ago. Kept with the thing because he did not want to have a smartphone. Yeah, and then you got the NV2. The NV2 went crazy, and then when, I think I eventually my, my it was first smartphone iPhone. was my freshman year of college. First smartphone, and it wasn't an iPhone; it was the uh, the Android. I might have had an Android, and first I didn't know how to handle too, myself. I didn't know how to handle myself. I was on Twitter typing Drake lyrics. I didn't know wh- how to do nothing, bro. 
I when I first got on Twitter, it was like the hate Justin Bieber era. Oh, okay. so like if you were like a young ki- boy, you would just like hate Justin just, Bieber just for no off. reason. Just going off on him. Yeah, and then like l- life Ooh. karma paid off. There's your boy, Abin Mercier and Shane Burgos. Ooh, season the opener Canadian matchup. Gangster. Come on, man. Let's go. Defending champ, buddy. This is next week. Yes, bro. I'm Massive. coming back. I'm coming back next week, yeah? Yeah, I'll see you here. <laughs> Just move in. Hey, let's do it, bro. The Wade concept in Puerto Rico. You never knew it. Coming to Atlanta, though. How about that? ATL stand up. I just flew in from Atlanta. Nice place. Big airport. Massive airport. Oh, oh hey, Marcos, you ain't got to tell me twice to promo where I'm working, brother. Kingpin coming up. Yes, Sersky. I'm flying to that? London, April 22nd. Oh, that's I just not heard, a – why did they do that? I just heard today – well, they're, they're doing it different times. They're going before uh, before the, Gervonta. I know, though. I know. I know. It's tough. It's you, still you tough. Pick like one, you got to right? pay $85 for Gervonta and that's, Ryan. That's not even a bad price, to be honest. I know people were like, what the – but – I mean, it's once in a lifetime. That's a, it's lot. a lot. It's a it's lot. It's a lot. I agree with you. But think about the 90s when Mike Tyson was charging a hundo to watch people 14 seconds in deaded. And he he, de- he demanded that kind of paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Tyson Fury be, be well, not now. It's in top rank. But Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder was 99. All three times. It's once in a, a generation fight. We haven't had this kind of fight in boxing where both guys in their prime. Young fighters, not I, afraid to take that challenge. I think there's a sweet spot, though, where it's there's, like, a perfect price where you still charge more or whatever, but it doesn't, like, turn doesn't people break off. Because yeah. there's a lot of people who are after, like, $50, $60 Start to kinda look that are like, way. I'll pirate this. Yeah. And we live in a oh, digital age. Yeah, That's the problem is, like, people had to pay the money. Didn't have so, another option. Yeah. So now... Dude, like, there's so many fucking... That's the biggest problem with the sport currently is the pirating. It's, 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 un, it's unstoppable. It's, it's so hard to combat. You can't even... Kids are too good, man. You can't even combat it, really. Oh, man, you guys aren't going to like me, and I love Ryan Garcia, dude. I love him. I met him in, uh, at LAX, and he remembered one of the videos I made about him. It was dope. Yeah, he's a cool kid. He's so cool, bro. I, I made a, nice guy. Uh, a video about him on Luke Campbell. He remembered it. And remember what I said in the video. He goes, oh, you were talking about outside foot leverage and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, shit, this guy actually watched the video. Yeah. But I got Tank. I got Tank. And I think it's – it's Ryan would laugh at me for saying this. I think he's too stagnant. I think he's, his footwork is stay. Head movement, a lot of feints, left hook, stands tall. Tank's already got leverage underneath. I'm afraid that he's leaning too much to his power, to where he wants to sit down and throw power with a guy that is one of the most powerful guys at that weight class, even as a smaller guy. What are you saying about that? It's a, it's a really tough fight. It's a, fun, it's a tough it's, one to, it's to call. It's a fun one, but I, I go with Ryan Garcia. Yeah. And, and I think that Tank makes mistakes with getting hit with hooks. And, and if, Ryan's lead hook is I dangerous. know he's going to be Dang. cognizant to keep his right hand up so he doesn't get hit with it. But I think Ryan does a good ass job of hiding. baiting people to get their right hand down. He hides it too. And I think and it's so uh, Ryan's underestimated, bro. Like you, the cameras can't even see his it's fucking so punch. It's lightning. His last one was like that knockout. I was like, where did that even come from? Do you, we should make a bet. Like, are you, you want to bet yeah, on let's this? Do it. Let's do it. Cause I'll bet on Ryan. Okay. What are we saying? What, what you, number? Yeah. Well, oh, we, we should do a. Uh, uh, that's a good. One. We gotta think of what we're betting. Because numbers-wise, you <laughs> can't compete. <laughs> if I win. Facts. Okay. Facts. facts. Gus, I don't know if you could hear Gus from behind the camera, but he said that you got to get Amanda Serrano on a date. One-on-one date, okay. me and Amanda Serrano. If you win. If I win. Um, what do you want from the Wade concept, bro? What do you want from Wade? Like, <laughs> yeah, you can she ask needs, Amanda. We'll ask, but like, me. I think she'd be down. <laughs> no, I'm saying, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> or maybe just meet her. Yeah, we'll just we'll meet and greet, you know? Yeah. I'll bring my signed picture. Yeah. And ask where I got it. Um and if and if Ryan wins, then um You have to you no, you have Country to. One I'll do. You have to stand on the side of the road with a sign that says "Honk if you're horny." 
I'm down with that. I'm down with that. In Orange County, I'll go to LA <laughs> yeah. and do it. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah. All right, deal. All right, man. <laughs> Honk. Honk if you're horny. <laughs> the mind of Jake Paul, ladies and gentlemen. I'll put it on Twitter for 100%. I've done this for a video before. It's really entertaining. Back in my the day. amount of people in L.A. People the are single horny. Crowd, yeah, just yeah. nonstop. People are horny. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it now. If I ever did now. drop a diss track, by the way, body bags, bro. No matter should, who it is. You should drop a diss track. No matter who it is. You should drop a diss track. I just got bars, bro. I'm just telling you. I got bars. It, yeah, we... <sighs> We haven't hit 10,000 we'll we'll viewers. Hit at, the end, at the end of the stream, regardless of the viewership, we'll get it. I got to do a country one? I know. Everybody, yeah. Ohio Fried Chicken, bro. I can go crazy on a country song. Yeah? I have to, I have to make the little, little you nice ever, You know mix. about Ohio Fried Chicken? Don't talk about fried chicken, bro. I'm from Tennessee. Don't talk no, about it. No, but that. like, you don't know about the song Ohio Fried Chicken? Oh, no, I don't. It's a massive song by this phenomenal artist. Yeah? Yeah, it's like um, JP. Ohio fried uh. chicken, bitch. Oh, okay. I forget how it goes. That's to be it, honest, though. But it's really good. Sounds like it. Sounds like a number one single if I've heard one. I'm actually gonna play it on this stream. So While you're you get doing demonetized. that, oh, dude, 100. percent I'm down. While you're doing that, though, pronounce these names that are coming up if you could, because Jake Paul pronunciation is where we're at. <clears> I'll give you the first one: Henan Ferreira versus. Bro, I got on my screen now. Sheet, like. Look, right, right here. here. Henan Fajeda. I got you. Somewhere in. It's, I got it right No, here. I don't even need yours. Oh, okay, bro. Sorry. All right, I need yours. <laughs> Who's he fighting? Renan Ferreira. Henan Fajeda. Renan. Henna. Henna. Henna Fajeda. Ferreira versus Rizvan Kuniev. Woo! Talk to him nicely. Stop playing with me, brother. Talk to him nicely. And as you see. On Stop screen, ladies me, and brother. gentlemen, another heavyweight matchup. Leg reach. I'm competing here in the leg reach. I was at, what was I? You were 45. 45, yeah, I'm, I'm right there, bro. At 6'4". <sighs> my man Hennon is 6'8", buddy. That's crazy. You're I think talking, he's the tallest in the PFL. You're talking small forward status. That's LeBron James in there. You know what I've always said, Jake? If basketball players did know how to fight, not Nate, but... If basketball players could learn how to fight, they'd be the most dangerous people on the planet. I don't think they have the fire. That's why I think where they choose like a less contact sport. I know, but like, side, you're telling me if Giannis didn't know how to fight? Come on, bro. I don't think he could take a punch. Maybe not now, but as a kid growing up, that size. If dangerous. He, if, yeah. The physical attributes can't be denied. LeBron the, James. The basketball players are definitely like the most freakies athletic. Freakies of freaks, bro. The most athletic. You're about to play football for a stint, I heard. I wanted I, to I roasted to the, you. I roasted you for this. I had to. What did you say? I said you were lying about your 40 speed. Fuck. <laughs> I don't think I am though. Wait, what Bro, did I say? What did I say my 40 speed was? 43 flat. That's not true. Okay. No, it is. I I said that for yeah. sure, but yeah, no. I was I, say, I, yeah. I was no, you say, were right. I was lying. I was like there's no no, bro. I know. I was lying. What do you I, think I, you I actually get, run? A four or five for sure. I ran it. You on ran a camera. four or five flat. I ran it on camera recently oh, on the bro, beach. I gotta see this. No, but we gotta measure it though. Because I oh, I did a breakdown yards. on that run. On the beach. On the beach. Was I, I measured it out? I think you were like three or four yards short. Okay. Well, just judging off. of But like that was without cleats. I I. You I ran I ran a four seven at the Miami four, seven, day hung I over. I can believe four seven. I ran a four seven at in Miami hung over. Is yeah. it hand timed or are we talking laser time? Hand timed. Oh, so laser time, you're probably four nine. I'm bro. old school, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old we school. Got, we don't use that laser yeah, bullshit. Fuck this laser bullshit. I want to see how that kid runs out there. We see him move around out there, brother. Um but <laughs> But yeah, I wanted to go to the NFL growing up. Of course. Every kid's dream. Yes. And um, then I didn't go through puberty in GG. time. GG, bro. I was, and then I turned, GG, I was bro. like the best player on my team when everyone was the same size. And then when everybody started nasty. That and then when every, Roseburg, everyone grew a foot and I was still <laughs> just like, five fucking four or some shit. Cool, bro. I, had, I, I grew when I was, I went through my growth spurt when I was. Almost about to turn 18. Same. Crazy. Same. Shit's fucked up. Now, Fajeda, 
Jake, if you'll remember from last year, because I know you're very well versed in your PFL uh, back lore, semifinalist last year in the heavyweight division, almost took home the crown. He's coming back for vengeance this year. Again, 6'8", skipped seven. And right now, actually, the live odds are not looking great for him because he's up on the cage taking knees to the stomach. Yeah, the underhook though and breaks. Nice break out. Uh, oh, big shots! Watch out! Uh, We're throwing step leather. back and drop a pop. Oh, 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 these fight. Oh, throwing leather right See, now. See, I, li I like this when the when the heavyweights start to get wild. Yeah, bro. Something crazy can happen. <laughs> and that was nice timing there from Vade off the back foot, but he keeps on getting tied up in this clinch. Exactly, Kuniev keeping really close to his body. Right, really intimate setting we have here on on screen, Jake. Just the Celsius plug everywhere. And I'm telling you, they're doing it right. We're plugging Celsius. They're plugging Celsius. How many of those have you had? You're on number three, I think, for the live stream. Not yeah. for the day, folks. For the live stream. Yeah, I'm working on number three. Chat, keep a Jake Celsius count for me, if you would, please. Yeah. And also, keep the number for Can, our local uh, medical facility as do well. They have, do they have – Um, does Byron have snacks? Yeah, we got snacks. Hey. We got snacks coming. What got, what don't you have here, bro? Um, strippers. That's the next question. Well, we kind of They're not hiding any They're, they're not, in the corner. They're not John Jones in this thing, right? <laughs> <Yo. now>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder is that a real story? It is. Like where it, it is. He hid from what I've talked to I've talked to many people that have been around there that said, "Yep. That was real." How long did he hide for? Hours. I heard 4, I've heard 6. That's hilarious. Chael, Chael confirmed it, too, on Ariel's show. That's hilarious. Shout out Uncle Chael, by the way. Great my guy. guy. Great guy. Yeah. Um, what don't we have here? Big knee to the stomach there, Cooney. Oh, back and forth they go with the knees. You got it all, man. This is paradise here. Oh. Yeah, Ooh, we, cheeky outside trip there almost. Kind of running out of clout. That's what I'm saying, bro. We need to do, we need to do a PR stunt. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we did got your hat, so that one's probably... Speaking of, I think a lot of people... We'll talk about this. A lot of people thought the the Floyd thing that happened recently was a big PR stunt with you two. Yeah, it was. Yeah? Yeah. No way. Yeah. What? Yeah. That's what I... I kind of wanted to talk about it on this. No way. You know I went to bat for you. Bro, for I still have like three or four things to, to unload I went on. to bat for you on what this. What did you, you say? Know? I was like, Jake's not... Like, it was like, oh, Jake's a big pussy for running. I was like, you stand in front of 10 dudes and see how you do. 25 dudes but this was set up yeah so you and floyd are like talking about the stuff like yeah. yo run up on me in this van yeah we no were like way. Let, let's let's set this up and make this go viral and it and and viral it did are you dead serious right it now? bro yes it, it went on like every single so you know news I, page and outlet yeah and we got exactly what we wanted out of it well you know that i spoke to someone on your side that legitimately told me this was real so I got got right here. Yeah, well, I mean, like, because I was concerned. We we needed like we needed people to, to think real. it was real. Jeez. This was this was like us at dinner, like. <laughs> oh no way! <laughs> Fucking hell. Planning it out. Can the camera even see that? <laughs> oh my god! So you're learning. We're learning here live. You got to learn how to manipulate the media, I, brother. No, I get it. You got me, man. You got me. I, I thought. Can you even see this? Will you grab it and show them? So round one done there. I can't. I'm. I'm. I'm baffled, Jake. I'm. I'm Drake on the Duppy freestyle. I'm in shock. The nerve. The nerve. The nerve. No, I mean like. I get it. I don't. You know what's crazy is that like I was debating on whether or not to like reveal that the whole Floyd thing was fake, but I was just like fuck it, like. Might as well, right? Might as well. Because some I don't like to reveal all my secrets, but like I always got tricks up my sleeve. And that, that's that's why I'm the best in, in the business at marketing and generating hype and creating controversies. Well, I'll, I'll and say shit. it here. You got me, man. Chatty got me. Gotcha Hold marketing. That. Laid. Gotcha marketing. Gotcha marketing. So wait, is there any bad blood? And there? Floyd's smart too. Oh, and like he, he knows how to play the game and yeah. all this stuff. Um, no, no, that's what was interesting about it is like we squashed our, our little beef. Y'all started out being tight too, right? Like when you first started boxing, he was kind of. Yeah, he was cool. He was and like him. we knew similar people. Now what such. happened in Miami was, was definitely, that wasn't, that wasn't supposed to go down like the that. The gotcha hat? The gotcha hat. No, that, that was, that was real. real. 
He but got then you there too. was beef after that. And then we squashed and the beef squashed. and we were like, let's do something viral. So that's not a fight. And there's still like talks about the fight. That's why we okay. wanted to do it. Okay. Was oh, like shit. great buzz for a fight. Jumping nice little big punch there. there. That was a dangerous technique because now look, Kun uh, Kuniev is on top. Oh, oh, searching for an ankle. I cannot believe what I'm learning here on my live stream chat. I still got like two or three more bombs to drop, like about things to unveil. Okay. And stories, but. Jeez, okay. But yeah. We got all night, Jake. We got all night. We do. We, <sighs> we chilling. We're, we're still got to get to gotta... I think what happened, by the way, like I'm not any expert here. Okay, go ahead. I think they told us that they were starting with the main card, but they didn't. And then ah, you see what I'm saying? So now we, we've been on the prelims. Yeah. We've been giving them too much too much of the way concept. I wasn't yeah. contracted for this. I was supposed to just do the main. What, what, what is this? I don't know what's going you on. You know what? It's a handshake deal. PFL, you're welcome. Um, you're welcome for the 5,000 and dropping. <laughs> We're doing yeah, this. how many viewers are we at? Don't ask. Oh, bro, it's over. It's over. We got to no, do something. Dude, don't say it's over. We got to do something. We got to create a hype, hype beast, bro. Okay, yeah, we'll get up and move around again. They want us to twerk. <laughs> I've twerked on stream. Oh, shit. I can move that thing. <laughs> I ain't afraid of it. I don't want to see this shit. What? I was joking. I, I'm dope with it, bro. Uh, okay, save that for... The strippers? Are, no, are yeah, still? we do have strippers. It's you. I'm show it. Yeah, facts. The, the, Wade, the Wade show. The facts, bro. Listen. Are you kidding me? You want I don't me think to, that's a good you idea. You want to send me into a state of shock? I'll yeah, do his it. Nervous system's already. Uh, I'm already jacked up. Yeah, man. we could do some. I mean, we could figure out something to Listen, do. Listen, I'm an expert at clapping cheeks. How no mobile? What you're what? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna clip that. I'm an I, expert I don't even mind it. It's all over Twitter. They know what I do. They, they know, know that the live you streams. You know, they know what I do. They know that you clap cheeks on on live stream, bro. No <laughs> hands. That's what I do. See, I'm. <laughs> I'm talking about something else. I'm, listen, I'm talking about whatever right now. It is. What it is. <laughs> So, no, bro. Listen, the live streams so you, get lit. By the way, full mount <laughs> position here. So you clap cheeks on your live stream, but you don't have an OnlyFans. My own, my own cheeks. I clap. <laughs> my own. But the OnlyFans stuff, you know, that's off stream. We we do that different. But right now, Fajeda is mounting Kuniev, and he's on a ten fight win streak. Kuniev is so this would be and a title winner for Eagle FC coming into this fight. But again, Fajeda, a guy that went to the semifinals last year, dominant right now. Let's we'll see if he can do anything with his position, man. It's the it's the beard. If Jake shaved his mustache right now, he'd be Dagestani. They don't have mustaches. They don't do the mustache. They do the Abe Lincoln, bro. Just the beard. I call that. The wow, I just realized it. Yeah, bro. Think about it. Islam, no mustache. I just realized Khabib, it. No mustache. It took me twenty six years to realize. Ooh, this. arm bar attempt here. The hit has got one. He's deep too. Ooh, so, that's deep. So deep. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I know, bro. That's what he does. There we go. No, bro. no, 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 <laughs> no. that. I... Oh, now look at this. Kuniev, half guard, arm triangle. Turning things around. You learned that move. You learned that position the other day with, yeah, with Bo. Bo, arm yeah. triangle. Oh, cradle? I know a little bit of wrestling, you know? I, I miss wrestling, man. Yeah. I want to, like... Go into like an open tournament. Just just enter. See yeah. What happens. And I miss like the swag about it too, like the custom singlets. Yep. All the little wrestling shoes. I'm down with it, man. I'm down with it. I'm just. I'm not gonna hit Jake though. You know. What I'm saying? too old. I don't want to break like, sternums. You know. I'm old and sore, bro. Like. You just got throw one on me, bro. That's it. Just I just don't got. Who would you Who would you choose out of the guys here to throw one? Don't say Gus, because mm -hmm. we're talking black belt, on whatever. You? Yeah. I'll take one. I think it's got to be Gus. But All right, Gus. Take it easy. Or we should, get, we should get Jasper. Yeah, bring where's Jasper that, down. Where's Jasper? Bring Jasper down. Tell him I've been waiting on this moment. I want that body shot, brother. Do you want to call? Can you call Mount Jasper? Mount a crucifix here from Kuniev? Wow. Why is everyone? Oh, all right, all right. This is good. Wait, I got some. I got some content here. What, Wait, you got the chat up. Why is everyone texting me? Jake is saying Kleba on a live stream. <laughs> this is my. That's the crew. This is the this is the check 
friend. The John. Jake friend. This is John. The the surround Jake around Jake's. Big John. Jake, yeah, not Jake. Oh no, yeah, Jake Jake stunt double, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Surround Jake, round Jake's. <laughs> I'ma do what it, it takes. takes. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna FaceTime him. I know Maybe John. The crib going crazy I think John can there. get our numbers up. John John has a bunch of clout. Maybe he can give it keep us relevant during this live stream. You faked the, the the Floyd thing, bro. You're a genius. That's what they're saying. That's what the, that's what Yo, the street's saying. Hey, you're, we're on live stream, so just don't don't say anything crazy. But Big John, what's good? Oh, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna like face you towards the camera so they could see you. But um, yeah, bro. Basically, what happened is that. I, there was a Czech fighter, and I, like, picked her to win. Did you win? Nope. She got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> and and I was, like, <laughs> saying, like, it's all about the Kleba. Um, but anyways. Head kick, buddy. Head kick, like, really bad, like. And I was, like, she's going to win, like, shout out the power of the Kleba. <laughs> and then it just all went wrong. So I think Kleba's stock just went down 10%. Oh, no. But basically the reason I'm calling you is to oh. get clout. Um, so if you could, if you. I'm, I'm with another YouTuber that has, like, 10 million subscribers. So Perfect. Yeah, bro, you're just going to have to ship those fans our yeah, way, Yeah, ship buddy. them over our way. Clip it, ship them it. over our way. Yeah, bro. Make sure you yeah. throw that tweet out, Big John. Yeah. We'll appreciate that one. If you guys could, um, we'll send an invoice. If you guys could get us some live stream viewers, we're going irrelevant because in um, real time. Yeah, bro, we're. I mean, Cle just got knocked out. Like, I mean, bro. Like, we need the resurgence. How do you get? How, how do you activate the Czech Republic to join this live stream? Or they're they're asleep. You activate the Czech Republic. Oh, so we're all right. So, we're, so, all right, so uh, you're worthless right Jesus. now. Jesus. Yeah. Peace out, brother. I called you for clout, bro. We're going irrelevant. I gotta. It's bad. It's bad news. Oh. That's interesting. I could do that. Logan, I, I've had some choice words for Logan recently. <gasps> Let's hear it. Yeah, we got to talk more shit about people and nah, like, create I didn't even drama. like that. I just don't like what I don't like. Let's is, create drama and get more viewers. You know what I don't like? <laughs> Let's get married. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm down. <laughs> you know what I don't like? Honestly. Okay. I feel like Logan takes your shine a lot. Yeah, yeah. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. I got I got really there was something that I saw around the Tommy fight and it just reminded me I'm like, man, this I don't I don't know anything about him personally, but this guy really can't have Jake like he can't let Jake shine. Yelling out stuff in the middle of the fight. Yeah. I don't know if he knew that that was going to go out to the live crowd, but regardless, what is that? No. Jumping behind you with the prime. Hey, what's up? I'm yeah, behind like, Jake. I'm, I'm like is this yeah. really your moment, bro? Yeah. Like, no offense to the guy. He's, he makes big moments. And again, I'm a massive fan of his work in the WWE, the whole thing. But I'm like, not really your moment. A lot of people say this to me. Even the podcast you guys did after, again, I don't, I don't know what goes on behind this. I don't know. I don't, I don't know him. But he's like, yeah, I want to fight Tommy. I'm like, it's kind of Jake's thing, dude. Yeah. You know? Like, let my man get his rematch. Imagine yeah. you jumping in after after the first draw. I'll fight KSI. Yeah, exactly. It's like, you know, it's not really your time, dude. Yeah. And again, no, a lot of people say this to me. And it does it does it does upset me, but I don't even want to get into it. No, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to, you know. But that's just it, But but it if is If they were going to talk about it, that's No, just, for sure, know. for sure. But I it don't is, again, it is it is really it's I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's on purpose though. I don't think it is. I think it, it might not be, but maybe it's just a I don't know, dude. I I don't know anything personally about it. I just looked at it and I was like as someone that knows how much that fight meant to you, yeah, I was like, that ain't that ain't it, bro. Wait for the Jake Paul documentary in three, four years. Four years and down the, the line, truth will be revealed. Four years down the line, when he hits up Joe Rogan for it, man, you want to do it on the fucking weight concept? It's bullshit. If we had like maybe like if we had some, we're clout. probably down to like we're four like thousand viewers now. Yeah, like it's bad. So if we were at if we were like ten k, if we were at like ten k viewers, I'd probably just drop talk bomb, about you know? the drama. But you heard it, no, Jack. Go get it. I'm just playing. I'm playing. <laughs> nah, bro, that's that's. I don't want to put that on camera anyway. It's family shit, man. Yeah. It's like, trust me, we all got, like, my, I got, you know, I got three brothers. Are they younger or older? Two older, one younger. Nice, nice. I got a younger brother. Do you get along with them all? Yeah, for the most part. We're yeah. all different, though. Like, 
you and Logan are so similar. Yeah, we like are yin and yang. Yeah, it's tough because you guys do a lot of the same things. You know, my no one in my family does what I do. Yeah, so you it's know? like different verticals. We have musical talent. We have a father. We have the youngest brother. He's just working, you know, doing his thing. But I'm the only one online. My my one of my older brothers is like, you're going to see Jake. <laughs> I was like, like, yeah, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Watch his fights all the time. He he picked you to beat Tommy too, man. I tried to. I, tried I to let him down. You let you let my brother Gabe down. Shout I out let Gabe. everyone down. I let myself. Don't do down. it, no, bro. Don't. Don't go cry. back to that place, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. It's good though. I needed to lose. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna. It's 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 good for me. It's really good for me. I think so. In the long run, I think so. I think it, it it's definitely. I don't want to. Maybe like a, a a mindset kind of thing where you're like, okay, let me reset here. Let me reevaluate where we're at. Right, for sure. Definitely, just got like too comfortable. It's hard when you're. You can see that a little bit too in the fight. Mm -hmm. Like you didn't. It didn't look like you felt threatened, but at the same time, the fight was going on, and you were just you were there. I was just like tired and like not in the mood to fight. Yeah, that was something that a lot of people shout out the chat. We were watching you warm, not warm up. We were watching you about to walk out. I was just flat, flat as fucking four o'clock. I was like, man, I was. But you've. This is something that you've struggled with, right? In some fights, you felt like you've come out flat in? Only only two. Yeah? Only Woodley won. But even then, it was, like, not as flat as this. What do you this attribute was like that f- to, do you think? I I don't know, man. Can I give you an opinion? Yeah. Overtraining? Uh, I think for this fight, we definitely cut the weight terribly. I had seven weeks basically to get to the lowest weight yeah. I had been at, and since I was 21 years old. Yeah, you were down. What, eight, and so, and, we, and I, to? yeah, and like I woke up on the morning of the weigh-in and like thought I was overweight more, and then got down to like 83 and just uh, yeah, I was like, lost was muscle, and I, my legs were weak and like. You looked oh, different no. on the scale for sure. And just yeah, just, just flat, just dealing with a lot of things in life. Yeah. It happens, and just being like too comfortable trying to squeeze a fight in like a seven week training camp getting sick twice during that You're traveling a lot too. traveling all sorts promoting of promoting the whole deal all sorts of crazy shit if that yeah. if that rematch happens again what do you do differently not just in the ring but just like the preparation for that is there obviously you said you want to reevaluate the team is there maybe you start the weight cut a little earlier yeah i think just like having a full proper camp yeah and like if I get sick during that camp, not like forcing myself to try and like get through through it. it, But also I was dealing with a lot of stuff like emotionally going through a breakup. Yeah. Yeah. All that shit was like fucking mind fuck. Yep. Um, that stuff's tough, man. Dude, it's the worst. It's the worst. I went through. We'll get. We'll get a little emotional, Jake. I went through a breakup together. I, you know what, I'm about to right now. (laughs) We. I went through a breakup. It still fucks with me, man. I went through a breakup about uh, around a year ago. This girl I was dating, I had liked this girl since I was like 11 years old. Damn. And had always been friends with her, grew up with her, Tennessee, and dated her for the first time at 28 years old. Wow. She's a, uh, I'm not going to say what she does. 17 she lives years in, later. 17 years later, uh, she lives in New York City, and uh, she works for a pretty popular TV network now, and she's a, she's a beast. And... Uh, I don't know, two, three months in, not even a super long time, but it was just for me. It's like, man, that's, this is the dream girl. Okay. I'm an adult. We're going to do this. It's going to go far. Nope. Stone cold cut me out. It's just, I'd never been, I had never experienced that heartbreak, super heartbreak. Yeah. Spiraled me for a bit, man. I don't think I've even told Chad about this. I don't don't think I've told anybody about it. It's definitely the the worst feeling in the fucking world. It's brutal. Like I'm, I'm such a resilient person. Like you could throw anything at me, but breakups have always fucked me up my whole life yeah. my whole life because i'm i'm like a i have a really big heart and i'm like i fall for someone like deeply and yeah. i don't hold anything back because i don't think that's how love should be no nah. like so it it definitely is and, and it's that other half of you yeah bro. it's you like put a lot into it and then, like you said I'm, I'm a hard follower too man yeah dang kuniev taking the ai score the Randy and Kenny score, probably the Herb Dean score. Let's see what the judges got to say here. This is a big upset if this happens, by the way. Semi-finalist from last year. Yeah, going down. just getting beat in the first round of the – meaning, like, of the, of the, the playoff season. season. Yeah. 
Thirty twenty sevens, buddy. Wow. Wow. Where is Jasper? I need to, I need this this uh this body shot challenge, bro. Okay. Let me know. Wait, oh. so should I go up there? I have yeah, to pee. Get ready. Oh, I have to pee though. I have to pee. Too. All right, Jake. All right, I'll be. He'll be back. I'll be back. Guys, let's cloud it up before Jake gets back so he's, he's welcomed in with like a big crowd and we yes. rah right up, you know? All right, BRB. Don't disappoint me, chat. Don't disappoint me. He's lucky. He gets to go pee, man. I got to hold this thing down by myself. Chat, what are we saying, bro? Let me saying. Let me actually get on my phone. I, I, one, of big, one of the big things in my live stream is I love talking to my chat. Gus, my chat is my lifeblood. My channel is run by the people, you know? The people run this. I'm already gotten clipped. Bro, I'm already getting clipped on my YouTube. This is crazy. I'm not even off live stream yet, bro. Oh, no, I'm sure. Chat, what we saying, man? J <laughs> Wade concept, show Jake the cheeks. What is going on with y'all, bro? What is going on with y'all? Y'all want to talk about Kingpin? Okay, I'll ask him about Kingpin when we get back. But chat, we have some bangers of fights going on right now in the PFL. All right? Those pants short as... Bro, you want me to you think I'm scared of rolling up the pants on y'all? You think I'm scared of this? You guys think I'm scared of rolling up the pants and showing up the calves? Look at that, bro. All muscle. You think I'm scared of this? What's my favorite color? Uh red is my favorite color. Hey, by the way, if you guys are sending donos in the chat, I love you. I haven't been able to see any of them because I've been uh not on my phone, but chat, how's it going, man? Hey, stop saying can I sniff, Cam? What the hell? Chat, how's it going, man? Are we doing good? This is our first kind of, you know, what are we saying? We doing all right? Type one if, if we're killing this shit. Mentioned by Dean. Should have kept that a secret. Oh, no. Oh, bro, I'm getting clipped already on Happy Punch, dude. Chat, y'all could have told me, like, my, my socks were way too long and my, <laughs> my pants were way too short. Oh, no, buddy. Uh-oh. Big Jasper in the building. What's good, G? How you doing, man? Dude, look at that chain. You're shining, brother. What are we saying? Yeah? Yeah, where do I look? Where, where Wait, the cam's right here. Oh, shit. Mike's right there. Wait, can I curse? Yeah, go ahead, bro. Do your thing. Frick. <laughs> Jake did the same thing when I told him he could nah, curse. Um, what's I'm good, man? Life, honestly. Facts. Um... What's good? How's everything I'm going? I'm chilling, man. We're watching some PFL. We have a big fight coming up right yeah, now. Yeah, I need to get hip to this. What's, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Julia, uh, Julia Budd. Oh, it's a, it's a female and fight. And Larissa Pacheco, last year's PFL women's champion, as you see right here. She had to fight with Kayla Harris wow. and actually beat the formerly unstoppable Kayla Harris. It's crazy watching this because, like, they both could whoop my ass. Facts. So I just get real. Listen, not Weird many people enough. on the planet can, though, all right? Jasper, you're, you're, you're a stallion out here, brother. I wouldn't say all that. You're a stallion. They were, asking me, they were asking me about uh, getting a body shot from Jasper if you wanted to throw one on me. Maybe you don't have to. We can just chill. We can relax. I just wanted to, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. said you got the, that, that power in the right hand, you know what I mean? Not trying to show it, though, because we might get you yeah, in the ring someday. Uh, you know? Know I mean? Hell no, literally never. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the craziest part about it. It's like I probably will never indulge in none of that. I don't no. care to box. And and I get like dumbass DMs sometimes. Like kids be DMing me thinking like that shit cool to me. Like, oh let's like, get Let's the get ring, it. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Let's spar. You like, got some people in the DMs trying to get a trying to get like, a fight bro, going? It's not gonna happen. Never. Like I don't fight. Nah. All I do is make good music. Facts. I was gonna ask about that. You you working on some internet. stuff right now? Uh yeah. Um I was supposed to turn in music in February. Okay. Um but I've just been moving around a lot. I've been waiting on me to hop on a track. That's what it is. Absolutely. That's actually, what it is. Man, Wade and Jasper was Woo! good. Have you ever tried to make a song before? No, never. I find that so crazy because it's like my entire life. So when I ask people, like, oh, have you ever tried to make music before? They're like, nah. It's like, like never. There's never been a moment in your life you're like, no. oh, I want to rap. You know, I do a little freestyle off the top sometimes. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Bro, I Every time someone says that, it gets bad. What do you mean? It gets bad. I make them vanish like Casper. Oh, hell Sitting in front of the TVFL <laughs> with Wade and Jasper. Come on, Ooh, bro. All right, all right, Come on. It's something nice. It's something that nice. nice. I'm, I'm, I'm fly that like that. That was nice. I like that. I do this, bro. Rank your top five. Right now? YouTube to boxer or like just in general. 
My, I, my I, favorite YouTube boxers? Yeah, I want to okay. get your take Number on that. five, favorite or best? Best. Okay, number five, give me Salt Poppy. I see, I see. That I left see. hand down the pipe. Yeah, he's nice. Uh, let me get number four. Oh, this is always tough for me because it's two people and they go back to back. I'm going to say a Nissan Gibbet number four. Yeah. Because uh, Jake, nah. he has the loss to Jake, but he's undefeated since. All right? You go ahead, man. Fire it back at me. What are you saying? I don't know. <clears throat> because, like, I don't really be in the YouTube space too much okay. like that. So I don't really keep up with right. a lot of it. I just see a lot of mess on Twitter. Okay. And then the Twitter beef. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> Somehow it'd be popping up on my shit. But uh, from what I, the last time I saw an Easton Gip fight was when I was at the Jake fight, which was, I don't know, maybe three years ago now. Yeah, it was a while ago. That shit, he it was, was a rough fight for him. Ass. He grew a lot, though, from that fight. Yeah. He well, beat up your boy Taylor Holder. My boy. I don't know. I say that's everybody. Jake knows Taylor, though. They sparred. He beat up Taylor Holder, came back, beat up Austin McBroom. Oh, he did? Wait, I saw that. Yes. Yeah, I was actually at that, but I left early because that shit was empty. It was like, bro, yeah, it was bad. It was Rum bad. Rumor was they had tens of people in there. <laughs> if that, I'm not going to lie. Like, it was fucked up, bro. Like, in front of the, the, I felt, the tens. I felt, I felt like I was interrupting something when I walked in. Like, it was like, sat quiet. You're like, was, oh, what? It was fucked. Fu <laughs> Media training is prohibiting. Bro, me. you're good. We on the weight concept. We're not live on ESPN. We straight, I like bro. That. I know, but like media training has been whooping me because yeah. I've been doing this podcast. So I'm how you to, liking that, man? You're on BS with Jake Paul now. You liking um, it? Um, it's cool. I feel like you're they, learning though. No, no, no. It's not even the the, the learning aspect. It's th they need to shift a lot of things around. Okay. To make it as good as it could be. It could be, man. You guys it got could, a big, it could be, it a could big be opportunity, a very grand thing, but yeah. um. Like, getting there yeah i just got off of a call recently uh like gave them some ideas and my thoughts on certain things that are going on and i just like there's certain things that could be better it's like the last thing i'm gonna do is lie facts like i'm not gonna if it's shit like because i think of it from a consumer standpoint as well as an entrepreneur i can agree with you there there's some things i when i watch it i'm like i'd be telling them some like, things you can work on i wouldn't watch this shit <laughs> myself so like and and the reason being is because like they're not implementing enough like pop culture shit mm. like to keep a younger audience there because you can still umbrella like better as a company and promote the the sports gambling the sports side right and, like you know all the business shit but also make it something intriguing enough for people to watch yeah like that's the most important thing is like getting those people there to even put it in their faces but if it's just something that's like like a snooze fest or something that people really can't like can't relate to it. They don't know the people. It, right. Not, like, it's nothing receptive going on. I think, like, and then, I think that's where Jake thrives, though, too. He is. Okay, no worries. He is. Um, <laughs> is that for you? No, no, no. Oh, I, I thought that was for you. That's I was like, for you, actually. Is that for me? Yeah. Oh, word. Yeah, let me go grab Oh, no, no, no. You ain't got to do it. I got you, bro. I this you. mic setup, whoever nah, did nah. this is kind of. I know. It's a little, it's a little rough. Yeah, it's a little tight. Is this for me here? That's for you, brother. I must say, whoever is watching this right now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna read it out. Now, um, I don't know how. To, I, I'm gonna sound like a. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read out the name because I don't know if, if Jake has done that publicly yet. But oh. We never well, met. Yeah, 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 but enjoy. You good? And even if he hasn't, I give you to go. Oh, well, how do you say it? Yuta. Yuta. Thank you. Just dropped it down here. Nice message on the food. I don't know what this is. What did you say it was, Gus? Uh, Some. Okay, buddy. Steak and pasta. Okay. Ooh. It's okay. Trying to get me jacked up oh, here. Oh, they didn't leave you the uh, garlic bread, but it was amazing. Oh, brother. Okay. Uh, but no, I agree with you. I yeah. agree with you. The pop culture side, Jake has a, a past in that, right? There's yeah, a part absolutely. of that he needs I, to bring to that as I well. I mean, just outside of that, I mean, like the guests and like uh, just a lot of the shit we talk about. And like my biggest part of being on the podcast is like the. Uh, comedic value like the you know alley-oop in the I, I just need them to alley-oop me a place to be funny you need to be way to your lebron bro yeah yeah exactly and I, you feel, the, <laughs> I feel like sometimes it's like making a joke at a funeral because it's two sports it's oh, like okay you drop in there it's, it's like, like the timing's yeah. not there or whatever you know but we ironing <laughs> it joke out at a funeral. yeah it's like i love this food and i appreciate you for doing that i'm not gonna eat in front of you guys because i know that's bad i'm gonna put it right here i like that fair warning guys it's laundry day for me. I look homeless. Nah, bro. This is short notice. Nah, you swagged out. Look at me, bro. How what am I wearing? You a fly guy. Oh, stop that. You're I look perky. like somebody's dad walking around right now. 
<laughs> I got the I got the dad nine four fives on, dude. You son, a lot of these Twitter guys. Man. Hey, you come might, on you now. Might be somebody. Don't probably. get me with the Twitter fingers. How you know far down does it go? Does it go up to my bot feet? To this oh, you got crazy. the shoes on? No, nah, no. Nah, hey, not. my man these got the house nursing house home ones on. House house I've house never house seen them before. How's it? Where, where did Jake go? He's doing. He's so we're we're probably gonna see him here. Oy, that was nasty. We're talking about the Damn. Uh, the Amber Lee Brock first round KO, and they got the ref cam on her. Like, why you have to do that? I don't know. But look at this left high kick. Boom! Kick this bitch jaw right on the jaw. Beautiful shot, oh, bro. What the? F and she's dancing bro. on him too. Look at it. Hey, oh here he is. My guy, big Jake Paul. My guy. Let's see what Jake got to say here. <laughs> this is sick. Oh, okay. He's coming up next. He's coming up next. Congratulations on everything. Hey, man, way, I appreciate man. that. It's, I, I'm, it's a blessing to be here, man. Because the, the prosperity is is great. To it's see. been cra it's been a crazy year and a half to two years for me, man. I bet. I, I like. Yeah, yeah. Is, are, started, you, are you like settled in? Like, do you understand it already? Are you still. It's it? it's it's moving so quick that I don't know if I have time to uh, to really take it all in right now. That that that's. that's we were it. in Dubai, and this is crazy to say. We're in Dubai calling a Floyd Mayweather fight, and we're about to leave for Floyd and Deji, and Jake was there. The whole thing happened. Oh yeah. yeah Tommy's yeah, yeah, dad yeah. with the tits over the ropes Bro, and the whole was, deal. That was, that was the just, Yeti, the snowman he was look. Out of it. We were there, and I, I was talking to one of my my guy. Shout out Christian. Um, Editor extraordinaire, thumbnails, nice, kills it. Nice. We're, we're leaving, and I was like, man, I really didn't take the time to enjoy this. Because, you know, I, I was a little pessimistic. I got health issues going on, blah, blah. Right. I need to start taking time and enjoying, like, all these cool things I get to do. Absolutely. Then. You know what I mean? What? I would hope so. Yeah, no, I just – Because sometimes you just it, – it's work. You want to get it done. You want to do it right. Yeah. And then it's over, you know? That's how it was with, with music for a little bit. Um, I was like – always overwhelmed and like thinking of things as a job yeah and i started like fall out of love with it but like more recently i just been like having fun yeah like, there you go even like down to the shows um i just did rolling loud and like yeah i didn't even like practice much of a set list i was just like man i'm going out there no rehearsal just fucking doing it It was like one of the best shows i've ever Sheesh, done there you go so it's like the less you see it as like work and the more you see it as like something you set yourself out to do and something Facts. you love and enjoy the more it's like facts you know, it's a vibe, man. Yeah, Heck yeah, absolutely. Now wait, you didn't. You you asked me for my top five. You said Gib not not in there, but he's my number four. I'm gonna give you my next three. Slim. You know Slim. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Boxed up Tom Zanetti. That boxed guy, up Temper. And I'm not gonna like. Boxed up Ryan percent. Taylor. I think so. He not, he outlanded Tom in like a two to one, almost three to one ratio. But Tom's such a big guy, you got to understand. I don't know, it's, bro. You're talking about Slim, who's naturally 160, and Tom, who's naturally 185, and they meet at 175, I think it was. And Slim didn't even get there. He weighed in 169. He didn't even get to 175. And was just putting hammers on him. But it's like, bro, you're, you're punching a wall. Like, Slim should realistically be fighting guys like Jarvis, right? Even in this tournament that they're having Kingpin, he looks Tom's decent. a big Maybe big I'm dude. crazy. Jarvis? He looks decent. He's cold. He's I'm cool. not a boxing analyst by any nah, means. No, but the eyes tell the I story, love man. I the sport, but, yeah. like, I don't know. Slim ain't even top ten for me. Word, okay. He has, like, the energy, and that's good, but, like, I don't know, Nah, bro. Slim's cold, bro. Slim's cold. I'm telling you, watch I his next fight. He's cold. He's cold, buddy. Uh, I'm telling you, he, he's got – he's long for the, for the division, too. He's about six feet at, at 160. Got that range, bro. There's not a lot of guys his size with that kind of reach. Yeah. Put Tommy down on two dead. No, one week's notice. Put that nigga to bed. Temper peed it. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Temper peed. <Yeah. laughs> Tommy's my guy, but he, he got slept that day. But Bro, I couldn't believe Number it. two for me, and again, if we're talking influencer boxing, we do have to bring up the social aspect of it. It can't just be skill. Right, right. right. KSI said the number two for me. Because you have to, you have to acknowledge – the fact that, one, he's undefeated. Two, he did kind of start this scene as far as the, the, the jump off, right? Yes, Joe Weller yeah. and uh, Theo Baker started it, but KSI started it in this massive arenas and continual big ones. And then even on, you know, the Jake and – or the KSI Logan 1 and 2 card, right, selling out staples. That was a big deal. Yeah. Um, but, yes, I can also argue that there are guys on, right on the same level, if not better skill-wise, as boxers. 
right? Like, you could maybe put Assault Poppy right up at the front of that list as far as the skill level he has. But you got to talk about the competition, too. He has Josh Bruckner, and that's really it, right? But Bruck's big. Oh, no. KSI has Logan. That's the big thing that keeps him there. Right. The, the Logan fight keeps him there. Both Logan fights, in my opinion. The second one especially. I don't really got much to say about this. What's that? I don't got much to say about it. No? Nah. Well, number one's Jake, in my opinion. It's always been Jake. I feel like he separated himself a little bit. Like, even like in the most non-biased way possible, I feel like it's such a skill gap and, like, uh, like dedication to, like, growing in the sport. Yeah. He's completely separated himself from, like, the influencer aspect. In my personal opinion... I think like, he made the jump after, I would say after the Nate fight, you started to go, okay, yeah. he's taking this very seriously. And then after the Ben fight, you're like, okay, now he actually has separated himself. The Tyron fight, I was like, he's, this is no. The Tyron fight was like, okay, we're I, done here. This is, no, this is no longer influencer boxing. Yeah, we're done here. But, and you then the Anderson fight is like. fucking stand. What's that? Is that uh, Chris Demore or. Uh, <laughs> oh, Chase, Chase Demore. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, is he just like a. Like a extreme troll or like what like chase is playing the game for sure it's he's playing like, the game it he looks, is trying to get better he is working hard it makes my stomach hurt bro like it'll pop up on my shit sometimes <laughs> like because i follow certain people yeah and i'll just see this dumb ass <laughs> idiot just bro just <laughs> i like chase it, i like it's chase. bad like it, i don't know bro it's like you're just ah uh. he's he is it's the sport you is know, not like, for everybody they call they well that that's very true as well you, you know how they call Henry Cejudo the king of cringe? I think Chase Who the is far. Fuck is that? Henry Cejudo is an MMA champion, world oh. champion, UFC fighter. But damn, I, I'm, <laughs> I need we'll to, get you. We'll get you right. I need Jeff. to educate we'll myself. Right. Oh, Triple shit. C. But yeah, it got guys. But that's what I think that Chase is kind of going for is the king of cringe, right? Like making sure he stands out in yeah. any means possible. But it's like not standing out. I just want to put not interested when it pops up. It's <laughs> okay. just like holy well, fuck, there you go. bro. Like, Chat. What y'all saying, man? Y'all like Chase? I have What's a the I'm chat saying? Y'all hate me? Y'all love me? How oh, oh, yeah. Right. But, no, the chat definitely loves Jasper. Let me pull it up on my phone. They, they, I don't that's W's. Know. That's W's. <laughs> Can I get a W Jasper in the chat, I need man? a w, w Jasper, bro. I want to start streaming, actually. Yeah, you need to get on it, man. <laughs> Said what? That's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see these comments. Go ahead, bro. You tell, tell the people what you say, Jasper. Oh, it's W Jasper. Yeah, bro. I told you. Come Jasper, on, man. only real one on BS with Jake. Yeah, oh, yeah, come yeah, on yeah. now. Talk to him. We'd love to if we could hear you. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. You got to be in the mic, bro. I'm not used to it. Wow. The love is real. All I'm the W Jaspers. You, they said you. chat glazing. <laughs> w Jasper, now leave, please. <laughs> Here's the thing you gotta understand about my chat. They're fucking trolls. They're real ones, bro. They don't. They don't. They don't mask what they want. You know what I'm saying? Not to be rude, but I don't know you. <laughs> hey, bro. You know what's crazy? I actually love, 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 love reading like comments and like internet shit because something just happened to me today where I commented on a post, and a random person that follows me, it doesn't even like coincide with the situation whatsoever. He comments. <laughs> Uh, get off Jake's nuts. Oh, and then I click yeah. his page. It says follow back, and then I go to our messages, and the message is literally, "How'd you meet Jake Paul?" Oh, <laughs> and I send him a screenshot of his comment, the follow back, and the thing, and I go, "Bro, you got to do better." You like, gotta stop, dog. <laughs> because they just don't Sometimes, fucking care. Yeah. It's it's like it, it's it's nothing is serious, bro, no, bro. On the internet, nothing at all. And that's why Twitter and YouTube are my favorite social medias. I love the troll game. Uh, I, I love it. There's times where it can get out of hand for sure. I just don't care about like care for social media much at all because like it can mess with you. Not me. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> I live in real life. Like bro, I enjoy my life so much. I'm yeah. so happy. Like I love Good. myself. My family's taken care of. I Facts. work hard. Facts. And it's like people, Tell them, people create like a, an ideology of a person off the ten percent of them that you allow them to see. Okay. So it's like when somebody comments something or creates these little philosophies or like has any narrative, it's like bro. You see what I allow you to. Mm. So it's like whatever narrative you create of my life, it's like that's fine because it's like so far from true. Nice. Um, especially when it's negative. I, I just I don't mind it. Like, w. Doesn't really mean anything. The chat was saying Jasper and Wade karaoke. We could do that. I'm down with that. I'm my, telling you, I, I'm getting on a song, bro. My, what's good? The huh? Glizzy story. What's that, bro? 
I don't know. It's yeah, I. Right. It's certain, not, it's, hey, yo. <laughs> it's certain shit you can't read because that's. The, that's I hold on no a second. Story. What's the Glizzy story, I, if I bro? I have one, I'll tell you. I'm an open book. He said, if I have one, I'll tell you. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> not even kind of. <laughs> this is crazy. Nah, no, I hope not. Here we go. We got Jake Paul coming up, folks. Would you ever there want There he to, is. Oh, shit. Dude, the glare of the... Never mind. PFL partner. How about that? That's wild, ain't it? God damn. I want to see him in the ring with somebody. In an octagon. He was saying while we were down here, Nate Diaz might be the guy, man. Ooh. That's what he was saying. See if, they, see if my boy... That's my boy Sean there. See what he asked him. Yeah, yeah. Turn it up for us, please, Wait, Gus. see that chat again. Oh, you, you, now nah, see, see what I said? <laughs> see what I said? It'll get to you, bro. It doesn't get <laughs> It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. If Jake don't shout us out on ESPN2, I'm going to be hurt, bro. I'm going to be hurt. If Jake don't shout me out in front of Sean O'Connell, I'm going to be hurt. Yo, That's why what he niggas, said bro, again. Niggas, niggas trying to play with me, bro. That, you can't do shit like that, bro. Fuck out of here. That's what I'm saying. What is I this? have no glizzy story, bro. I don't even <laughs> I don't even eat hot dogs around my homeboys. Glizzy, what? What? I don't know what that is, bro. Y'all niggas giving me really bad vibes, okay, bro. bro. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Jake saying he doing some jujitsu? Man, I whoop his ass. Oh yeah, Jake versus Jack. I like shit because there's a uh, in the newest episode of the podcast that's coming out. We we sparred and that's all I'll oh, say. Oh buddy, I yeah, gotta watch that. See what happens to him. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say we really gotta figure that one out. Why y'all do that glizzy shit though, bro? Like y'all <laughs> niggas is petty, like. <laughs> I'm going to start telling y'all personal information. Oh, exposure, huh? If y'all going to do something, do me, do something real. I, expose me for real. I'll tell a story. What's up? Mission. <laughs> what happened? Fuck no. No, 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 no. That's like crazy. That's just... All right, bro. Hit me with it, bro. I had a link. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I linked up with a girl, bro. Okay. Get in the house. We doing a little foreplay, you know, woo woo woo, shit cool. <laughs> woo woo woo, okay. I get the fucking. Okay. And I'm like, eh, need some neck. She get the sucking. Oh. She sucking. She looks up and she goes, Are you good? And I go, What do you mean? Am I good? She goes, I taste blood. And I'm like, Well, it's definitely not me. <laughs> oh. And she looks at the sheet, and she just... Okay, there it yeah. is, folks. Nah, we good. I get you. Yeah, yeah. We, we just go... I got scammed. Oh, yeah. I think we just got scammed, too, with that one, but... Yeah, it was it's his fault. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If the river runs red, okay, nope, take yep, the dirt yep. road instead. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> ah! I can't, I can't. What is happening on this There's nothing stream? happening. All right. Jasper, listen, your boy is on TV right now on ESPN2. What's it mean to see Jake a part of this, man? Uh, fuck that. Are you ever going to fight somebody? <laughs> yeah, I would like to. Really? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I saw you today. Tall. Tall, big Long. guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got a little something. Uh, Who would you want to see me fight? That's the question. Uh, You're on Twitter, so you know all the, all the people, man. That's true. Uh, hmm. Maybe... Maybe temper just to see where you're temper, at. Temper, okay. Like just to see where you're Tommy's at. Tommy's my guy, man. I don't know about I that. I understand one. that. That's my guy. Your guy got laid out back to back. Whoa, hey, hold on here. Hey, hey brother. He's trying, know. he's trying. You know he's with Malik Scott now. I don't give a fuck if he was with God. That <laughs> nigga got his head punched in. Hey, you know what? It's his first first couple. He's just learning. Bro, listen, it's the game. You, if you lose your first couple, you might as well just stop. Well he won his first one. He beat Kenny. Well, Kenny got the and decision, he but he that, got robbed. That, that, that fight where that one punch man shit, that shit looks so And then big, he beat, bro. yeah, and then he beat he Overt Flow. A thousand. That shit didn't look legit. No, it was legit. It was it just. Was legit? It was 100% it was. It, it looked legit and all. I swear. I was right there. I was I was ringside. Man, that shit. But the problem full, was. Full lame. <laughs> you ain't with that? 
No. And then you he got you his sending shots at the fitted? No, I'm not sending no shots. Gratata. He got his head knocked off. Now listen. We used to play Call of Duty together. Oh, if you was playing with Temper, you know he's cold with it then. Yeah, he, he had his own shot. The Temper and, shot was real, bro. And then he got his temple shot. Oh, bars. Knock this shit sideways. Bars. Listen, like I said, Tommy's Tommy's my dude. But yes, he does need to work a little bit, you know. But he's doing that. He's with Malik Scott. He's with that's Deontay Wilder's coach, bro. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit more. To be honest, he took that KSI fight on how many weeks, bro? It don't matter, Seven days. Bro. You know what's crazy? This nigga been boxing for God knows how long. He done been posting boxing clips. He's only been, he don't, wait, hold on a second. He's only been boxing for like a year. You a nice guy. I promise you. I like you. I promise you. I got, <laughs> that, sa- I got that same energy for you, Jess. When you get in, I got you. I'm I got not your getting back in the like ring that. at all. Wait, I'm saying, who else, though? Besides Tommy, who else? Uh, who do you want to fight? I want to get petty. I want I, you to call somebody I don't really out. have anybody. I'd say J... I'd said I'd said JMX before. Who the fuck is JMX? Yeah. Oh, not Yusuf. No, 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 no. No. Shout out. I, I like I like Yusuf. I don't I like know what he's been up to lately, but great guy. I hope the best for him because I know he was going through some stuff. But man, I want to hear you talk shit. If you know when the time comes, because right now I'm Mister. Me and Helwani, the nose. That's a me movie. and Helwani. That's What's up, Helwani? Huh? Yeah. What's up, yeah, Petty. I see the nose. I break that thing. No, yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. no, no, don't do that. No, talk, no, that no. talk that shit. Talk that shit. Oh, I'm saying Petty on his most valuable promotion sponsor. Hey, listen. Absolutely. If Helwani wants it, you know what I'm saying. You'll put him under. Yeah, you know. Give me a little. Quick I've one seen. Too. I've seen. Bro, you don't want to see that. You don't want to see that, Jess. Come on, give me a little one. You want to do it over here? What you mean? We got we got a whole space over here. Yeah, you bro. Go, you gonna give me the one two? Yeah, we walk over there and do it now. Production yeah, you, team, can we do that? Pads on. Can we do that? Yeah, we can do the body pad. You want you want to put it on? I'll give you a little. You gonna hit me? Not hard. Come on, let's. All right, let's do it. want to sue Jake Paul. You know it's crazy? Jake, people are coming up with conspiracies that I hate you and I'm a Jake Paul hater Whoa. and that I'll be talking shit about you. He's a mole and, that, the and, team. That, and Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they don't know that we've just been friends offline. <laughs> like, what are we saying? Production team, you ready? Uh, I don't know. That that. Yeah, they, because like I'm not like a dick riding ass blazer. Yeah, can you put this on you before you harm me? I got you. Don't worry. Go here. Uh, okay, relax. Well, you uh, can't. No, you can't. Relax. Uh, okay, chill. I'll clip it in. <laughs> you got that. You got that white body. That's why they didn't get built. What you trying to say? Not like you built. They you calling me fat. Nah, never. Uh, never, bro. Am I skinny? Yes. Right. Say you. Skinny right. Say you swear. On everything. <laughs> Uh, uh, we'll do the one, the one, the one back. Come on, man. What are you saying? A one, two, or you just want one? You can do whatever you gotta do. I'm gonna do a body, a body hook, yeah? Come on, do what you gotta do. Hold that thing right here. We got, we got it in the camera. Brandon, we good? I'm just one shot. Do what I'm you gotta you, do. I'm gonna give you a warm up first. Do what ready? you gotta do. Warm up first. Dude. Ready? Warm up. Ready? Take your head. Ain't none. Ain't none? Ain't none. Ain't none. You gotta run it back, brother. Get in there. Really sink. Damn, he knocked your head off. Yeah, you see what that you Ariel? Ariel Baloney, he knocked your shit back. One. Ariel Helwani versus Wade Concept. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Okay, that one was good. That was the best one out of all of them. You know what I'm saying? It's light work, really. That was good. That, that last one was good. I know. No, no, no. We're going north, north and southwest. Man. Ooh, my man. Appreciate you. Take this. Hiwani. Take this right. shit off. What are we saying, Ariel? Take this. In the May hour, I'll come to your backyard. Backyard, up. bro. That's it. Bro, what? No. Bro.
I'm using him. Whoa. <laughs> for Exposed? it's my gateway to 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 clout and riches. <laughs> Yeah. Well, listen, we're about to start the main card here. You're not, like, using me or anything, right? No, bro, I would never, bro. You're honestly, bro, you didn't even lose your last fight or anything, bro. You're You're not, like, a yes man, right? No. Yes. No. Whoa. No. Answer carefully, sir. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Yeah, of course, bro. Anything. For, well, I'm, yeah. Any we have our main card starting right now, Jasper. Is you want to hairline receding? Bro, that shit is. I perfect. can confirm that. No, it's good to go. I've done. I've done many a jokes on the hairline. Fuck. <laughs> I've done many a jokes on the hairline. Do you think I can get some money? And a story post. Dang, bro, and worry. a story post. That's I'll crazy. Oh, uh, main car, main car, main car. Sorry, I have ADHD. No, you're I'll good, probably, bro. I should probably sit down for this. No. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hop in, hop in. Oh, oh. You said the right. Oh, oh, paper, rock, scissors for it. You gotta do it toward paper, the camera. Rock, scissors. Yeah. What do you say? Rock, paper. Are you out of your fucking mind? Paper, rock, scissors. Paper is the number one winner in the game. Paper, rock, scissors? Paper wins more, so you say it first. Know, this nigga's giving me bad vibes. That's what, you, that's what it is. Paper, paper wins the most, so you say it first. What am I holding in my hand right now? Paper. Bars. It's the most used. psychological warfare? I don't, I don't play psychological warfare. To win? I just win. Biagio, right? I said it right. How do we how do we say Ali Wash's first name? No, you had it earlier, Marcos. Biagio, Biagio, Ali Walsh. I want to. I just want to make sure I get the enunciation right. Right. I want to. I want to respect the man. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Jake Pollard. He's back. Got some food. Enunci yeah, I just ate. Now I haven't. I haven't eaten. I am a little upset. We've been live streaming for like four hours. Bro, this is light work for me. Yeah. See. The <clears throat> Uh -oh. I can feel my vocal oh, box. Oh no! You know why? Because you're down 2,700 milligrams of caffeine. I'm just getting warmed up, brother. Now, I am a little disappointed that you didn't mention to Sean O'Connell. Your boy Wade was in the in the basement working on working on the live stream. Did you say it? He said it. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. he, he shouted we're, out the whole channel and everything. Let's go, Sean. That's my guy, man. Sean O'Connell. And then he said he's coming on later, but he called you the Wade method. He tries, bro. He yeah. tries. It's like you know, it's boomer boomer humor. <laughs> they try their best. <laughs> He called me Wade Flem live on air when we were in a uh, PFL Wade year. Flem. I was like, Flem? That, yo, for, if someone fights you, that's what they should Wade call Flem. you. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking on that Wade Flem guy over there. <laughs> that's funny. Fucking lame. 24 years old, Ali Walsh, to a 22-year-old Isaiah Figueroa. Main card. Main card Here time, we go. baby. Bi Biagio. Biagio. That's how I, go. I got it. Biagio. Now. Biagio, Ali Walsh. What are we saying? Peanut Gallery. Who's winning this? Yeah, that's what you guys. Am I too old? Or my references? No, is too I old? use that. I know yeah, exactly on, what you bro. meant. Yeah. It means like. I know what it means. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> you I know, peanuts. <laughs> what are you sack of bitches thinking? <laughs> you got Ollie Walsh? Oh no, you got Isaiah. One and one, amateur bout we're going with here. So only three, yeah, three rounds, three minutes. Three three minutes. Yep. Ollie Walsh. This is where you That's have to saying. give. This oh, is this is where you kind of have to give respect to like the influencer world. Yeah. Because they're doing like longer fights than this. They're jumping right in. Yeah, which is kind of crazy. And here with three minutes, you gotta go. There is no feeling out process. Yeah. Here. You gotta go. And this is a big, big moment for Ali Walsh, right? Obviously, you're carrying on the Muhammad Ali name. Yeah. Off rip, it's like that. Okay. <laughs> it says here that he has a. Uh, but uh, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee tattoo. Yep. yep. Um, and guess what? Another extreme couture fighter. Flavor Flav is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't heard that name since I was fucking 12. Yo, Flavor of Love was that show, though. Let's be honest. So good. New York was my girl. So good. Hawking loogies and all. All right, here we go. Round one. Let's see what Biagio... Ollie Ooh, Walsh has. Little leg kick. Start us off. Oi! Oh, right nice to the shot. takedown. Sprawl, though. Oh, yeah. We're getting straight to it here. Wow. Left wow. hand. Wow. Shit's... That was great sprawl, though. Good reaction. He's coming to take heads off. Wow. Right hand. And another shot. He, he stung him there a little bit, I think. Nice That's why wizard, he shot though. in. This, he's got some good, good takedown good defense. Too, yeah. Good whizzer. Stuff the head. Oi! Oh, he's pissed he's off. Forward, buddy. 
Yeah, they're they're coming out hot. Oh, right hand, but they're coming out hot. He needs to yeah. take a deep breath a little bit. He's swinging, buddy. He is diving for those legs. That should tell you guys something right there, though. They're, Isaiah is not comfortable on the feet right now. He's shooting, diving for those legs. And I'll tell you what. See, they like, started off like hot. Nico, he's got a nice right hand, man. Yeah, they started off hot, man. Oh, this is uh, oh, a little bit wild with it right yeah. now, though. They're gonna get. They're gonna be tired yeah, here in a gonna, second. Again, three minute rounds. Oh, nice level change, right hand there. Figueroa, nice shot. A little side kick to the stomach. Biagio's not Boom, like, uppercut. He's not coming in with a jab. I was gonna say, there's not a lot of feints. Oh, right hand. Woo, he stung buddy. Him. Here comes a shot. Yeah, this is gonna be. This is gonna be quick. If you start close oh, your eyes and got him shots. on the chin. Another right hand. Ollie Walsh moving forward. Figueroa back on the cage. 19 mile per hour punch. Okay. Hands, hands throwing like a school zone. <laughs> oh! Right hand, it's over. It's Woo! over. Wow. -wee. Great performance. Woo! Great performance. Came out hot, a little sloppy, but but pulled it off. I was going to say, found his zone. He's found staring his somebody spot. down in the crowd. I don't know who he's staring down, but man, what he, a shot. The school zone punch is school hilarious. Zone punch, bro. Jeez, 20 miles per Flav hour. Is, is loving it, man. He still got that same chain on? Damn. That's how you know you're down bad. Years later, bro. If I'm still wearing a problem child chain at 65, y'all need to send me to But is that not appreciating value bro. at that point? I don't know how I don't know how jewelry works. Has it not gotten more expensive as time has gone on? And it is a clock. And it at is some a point clock. you just got to give it up though. Yeah, no, I feel you. Like What a performance there, man. Yajio Ali Walsh. As soon as you saw as, oh my lord! And you want to tell me about the NFL, yeah, brother? You were you did say DB, brother? To be fair, brother, the, the see this light? I got in your eye. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I feel you. The light got the shadows, in my eye. And the, you know. So. Twenty-one of thirty-two total strikes. Uh, pretty accurate with the punches there. Listen, hey Jake, I'm not I'm not just saying this to say it. You already talked about Nico Ali Walsh being a potential fight. Amateur fight. I think this guy's a pro one. I think this guy's even lighter though. Oh word. Yeah. Let's look at our our stat bag. Yeah, he is. He's a lightweight, one fifty five. Yeah. Probably not getting down there, but maybe you know what I'm saying he's he's a young guy, only twenty four. Come up and wait a little bit. I'm, listen, I'm just trying to find potential opponents for for the problem child in the in the PFL smart cage. I don't think. Oh, for you're talking about for MMA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You fight the brother in boxing. You come over and fight the brother in MMA. You take out the the Ali Walsh name. Just erase them all. Just take over the legacy. I'm down. Well, I already said it. I'm down. Grandpa had Muhammad Ali. I have Jake Paul. Yeah, I'm down. You know? Let's do it, bro. What a banger to start out the main card, man. That was great, man. That was great. What did uh, you and Sean talk about upstairs? I'm not jealous or anything, but did he ask you questions I didn't or something? Like, am I, is he too good? No, he asked, he asked when, I'm, when am I going to fight MMA. He asked, like, <laughs> who am I fighting next? It's a cool, cool question, Sean. He asked. Um, cool questions. I forget what else. Yeah, you know, cardboard copy of me. It's no big deal. All, all of these uh, conversations are like blending into one. Like I don't normally talk for this long. I know you're starting to starting to get to you, huh? Yeah, I think I need more Celsius. This is it, welcome to the live stream format, brother. Welcome That's to That's crazy. It. No breaks. Chat on your ass always. Do you make money off of this? Yeah. Like it's like. It's not sponsored because they watch ads or something. I wouldn't do that to my boy Jake when I'm walking into his his you know his casa. Wouldn't do that to you. But what do what? Do put a sponsor on here. This is your time, man. This is your platform. You should have put a sponsor. Never, bro. Get that fucking bag, Wade. No, nah, bro. I'm good. I'll do it on another one. But yeah, usually I have a sponsor or we would do some donos. Usually I'm I'm pretty pretty interactive with the chat. Speaking okay. of, let's see what the chat's saying about Jake Paul right now. I was gonna say, Jasper, you still tight, huh? You had the chat had you, you know what I'm saying? Nah, they was throwing it up. Had you going? They was Wade didn't hear one thing of that interview. Oh, they want to talk about Kingpin, guys. Okay, let's do it. Who do you think wins the Kingpin tournament, man? I don't know who's in it. Gib, your boy. Former foe. Tom Zanetti. T who? Tom Zanetti fought Slim. Oh, oh, oh. Tom, yeah, he's like, he's ripped, but he lost. He lost to Slim. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, I'll give you the matchups. Gib, Austin McBroom rematch, round one. That's the first round one? Round one, buddy. We run it back. Oh, my gosh. Um, See, that's what that's crazy. I I guess just like starting with that fight. Okay. yeah. 
I, I know Austin, and I think he probably, like, is going to come back so much stronger. Were you surprised at that performance? Because I think a lot of people were where Austin started super fast. Yeah, he got tired. Got tired super if, quick. If he can chill, he's – You think he's better? He's better than Gibb, I think. I think he's more athletic. Athletic, that's what I mean. But that's, like, what he showed. He I mean, he, he dropped Gibb. He dropped him with a, with a backhand. And he got tired, basically, and Gibb started to pick him apart. Because he ha didn't have that experience – in a real fight and in going into those later rounds. Yeah. Austin does have a problem defensively. He does overthrow a lot. Doesn't really care for his defense. And Gibb caught him on counters a lot, too. Yeah, but Gibb is also, like, a maniac. Crazy so, cardio. The yeah. guy the guy has that commitment what I talked about with you and, and others. I ask his, some of his trainers what he does. He watches Karate Kid and trains. Gibb. That's all he does. Cobra Kai, sorry. Yeah, Gibb, Gibb, yeah. Oh. All he does. Damn. Well, he should probably be better than he is if that's all he does. So we're not entertaining the Gib rematch at any point. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next fight. I mean, if he, if he, I don't know. You don't want to lap the field there. No, I would do it for charity. Like there you go. It just there's just like levels to this shit. Like they're they're not even on the same level. Tom Zanetti, Jarvis. Oh snap! Yep. Another first round. Matchup. I think Jarvis is like tr out in Vegas training now. Yeah, he's I in think, the dog pound, I man. I think I think Jarvis wins. Okay. Tom's tough, man. He's so hard to freaking get out of there. But decision win is definitely on the table. King Kenny, my mate Nate. Now, I will say this. <laughs> I am partly of the reason that my mate Nate is in this tournament. Uh, I don't even know who that is. I, I, not a big, I have not watched a lot of his content. Someone had DM'd me months ago and asked me about getting on an influencer boxing card. I completely forgot that I gave this individual's information to two different companies, one being Misfits, one being Kingpin, and Kingpin brought him in. It's my mate Nate. He's getting a shot. He's like the fight? Thailand's. Well, he's had some some influencer fights. He's like Thai, They say he's Thailand's Mr. Beast. He pulls some numbers. Wow. He's pretty popular. But King Kenny, obviously coming off the loss, wanting to prove he can throw that right hand and let yeah. let shots go. What are you saying there? I mean, I don't know about my it's mate tough. Nate. Yeah, it's tough. He's he hasn't had a fight without headgear yet. Um, okay, so I think he's gonna lose. There you go. Cause it's just different. Yeah, it's just different when you get popped and you're in front of everyone and you're like, God. Yeah, that was not fun. Now the fourth fight is interesting. They were looking for a mystery fighter. They found a, a fame MMA fighter, Philip Philippek, I think is his name. I don't know much about him. Fame MMA German German uh, MMA promotion. First boxing match. He's fighting Winderson Nunez. Wow. Winderson's I think Winderson was a, he was a guy that you guys had your eyes on. Yeah, Logan was maybe gonna fight him. Yeah. Now I will say this, Winderson Nunez. Fought and survived. Like, this was no exhibition. I mean, it was an exhibition, but he fought and survived Popo Freitas. And I, I don't know if you're familiar with Popo Freitas, but he's basically Brazil's Roberto Are you Durant. wearing capris, by the way? No, people made fun of me in the chat saying my pants were too long, so I just went with it. Or no, my pants were too short. They said I was having high waters. They asked if it was flooding in Puerto Rico. So then you, pull <laughs> yeah. so then you pulled, I pulled it up. up. I said, well, let's just go with it. I wanted to I show like them the cast. I like it. Yeah, they they think you're lying about your height, bro. What, I told I told the foot? camera, yeah, I told them that you weren't six foot, and we measured over there. How tall are you? I'm about 6'4", 6'3". The chat I, don't I'm, think I am. The chat thinks I'm 5'4". When I go to the doctors and get, like, the official height, I'm exactly six foot. Like, not no a shoes. millimeter. Yeah, no. Socks off, too. Yes. Not get, a that, that little centimeter, it counts. Just straight up six foot, straight up. Now, do they measure to your head or your hair? Because that can no, make like a couple of the, inches. Okay. Like pushing oh, they the do hair the thing. down. Okay, and, okay. Yeah. It can make a difference, you know? I'm just... Okay. Plus, I'm not the one who, like, puts my height out there. Like, how am I lying about it? I'm not, like, going around being, like. The chat just tried to troll. Right but when now. you Google me, I think it says, like, 6'1". Uh, okay. They're giving you But I am 6'1 with shoes on, so, like, it's really debatable. It's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> it's debatable, brother. So, who wins this Kingpin tournament? Man? Okay. I so, I think, wow. Winner of Gibb and Austin would fight winner of Tom and Jarvis. And so, basically, it's three fights in the final. Or three two fights. fights yeah, two fights like, in the final. Yeah. Yeah. Man, if I had to put my money on someone. I think I know where you're going to go. It, it'd probably be Gibber or Austin. Yeah. Like, I think the You want to go with Austin, don't you? I just think if, it, like, I just know Austin. Like, I think he probably really learned from this and is like. Got a lot Are you in Austin serious. good now, by the way? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. What, 
I forget why we were even bad, but there was definitely a point where we were like beefing. Yeah. Oh, it was because he like linked up with Tyron and then yeah, y'all about got y'all about to get to scrap. Oh yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. You pop some tires or something or what? You, somebody's no, that, got let I out. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't there. know about people what made there? that up. I don't know about that. But you guys almost scrapped in the yard, yeah. I would have fought him then. Y'all gotta make up, man. Y'all are homeboys from way back. Yeah, I've been trying to interview Austin. I don't think he wants me to interview him because I've I've said some some things about the. Yeah, I've definitely, I've definitely, things. yeah. It's a it's a but weird. But I do situation. want to tell him his. I want to. Tell I him have his no side. cold blood towards anyone. Like, I don't really care. I don't hold the grudges and like, I don't like. Having... I genuinely think Austin's got a good shot. I do. I think yeah. he's athletic as all hell. Yeah. I wish he would have. This is something, and I want your opinion on this. This is something I can't stand in the influencer boxing. Mean, guys fighting southpaw because they don't want to learn how to jab. Wait, wait, why the fuck? Wait, what? what Austin's do do? a right-handed guy. You know this. And he fights southpaw. I don't. Why I do think you think he's that naturally is? Naturally southpaw. No, no, he's not. He's a right-handed guy. Watch him play basketball. But why the? Why would he do because that? Because guys don't want to learn their jab. But it, did he come out and say this? No, but I know it. I've seen it in the influencer scene. Everybody does it. JMX naturally right-handed. Fight southpaw because everybody gets comfortable with their lead hand. Everybody. I'm so confused. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It's what everyone does. That's and watch you watch fuck. Austin throw his left hand. It's not natural to him. That's so dumb. I'm like, why do guys do this? Because they think it's like tougher to fight southpaws. I think they're afraid to, to learn. Not I think afraid, so, but it's it's an uncoordinated. But also, jab. like southpaws have a, in my opinion, disadvantage in boxing specifically. Why is that? It just your your liver is the t hardest punch. It's on the right side here. Okay. Anatomy lesson. Yeah. So this is like the only time I've ever even been close to going down in a fight or in sparring is yeah. from a liver shot. Who hit you with it? Because it fucking kills. I think uh, I don't even know who it was in sparring. It, I've been hitting the liver like by, in sparring like really good by, like a couple of times. Jasper, it I hit happens. you in the liver, right? You're, you're about to go down over there. That's how hard I hit. That's the it's it's the hardest punch to deal with. Obviously, besides like an actual knockout, but like yeah. as a southpaw, your liver is forward. Right there, yeah. So I could just jab you. <laughs> yep. I could hit my right hand straight to your liver, and like that's automatically just a disadvantage. You really want to block that, but you can't. Like right. you can't come down like with your lead hand to block it. So even when I was going up against Anderson, I was. Hitting that shit all night, and you could see it slowing dude, down. Man. He's a tough dude, but good poker face on Anderson too. For me, fighting southpaws is easier. Like, you just you, how many have you fought? You fought just Dej just Anderson, and, but well, I'm, I guess Dej wasn't even southpaw when he fought you. He just didn't know just what he Anderson, doing. but yeah, I'm saying like even just in sparring, yeah, the way their combos come, and it, and it might just be like my style, but the hooks land easier on them for me because yeah. they're going that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going into the hook. Something that too in the, your Tommy fight, you were. There was a lot of influence I saw you guys trying to use on Tommy, just influence him to his left. Continue yeah. Continue to influence him. Yeah. I know you want that one back. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Yeah. I'm going to get it. I want to watch that one with you now since you haven't watched it. I think that would be fun to do. Do a little breakdown? Yeah, bro. That would be sick. I know the chat would fuck with that heavy. We could maybe break it down tomorrow. You down? I'd be down. Heck yeah. Chat, type one if y'all want to see that. I don't know if I want to watch this shit. Come on, I'm man. I'm going to watch it. I'll you watch gotta, it. Yeah, you got to get back in there. All it is is just ripping the band. No, yeah. That. Yeah, I've been waiting to Win watch it. Win or learn. It. That's, the, that's the phrase, bro. Win or learn. Win or learn. That's I a, like that's that. A, that's a Conor McGregor phrase. Classic. That's a, that's a John Cavanaugh phrase, really. Aspen Ladd coming up. Do you, wait, is the king – is the – Kingpin tournament, like, what is there like a prize at the end or something? Yes, there's a, there's a, I think it's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a Ferrari. I want to say for the all for the winner for the winner after three fights. Yep. Damn, that's kind of shitty. I don't. Here's my thing. I don't get the Ferrari. <laughs> what, what are we doing with the? Ferrari? Yeah, like why? I think just more cash would be, you know, but they're obviously getting paid to be in the tournament plus the cash prize, right? Like Gib legitimately is getting seven figures. Three fights for two hundred fifty k. On top of For whatever the they're winners, getting paid per fight. Three and oh, going three. Got to get you on the board, man. I got to get you on the board. Got to help him out. I don't know if that was rude of me to like diss that, but. I don't think you're telling the truth, whatever you yeah. think, man. We don't, we don't discourage opinions over here at the Wade Cup. <laughs> is it, and is it like day by day? What do you mean? No, 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 no. We, month, six weeks apart. 
each fight. Yeah. Oh. No, we're not having guys go out. So is it multiple pay per views? Yeah. Three pay per views. That's what I'm saying. They're gonna make some money. Yeah, bro. We're trying to run this thing. Hopefully, I mean, I don't, I don't know the behind the scenes too much, but I think they want to do it, make it like a, a an annual thing, different weight classes. Heavyweight influencers. Dr. Disrespect, get in there. And it's all the same weight then, right? Yeah, 175, I think. I feel like that's what's difficult is like get, finding, finding all the a, big people exactly. all the same weight. And plus, Misfits has a, a pretty much monopoly on the, on, the, on the game right now as far as like all the guys being signed over there. I don't know why these people sign like long-term deals Multi-fight, long-term Stupid. deals. Stupid. I think they just see, which to be fair, I mean, I still work with DAZN, I'm whatever, but they see the DAZN backing. It's a five-year deal over there, you know. It's that... I guess comfort to know that you're going to be locked in. You don't have to look different places. Yeah, but then like Salt Poppy is like someone who could sell probably like fifty to hundred k pay per views right by now. Himself. Right now, and now he's like locked up. If you put him in the Philippines, he'd sell out wherever he was at. They love that know. guy out there. Yeah, he's. What gangster. do you think about Salt Poppy, man? I think he's super entertaining, hilarious. Because he's he's again. I like him. He wants to he wants to come and see what Jake Paul's about. Is what he's been saying. Yeah, I mean. We're talking about like Different kindergartners right versus like the big leagues, but yeah. Okay. A lot of these guys, obviously, they all want to fight me, but like, you none shocked? of them, none of them have beat anybody that's even remotely close to anything on my fucking level. Yeah. Like, genuinely, like who are these guys? Josh Bruckner. Like, hey, cool, he was bro. he was on Logan's undercard, you know. Cool, bro. There was a time. Same, where same with same with KSI. It's like you beat a fucking gamer, bro. Like, cool. My man got temper shotted. Temper on short notice as well. It just. It what just, do you? We'll talk about this. I, I like why someone need someone should like Salt Poppy versus Woodley. I'll fight the winner. Hey. Salt Poppy versus Anderson Silva. Somebody versus Mike Perry. I'll fight the winner. Someone hey. versus like yeah like fight somebody real and then call me out like. Y'all gotta finish your playground shit and then come and see. What me. do you What do you think about the the Joe Fournier fight with KSI? You saw the press conference yesterday or two days ago? I didn't. Very low energy KSI. Very much like grounded. Got a shove. Joe shoved him on, like damn near shoved him across the stage. What do you think about that fight, man? Um, I'll be honest with you about what I think about it. Yeah, I, look, I think it it's it's definitely interesting for certain reasons, but KSI I think is like acting like it's this insane pro boxer. Right. But Joe's just really had taxi drivers and he's padded his record. Yeah. He fought against some like influencer two or three Singer, years ago. Yeah, yeah. He's 40 years on, old was now. Was that on your undercard? Yeah. Yeah. He's 40 years old oh, yeah. now, like inactive. So seven years, I think there's a gap. I mean, yeah, he had the David Hay fight, but let's be honest, those are homeboys right there. Yeah. Going at it. Yeah, that was like a glorified, was a glorified spar, sparring yeah. where they like agreed for whatever. But um, I it, mean, it is a step up, though. We'll see. You know, no, it is a step up for sure. But I think what's weird is like it's not even a real fight; it's an exhibition. Oh, because of the PBA and the they're not a BBC. I mean, I don't BBC. know why, but like was that KSI, a big even all of KSI's fights are exhibitions? So like, really, he's still just like one and zero. Oh. Yeah. Is that something do you think is a big sticking point for you in the KSI fight is making sure that's that's BBBFC sanctioned if it's going to be in the UK? Pro yeah, I wouldn't do it as an exhibition. Yeah. Is that I'm not trying to do any exhibitions. No, I think it's, it's be. stupid. It's a waste of time. It's like the fans don't care as much. Like you don't sell as many pay-per-views. It's not real. Like yeah. it doesn't count on your record. Right. So, it's got to be pro fight. Yeah. I think they're going uh, six this time too, six rounds. Yeah, sit with, with Joe and KSI. Yeah. It's so crazy because, like, KSI is Cardio trying to, machine like... machine or whatever. But he's... I mean, is he? <laughs> that's what I'm... I, that, I, that's the... the if he was, then he would put, like, eight minutes, right? Yeah. Or eight rounds, I mean. Facts. Um, but, that yeah. Was, I, I was shocked they didn't go eight rounds this time. I was like... Well, also, like, if KSI is trying to prepare himself for me then that would probably be lucrative of him to, like, have some experience later in the rounds. Like, yeah. But how do you um, – I know you're not going to talk about it too much. How do you genuinely see that KSI fight going? Like, I'm sure you've envisioned it. 
I'm sure you've it's going like you've gone over it in your head time after time. I think he just like starts out wild like he always does and just like is going to walk into a very big shot like he's very catch early him on. on. The back foot, just bang. He's so sloppy. He forecasts all of his shots. Called him the weather man, huh? Yes. <laughs> Forecast with it. Yes, he's for, he's a fucking weather man. <laughs> um very very basic. Um he he's tough and passionate and has yeah. heart. 100%. For sure, can 100%. take some shots, um, and that's the thing. He he isn't shy about saying that. Like he's not. I was like, I'm. I'll get hit. I don't care. Yeah. I'm like, it's at a certain point you better care. You know. Yeah, at but he's never point. fought anybody with power. Yeah. And then everyone like laughs like, oh, you fought your brother Logan. Like Logan's never knocked anyone. down. He's never down. opened up. Logan's never opened he's up. He's never on knocked someone down, let alone out. So it's like, and I'm sure you guys see it. That's the thing too. I've always been interested in like. Where's the disconnect with Logan, man? Because I know I'm sure he's doing it in here. Is it a up here thing with him, or is it a just not being able to put it together on the night? Maybe know. it's just he's out of the game so much. He's just not yeah. Consistent. I don't think yeah. I think it's like consistency, which you can't blame him for. He's doing all this other stuff, you know, whatever. Yeah, killing the game. He just resigned with the WWE. I saw today. Yeah, I don't think it's his main focus, really. Yeah. But clearly. You ever gonna make that move over to the uh, the dubs? We saw you throw the right hand. Uh, it, was the it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> so rough. Bro. It was bad. I don't know how to like. You know how to the what do they call it? Uh, work. You know how to work. Yeah. Yeah. I, got, I saw you got to see Brock Lesnar though. Yeah, he's that was sick. Cool. Legend. That was pretty cool. Legend. Probably. Super cool meeting him. Like yeah. childhood fucking hero. Like he doesn't age. Anderson oh, yeah. Silva era. Oh yeah. Yeah. How is Brock Lesnar still the same age? Yeah. Jacked <laughs> up too. Jacked. God, He's man. a really cool guy. Really cool guy. Really humble. All but right, brother. You know what we got now? Aspen Lad, 28 go. years old. Let's go. The women's... Okay, buddy. <laughs> In this fight, she absolutely could get hit. That's why she is prepared for her first... J Jasper, what are you talking season, about? Or, excuse me, her second season. Where is my... Where? Oh, there we are. Second season, women's featherweight... You want to give me the pronunciation on Alina? Elena Kolesnik. Bars, bro. You like five for five tonight. I'm really out here. You're doing this, bro. I'm really representing out here. the Ukraine. Um, big fight right here because the name value of Aspen Lad brings her in at a minus six hundred favorite. Ten and three. Six wins by knockout, one submission. Maybe throwing some hands here, buddy. Doesn't she tra train with someone? Who? Are, are you trying to are you trying to <laughs> flirt with Aspen Lad? Bro, <laughs> that is not that is not an individual. Listen, Alina is not someone you want to mess with. That is, she's coming in focused right now. Big underdog though. And Aspen does work well in the clinches. She likes to grab, toss, ground and pound. Sounds like Jasper's judo. style. Let's see some judo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the judo throws is what I meant. Chat, none of that. Uh huh. This guy, bro. He's nonstop. That's, you just can't. This Here is we like go. the censored. Love touch round one. This is the censored version too. Nice right hand to the body there. See the problem with with Aspen at least before making her PFL debut, had a real tough time with the weight cut. Oh, right hand just misses. Had a real tough time with weight cutting, so she's moved up a division now, stronger. Wonder if that's going to make any effect here in this fight. Remember, we have bonus points per round finish, so we're looking for that six, that pick six, buddy. Like you were doing in, in Pop Warner football, pick six and on fools. Bro, don't even get me started about Pop Warner, bro. You were cold with it? Cold, bro. I don't mean to. Oh, look, Back here we go. Day. Single leg. Oh, nothing. Nice. Big knee of the body, too. I don't mean to brag, Jake, but the first time I ever touched the pigskin at four years old, your boy had two touchdowns on the first two touches, bro. I'm not going to lie. I think the first time I touched the ball, I scored, too. Okay, well. And I scored. Don't make me feel special. Though. I scored 33% of the time I touched the ball. So if my okay. team was. Analytics? Yeah. Westlake Analytics, yeah? Crazy, bro. And. Our defense was so good that only in two years they only scored one touchdown on us. Dang. 
You should have kept going with it, man. You would have had some offers coming out. School, I though, go, yeah. I didn't School. go through puberty. Yeah, so this sure. was in, like, sixth grade. I was, like, the all-star. Oh, yeah, we talked about and this. And then, yeah, everybody grew. and then everyone grew, and then I wasn't the all-star anymore. <laughs> it was really tough to deal with mentally. I bet, I bet. I didn't. I, I peaked didn't hit, in sixth grade. <laughs> I didn't hit my growth spurt till about the same time. I went from yeah. five nine. That's to when I started six, balding two. too. Oi! Oh. Yeah, in sixth grade. <laughs> that's what I said. Oh, I said balling. No, no, that's when I started balding in sixth yeah, grade. It's unfortunate. Man. It, it's been all downhill since after sixth grade. <laughs> after the John Tucker situation too. The John Tucker situation. Yeah. You hate to see it, bro. Hey, there we go. Good job, bro. You got, got, hey, you got him God. a new fan. You got him some streams. That's what I do, bro. That's what I do. Chat, thank you guys for being nice, man. Because if that was me, then, like, not going to lie, my paralyzed father just stood up out of his wheelchair to turn that shit off. I've had that many times in my chat. Because I'll, I'll sing. Yeah. That's what they say. My yeah, chat's that, ruthless, bro. I, in one of my music videos, that was the top comment. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> it's hilarious. Kids are rude. Like, thank you so much, Jake. I've been <laughs> paralyzed for 23 years. And finally, after I heard this song, I was able to stand up to turn <laughs> it the fuck off. I was like, yo. Hey, okay. You know what it is. Yeah, Jasper. What are we saying, ref? Worried about, we're <laughs> worried about the finger pokes. Eye pokes. Jesus. Nice inside leg kick. You going back on the show later tonight? Yeah. Doubled up. Okay. Yeah, bro. You better mention me to Sean this time. I ain't playing you're, games. They said you're going on it. I don't know anything about that. Marcos, you know anything about that? Man. They said you're joining the show. I'm down. You know I'm down. I got. A I thought you Europe said that, too. I think we were, I think that was the original plan, but I think, you know, they know the value of me. They so cut they just, you out. They, they were like, yeah, we Yeah, good. they're like, this yeah. is too crazy. We good, bro. We can't. The servers can't handle this. Oh, psh, they already know, dude. You see the tickets I sold at PFL Europe? Zero. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. That's huge, bro. I just popped up in Newcastle like, what's good? Yeah. I, say, I saved a guy's life up. in Newcastle. You want to hear the story? You saved a guy's life? Swear to God. Like while you were just out there? Just doing my thing, man. Just being a good Samaritan like I am. Wow. Was walking back from the event. We did the event. Newcastle. Killed it. You know what I'm saying? Dakota Decheva. You killed the guy? Nope. Saved him. Oh, but I thought you said you no, killed no, it. No, no. The event. We killed the event. Uh, and, you know, I guess Newcastle's a big party area. They got like a bunch of universities out there. Uh, that's where your boy True Jordy's from, Brian, my guy. So this guy's walking down the street, plastered, out of his mind, stumbling, making the, the Z waves, you wow. know what I'm saying? And wow. the problem is he's walking closer to the road each time. So he gets close, gets close. Finally, I had to Spider-Man him and snatch him up by his collar because he was going to go in the road and get run over. That's crazy. I walk with him for another mile. This guy tells me his whole life story. That's hilarious. And finally, I sit, and it was like, we're walking in between like <laughs> college frat parties and all this stuff, and I'm walking. I finally sit him down in front of the police. It's like, Jesus, man. Newcastle's a different animal. I'm too old for that, man. What was his... What was his... His whole life story, he was uh, broke. It's kind of depressing. I don't know. Yeah, he maybe was, we shouldn't talk yeah, about it. I was going to say, he was, just, he was having a rough time, but I got him. Nice right hand. Again, Aspen Lad. Coming forward, putting combinations together. I will say, Jasper, you're still not looking at comments, are you? Oh. Okay, you're not on the chat. Okay. I want to join the chat. Get in there, bro. Get in there. See what the people saying. Round one. I'm gonna go Aspen Lad here, pushing the forward, pushing the action forward. Oh, this is weird. See, it's doubled up. All right, there we go. Live chat. Join us. Yo, Jake. What up, Perception? <laughs> Adesanya or Pereira? Ooh, what are you saying? Adesanya. Yeah, brother. Tell him how. Because um, we're in the minority I think it's going to be TKO. Even though he is favored. TKO, I'm saying round three. They said like Darth Vader in that Me? <laughs> 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 Fuck, I got to pull this shit out. <sighs> okay, what are you saying about the co-main? Oh, wow, the chat's going up now. I can't even keep up with wow, that. Wow, it's crazy, right? That's that's the Jake Paul effect, bro. Co-main event. What who, are you saying? Who, it's who, Masvidal and... Gilbert Burns. I think Gilbert Burns, for sure. Oh, I thought Jorge was your guy, man. He taught the you the fuck? knee, no? He didn't teach me shit. 
Oh, y'all fall out after the knee? No, no, no. <laughs> no, he, I don't know what happened, but. One of the funniest things in the Ben Askren happened? He just started, he lost his mind. He lost his marbles. Yeah. Oh, the pay-per-view all, stuff. All of these yeah. guys. All of these guys. Would that, would that, they, obviously he's under contract, but. No, they, they realize that they can fight me for a bunch of money, so then they talk, start talking shit. Oh, he was talking about you this week, by the way. He, yeah. he, someone did an interview, said you don't sell or something like that. Did you not the money fight? Yeah, literally the the biggest pay per view of the last twelve months. Yeah, but he doesn't sell. Oh, he said I don't pay my opponents, but he's That's getting paid he's like saying. a million dollars for this fight, and like Woodley got paid two million. Like I don't, I don't know. It's, it's Jeez, you gotta hit him with the diss track again, bro. <laughs> First of all, Miles, Miles but all, you, you ain't, ain't rich. rich. <laughs> he really did fifty fights for five mil. That ain't shit. That's what the song says. Yeah. yeah. We he's talked got, about this. He's got, we have a bet on it. We got a bet on it. Um, yeah. I'm going tank. Oh, see, look at this. Now you got me people parlaying my bets. We got you fleet. think Ryan's going to win? Jesus. The bet was. What, tell him what the bet was. He has to stand in the street and with a sign that says honk if you're horny. If, if Ryan oh, wins. Oh, nice left hand. And I have to... Um, Try and get him a date with Amanda Serrano if if Gervonta wins. Yes, yeah, see? The people know. The Serrano concept, a real thing. Oh, they're saying the Kingpin prize is $1 million. That makes is way it more million? sense. I thought it was two fifty k. I could be wrong, though. That makes way more sense. Chat, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yeah, if it's a million. Is the Ferrari thing real? Chat, maybe I'm wrong there. I, I don't know where I heard it, but it, it hasn't been publicized very much. Shout out to MVP Updates. MVP update. That's your. That's your. Uh, They're lit. Yeah, duh. They roll MVP with it. Single leg on. here from Aspen. Nothing. Stuffed right there. High crotch. If Jasper doesn't win, he has to tell the Glizzy story. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What's the Glizzy I don't, story? The, the guys were saying tell the Glizzy story when he hopped on on stream. Yeah, I don't know. Brandon was saying the same thing. I don't. I don't know. I wanted to know. I was interested in this. <laughs> His whole life, she said. Double unders here from Aspen. She's lost this position, though. Unless she pulls in outside trip. But Benavidez right versus Canelo. I think Benavidez wins. Yeah. I don't, I'm not even mad at that, actually. I think it's a tough style for people to fight him on the inside. For him yeah. to be as tall as he is. His inside fight game's it's crazy. Crazy doesn't make any sense. I think at range, my boy Caleb Plant was doing well, but inside it's just too much. That power and the speed inside. I did hard. I went I went trolling to the bridge with that one. I ain't never seen the light. We do it for fifty. Okay. I'm down with it. I'm down with it. Come on with it. Don't make me come down to Puerto Rico to collect, yeah? Um, Yerman says to sort your pants out. They're sorted, Jake. What do I need to do? You, mean, uh, you know what? You're right. Yerman, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. That's what they meant, right? No? Nah. There we go. There we go. You want to talk umbrella pants? I got it, baby. Do These you ever go are... tanning? I don't, man. I live in Orange County and is what I look like. Isn't that crazy? I ain't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Jasper said he looks like string <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Listen, calcium boy, what's up? Yo. I'm not even wearing socks. That's the crazy part. No, you're That's not. Just my I leg. can't even tell. That's just my leg. Dog. That's crazy. <laughs> don't That's don't crazy. even say it, Marco. Just let it rock. <laughs> I don't know who that is. The world's strongest man, dude. Come on, Mark Henry. Let's go. That's a WWE reference. The chat is probably the most funny part of live streaming. Probably the best part of live streaming. Chat, I love y'all carry, y'all carry chat. Low key, w chat. w chat, always. Aspen again pushing up against Jake the cage. Kiss Wade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that chat. <laughs> Yo. Jeez, we saving it for the OnlyFans, man. Yo, we're working on it, dude. Someone said, Mark, you said the same thing. What do you mean? I'm from the UK, mate. Not bad, right? Bro. You're moving mad, bro. It's okay. He's from fucking Tennessee. Yeah, that's okay, don't say it like that. Like, it's crazy. Fucking Tennessee. No, like, Let me hear your country accent, it. bro. 
A good hey, one. Y'all want to come down here? Hi. Uh, shit, we we can go hunting anytime you want, brother. I got a bale of hay, <laughs> some horses. Not bad. You sound Smoking a little like Joe Dirt, grass, but I'll take brother. It. Oh, yeah, hey, look, we got the bonfire cooking up some steaks. You got your bonfire? That's nice. You ever had some frog legs? Goddamn right I have. Yeah, I love me some frog legs, I go frog brother. gigging and then You had a country legs. girl dance on you at a bluegrass festival? She shook her daisy Time of my on life. I'm drinking Budweiser. I'm drinking Bud Light. Uh-huh. I'm crossing it all up. Pour some whiskey in that cup, brother. Get on my tractor Damn. and fuck some shit up. Bars. That's what we say in the fields, bars. Bars. Them bars right there, son. Gee, I, I think, I mean, it's been a pretty one-sided fight with the pressure from Asma, but she was getting hit, man. In the exchanges, she's been getting tagged, so it's tough. Jasper, come, come, come here, bro. Shoot your shot with Aspen Lad. T- talk, tell her in the microphone, bro. Stop being shy. Stop she's going to hear this. She's going to hear it. Yeah. We're talking about the partner of PFL Jake Paul here. You don't think she's listening? You what? She's got to be able to put punches together here because she's getting tagged in the in-between. Grappling is great, but damage wins fights. Damage. I just think you're so beautiful. Whoa. I just have to say it. You're saying that to Jasper over there? What are you saying? No, no, oh, hell oh, no. Sorry. Dang. I'm saying it to her. By the way, thank you for the food. Very much appreciate that. You thought they were dumb. Wait. The, nice the body Dutch, kick. The Dutch queen. Nice one, too. I'll tell you something. Just gorgeous. <laughs> Just sitting over there looking amazing. Just such a happy soul. Just looking at you makes me happy. I've been trying to walk down Alina here. The problem is she's walking straight forward. The head movement is minimal. Do you, you've, you've experienced this with MMA fighters. Yeah, not a lot of head movement. Not a lot. Not a lot of head movement. Staying right on the center line. Can you address for me, Jake, now that you've told me that the Floyd Mayweather altercation was a flat-out fake, can you address for me the, the, the accusations of your fake knockout of Tyron Woodley, please? Oh, my God. People are. It I was mean, set up. That's what the people told people me. People are so dumb. You guys wrote the script out. People are so cute. dumb. By the way, there was a script for the Tommy fight. I well. know. I heard about this Saw afterwards. That? Saw that? Yeah. But it had me winning. It had you winning. So what the fuck? They said it was a pretty funny script. They said that he was going to come out um, to Sweet Caroline, typical, right? Did he? No, he didn't. Mm. Uh, they said he was going to come out with uh, boxing gear that was like dedicated to his his family. But I think in some way he did. And people That's went, such oh my like God. a general. Fucking I know, thing, I know. Like, but still, you you know, you, you start reading it, and here I am trying to go to bat for him. Like, no, it's not going to happen. And I see him in it, and I was like, Oh my oh, God, shit, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> I know. <laughs> He yeah, I veered, I veered off a script and lost. Yeah, bro. I just wanted to throw a curveball. You're like, you oh, know the, what? Sh- the script said I was going to win? Fuck this. I'm, I'm it's time to <laughs> lose. <Method actor. laughs> I'm the problem child, brother. They can't contain me. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Aspen, just big time Dude, grappling. Bro. I was going to ask you this. Like, Do you think Aspen, lad, when her friends come up to her, say, like, what's up, lad? Like, lad. She's American, so it probably don't hit the same, you know? Mm-hmm. Maybe if she was in the I'll UK. I'll shut the fuck up now. <laughs> Another big takedown That's from me. Aspen here. Because she's having a great fight, right? Because she's, okay, I just, I looked over and saw somebody I want to see. Um, look here. Back mount position, backpack, trying to get an arm snuck under the chin. <laughs> nope. I ain't even going to look over there, bro. I... Things are not PG. In that I don't direction. know what's going on. Things are not. PG. I don't think I've ever talked for this long in my life before. This is different than the Impulsive Podcast, brother. This is different. My like three brain cells are going clanking together in my head <laughs> <laughs> like this. Look here. Can she get under the neck? She she I like she might need this to win the fight. I don't think she even might. Need this. I think she Jasper. will win. <laughs> she needs this. <laughs> Got to get under that chin, though. Jasper, pull up a. I think you should pull up a stool. Give give him give him a chair. Oh, you got to go run. Who it back. me? Yeah, you got to go run it back, bro. I'm going back on the TV. Me? Five minutes, bro. If I don't get the shout out, dude. What do you want? You want me to tell him to follow you on Twitter? <laughs> yes, bro. I want exactly. That. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to fit it into Say, the live wait, stream. Wait, trying to get a hundred grand on the Twitter. Follow. 
Thanks. Okay. Hey, appreciate that. I'm just going to like slip it in there like. Hey, yo. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And by the way, everyone, like, sorry, but if you could follow uh, at the Wade Concept on Twitter. At He's the Wade Method on Twitter. The Wade Method and just <laughs> completely mess it up. <laughs> Sean's like, yeah, yeah. The Wade Method. Come on, Aspen. Need to finish this fight at this point. Down two rounds. Double hooks in. <sighs> Trying to snake the arm under the chin. Last 57 seconds here, Jake. Go to that body lock, no? So that right there doesn't happen. Ref cam getting that in-depth look here. I really like this ref cam. Do you think they've ever had it where, like, the nose of the ref is so big that it's peeking into the view? If Helwani... Uh, Bro, fight, that would be the case. You, you really want? I'm you, going for, would I'm you going fight for Helwani? Yeah, let's I don't, do it. I don't think he would. I don't, fight I don't you. want to fight Ariel. Ariel's a, he's been a good mentor to me. Yeah, he's been a great mentor to me. But he, I, you know what? He's reached out a lot and helped me with some stuff. So that's dope. Ariel's a good dude, bro. Yeah, but listen, he's a, he's a dope guy. I do want to get on the MMA hour and, and beat him in a game of darts. He thinks he's you know he's the god of darts. I got to go in there and show him. I don't even play darts like that, but you yeah, play I don't even know about all the darts stuff. He's been doing that recently on the show. He hasn't had you on the show yet. What's up with that? Like on physically in the studio. What's up? We've with that? always tried to make it happen. Just can't. And it just, just never is lined up. Come on, Aspen. Got to get this done. Flips it over. Nope. That's it. Oh, hold on a second. She's fighting that hand. It's not Why a good angle, but I can't see if that's under. I oh, she was this under is tough there to too. Score, I think. I think that Aspen loses this fight two rounds to one. It's tough. You never, you never know, man. It could be. Alina's pumped, though. I think she goes down 2-1. to one. That was close at the end. Bad camera angle, but really couldn't get around it. She was they don't even chin. look like they're in the same weight class. I want to see the end of that round. Aspen with more total strikes. That, I think that last round really did a number. Two takedowns. Here's the thing, though. We always talk about this. Strikes per round is what matters, right? Yeah. Those total strikes don't mean anything if they were done. In all in one round. We'll see, though. We'll see what the AI score is. Old, faithful, trusty AI score tonight. And then we got some bangers coming up here. After you go and do your, you the know. The co-main event next. Guest spot. Do After I have to go now? Let's do it. All right, chat. Be right back. <laughs> Jasper, you hopping in? What are we saying? You hopping back in, brother? I'm being forced to. Yeah. What? Never would I do that to you, bro. Never. Good? Jake Ballers, welcome back to my channel. I hey. hope you're working hard. Hey, talk to him. Bro, I can't get comfortable. Is it because I'm hefty? Nah, bro. Would you consider me hefty? I told you you were skinny a second ago. Yeah, wouldn't lie to you. There's a, been a lot of things you've lied about. <gasps> like what? I'm not going to say. I told you your music was dope. I would never. Yo, chat, y'all are wilding, man. Appreciate you guys. I'm just seeing some of these donations. Thank you. Thank oh, yeah. you so much. I couldn't come. Buckeye, appreciate it. Sorry, I need to cut you off. Yeah. Buckeye, thank you, man. Yeah. Huge W, Jasper. That's all I'm reading, bro. W, Jasper. They're asking what the chain is. Demon and angel. This side's demon, this side's angel. And it's from a near and dear company who believed in me before I had anything going in, like, Kind of took me under their wing. No paperwork. Just changed my life. Handshake agreements. Just went for it. Yeah, just w. love. Moved me in with them. I was homeless and shit. W. Yeah, w. Demons and angels. Someone said, I love Jasper. He built like me. You're representing the people out here, Jasper. You built real good then. You're representing the people out here, man. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. they said you're Jake Paul's ghost rider, bro. No, that's not true. Did you write? No. Dana White's diss track? No. You didn't write? No. Five million fifty fights, that ain't shit. Nope. That's a bar though. Am I your Yo. ghost am I your ghost They're writer? saying you're his ghost he's the ghost writer, bro. Wipe that off. <laughs> nah, see you almost <laughs> got me. You almost got me. How tall um, how tall Jasper? The next person that asks for a sniff of this chair, you're getting banned in chat. What is happening? Marcos uh like bro. Head movement. I'm fast. Head that movement. Nice. That was nice. Head movement. That was nice. Um, that was nice. Marcos ruined the whole entire schedule. Uh oh. Per usual. What happened? Oh, there he is. Uh -huh. What happened? <laughs> so I'm, I don't even have to go on for like 26 minutes. Oh, we good. Do you want to like should I lap up or? Yeah, pop up, pop up, pop around. Come on. 
Jasper, when's the Chase fight? They say bro, you, you man, and Chase Demore are going at nobody. it. He got beef with Chase Demore, bro. You I don't do? know. I ain't beefing with nobody, nigga. That's what he said. Bro. Wait, what, uh, what? I just said, bro, be posing them ass ass Twitter videos. Bro, he be looking like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so know. dumb. He's I'm not beefing with nobody. No, no. Niggas wait, know wait, where I'd be at, bro. He did one, like, I don't know if I just dreamt of this, but I didn't he do one where he like, like kissed the camera. Yes, yes, yes. And he added it's Tyson so Fury. He added Tyson it's Fury. So cringe. He's beefing with Tyson Fury. He's not beefing with me. This guy's fucking crazy. <laughs> I think he has the worst <laughs> boxing low light of all time. Bro, it's the Josh Bruckner, yeah, about? the Josh Bruckner fight. The double insane. hand swing. Yeah. The double axe handle. The WWE move. Bro, what are you doing back here? You want to chill, bro? Uh, no. No, I don't. I'm just. Jasper needs to fight DTG. Bro, I'm not Ooh. fighting nobody, DTG. bro. I'm DTG? not with none of not this DDG. YouTube shit. DTG. Who the fuck is that? Another rapper. Bro, who are all these fucking people? And how do they get their fucking names? Like they could suck my balls. <laughs> I'm not fighting nobody. <laughs> Let's like read that. the comments. Here, look at this. The verdict scoreboard. It's a close fight, y'all. Jasper, tell that boy Jake to go to Turkey and get a hairline. I've been Dang. doing that He's been telling me the whole for time. five years of friendship. <laughs> literally, literally, we'll be like hanging out all of a sudden, like, and he'll just be like, "So when are you going to Turkey?" <laughs> After the next fight, tell I'm me this. Up. Has anybody in your close vicinity gone to Turkey for the hairline? Mike Malak. Mike did? Okay. Yeah. He needed it. Hey, listen, ain't nothing wrong with Jasper, it. Jasper, stop calling out all the people. Jasper too big to be scared to fight. They're no. asking if the Tate face-off was a PR stunt. No, I, w I would actually fight Tate, but, like, I don't know his whole situation. Yeah, right he's now. just now probably not the, the best time for him <laughs> right now. Yeah. But I, I, I was there in Dubai when you guys did the little face-off. People were buzzed about that, man. I don't even. Were you there? Yeah, it was there. That was during the fight. Oh, oh, oh. not that one, but the the, one, the, the, the one, one. Yeah, the first one. Yeah. Jasper ducking Greg Hardy. <laughs> they, <laughs> they said they want you guys to uh, spar or sing karaoke. Me and Jake. No, my bitch yeah, lost. I listen. mean, my girl, my girlfriend lost. Aspen takes the loss there. Um, Your her winner first in my book, Aspen. season in the PFL. That's a massive upset right there. Wow, massive upset. Two Out points to goes to Olena. Wow. Co-main event coming up, Jake. You want to do some uh, name pronunciation for me? I got you, bro. Yeah. Um, Hit it for the people. Jasper, you can help him out. You're the ghostwriter here. Bruno Capaloza versus Mateus Shuffle. Am I your ghostwriter? Easy, bro. Easy work, bro. What? Am I your ghostwriter? <laughs> Said Mateus Shuffle. Bro, I don't have a fucking ghostwriter. Exactly. I just, I'm here to freeload. For real. Please ask Way to sing "Party in the USA." I got, I got golden pipes, bro. I can sing. Could you sing? How it, how, how it start off? How it start off? I gotta uh, tell me the words. How it start? Off? Put my hand. No, no, no. no that's the chorus. Gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, we gonna search it. Up. Hopped off the plane at LAX, LAX with a dream in a card again. There it is. See, you a freak. You knew the whole shit already. Welcome to the land of the famous. Uh, am I gonna fit, fit in? in. <laughs> Jumped in a caddy, I am for the first time. time. Look to my right, and I see the Hollywood sign. This is awesome. so crazy. Everybody Look seems so famous. famous. What is it? And I'm feeling kind of homesick. Too much pressure, and I'm nervous. That's when a taxi man turned on the radio, and a Jay Z song was on. And the what? And the Jay Z song was on. And the what? And the Jay Z song was on. So what you do? I my, my hands up to play in my song. The butterflies fly away. Okay, okay. Round in my head like yeah. Okay, and what you moving my, my hips like okay. Whoa, 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 <laughs> Sorry, I got into it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I got, I got into it. We weren't doing that. Cool, okay, buddy. Cool. This was moving too. I'm saying the hips swivel like that, bro. He was bragging earlier about how he twerks on his streams and shit. I'm, I mean, well, bragging. I was just stating facts. I was just stating facts. An adult man. Yeah, bro. What's the deal? At your grown. Age? I got videos to prove it, no, brother. <laughs> don't make me pull. What you, you guys don't want me to pull it up? I will pull it up. Show me a pickle with some Micah Mirrys on it. <laughs> 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 and show me a video you shake your ass, bro. I ain't gonna lie. A pickle with some Micah Mirrys. <laughs> <laughs> Literally no. <laughs> Fuck no. Not even kinda. Bro, Drake voice on the I'm shocked, the nerve. I think we should play more or like sing karaoke more I'm down. classic songs. Yeah. Like what? You don't do it. If you if I'm you in get the mood to sing if you get Frank by Katy Perry. Oh, I didn't know. I thought you bit classic, like Frank Sinatra classic. I'll like, get that. Fly me to the moon. No, no, no. Let me play. I guess you wonder where I've been. Okay. I don't know the next part. I searched to find love again. again. 
He doesn't know that. I, I see you wonder where to... I am. Yeah, come on. Uh, What's one song we all know, bro? We'll uh, sing it right now. Work by Katy Perry, you know? No, we can't hit that, though. I don't know. I got to do something I, I, I feel good singing because I can't sing fire. Uh, it's got to be a dude song. Do you ever feel. I don't know the, the lyrics. <laughs> no, I know. Drifting through the wind. No, no, no. Wanting to start it. Do you the fact that you go bar for bar with it is impressive, though. He's a freak. It's impressive. Like a Chad, what like song should we sing? At 11 in the morning this baby. morning? Outside yeah. my door. He sits in the backyard. Ordinary sits. people? I've already done that one. We're just ordinary people. Oh. We don't know which, which way, way to go. go. I don't know this song. Because we're ordinary, ordinary people. people. Maybe we should take it slow. Take it slow. Oh. oh. This time we'll take it slow. He can sing. Yeah, you got some. Uh, oh no. What baritone? Girl, I'm in love with you. This, this ain't the honeymoon. honeymoon. Past the infatuation phase. Oh, you can like actually sing. Yeah, bro. Right I told on you. The brink of that's, that's nice. mm -mm. I told you, get me on the remember. track, bro. We should play. We, we should sing. Oh, what you trying to do? Right, right, bro. I know, uh, it's they, oh, they want you. They, they want us to sing every day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about that song? Do you know it was? You like can't be mad at that song. For, it went crazy. <laughs> or like, will you? you the thing I remember from that song is a KFC T-shirt of all I, things. I think it's a. Uh, it's a classic, it's bro. It's Classic. At this point. Classically garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a, it's a classic still. You know, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it did numbers, bro. At the end of the, day, end of the it's day, it's a generational anthem. At the end of the day, <laughs> it's nighttime. Bars. That's facts, Bars. Bro. You know, you you really I like the way you think, bro. Yeah, I don't like the I way like you the think. I like the way you, <laughs> you know. Move. It's, this is why everyone thinks I'm a Jake Paul hater. What? Do you I don't think people think that. You know where what? The chat the chat's asking from? for one thing. You got to do it. Hmm. What's your favorite KSI song? If you have one, I don't know a single one. You've never listened to one. I could not name Jasper. I've listened to I've listened to. Don't one, be the yes man. They call it. you, bro. On oh, my mother rest in peace. First of all, they don't even call me a yes That's man. That's what they were saying. I was just. On oh, my mother rest in peace. I have never. Ever in my entire life, listen to one song. What? By no, and that's not even like because of politics. Nothing. I've listened. I've wake like, up call with with Trippy. Yeah, this is a wake up call. Swear to God, no. that, that didn't ring one. Nobody. Bell. Like God, actually, that's like, a banger. No, no funny, like seriously. I I've just, put on his songs like just to like listen to it, but I couldn't like name you one. I like one. I think the only one I've actually ever listened to probably was when he did diss Logan like before their fight. Oh, was that everything is? No, it's not. Down like that. Down like that. Oh, uh. Someone said it's every night, sis. Oh, that song was hard. That one was a banger, yeah? That motherfucker was hard. <laughs> Rice Gum was like that. Rice Gum was like that. He was, I, we were talking I, about Rice I, Gum we, earlier. Yeah, we were talking about him earlier. Like, he, where, where is he at? Where'd he go, bro? He having motion. Do you think he's planning to come back? Nah. <laughs> See, he was bro, supposed to box at one point, I thought. Of course. He did it the right way, bro. He got his he shit said, and got off. I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm out, he was bro. He was built to ass when he shit? was. $10? <laughs> nah, he's having motion, bro. For real. That's your guy right I there. I just seen, bro, IRL and just, I just know he, he getting to it. It's cool. Hey, man. Do what you do. Co-main event time, boys. You saying it like he fell off. There was never a point in time Rice Gum was declining. He was. Someone said Rice Gum invented rap. This okay, is fact. let's not go this way. Nigga was like that. I don't think you can like fell, fall off like he was never on. Like, Whoa. Bro, all right, bro. All right, see, all right, buddy. This is where you go nah, wrong, bro. See? This is where you go wrong. That's, That's bullshit. Just that nigga was like peak of YouTube for a little bit, bro. He was. He was putting belt to ass on YouTube. I'm saying like 2017. Nigga, you was hot in 2017. And I still am. That's cool, <laughs> yeah, but like y'all just got just different am. paths. But no, that's, I'm not hating. I just want to. Top. They want to know. They want to know right now. You're saying he was never on. How was he never on? They want to know. Top. And he was out doing publicity stunts with him. Were, were we? Know. Yeah, I was a fan ass nigga. Nah, I, <laughs> I ain't that, bro. Obviously, like he had motion at some point, but. Okay, so you can't knock his shit. That's like a nigga saying oh, Jake Paul was never on. I, I'm still. I haven't been on. <laughs> <laughs> Your, your brain not on. Money. Hell yeah, I'm living off your shit. Yeah, so it's a trickle down. Shit is, <laughs> it's just a trickle down. Shout out to Logan. Logan's WWE money. And I get Sheesh. like 10% of your shit. 10% of his prime equity. 
Whoa, Damn. dude. Yeah, this is a That's what people time. didn't know, you bro. You want to know a fun fact? Go ahead. I've been friends with Jake for five years yeah. so I could get a speedboat. It's my only, the only reason I've been friends with him. Okay. He's, he's been he's scamming me. Is that is that code for the PFL? Because you did call PFL the speedboat earlier. Huh? Is he, are you giving no, the PFL no, stake no, up? Is that what I'm hearing live no. on my way concept? Whoa, oh, bro! No, no, no! Like Chat, that. we heard it live. No. Oh hell! Sorry, no. sorry. See, this is what put two, I'm put. I'm, I'm, I'm listen. I'm an investigative journalist. I put two and two together, bro. You know what I mean? Co-main event time, fellas. What are we saying? Uh, Bruno Capaloza. Mateus, how do you say his last name, Jake? That nigga look like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Shuffle, Shuffle, Either way. This is going to be a banger, man. Heavyweights all day today. This oh, my rematch. God. He look like he'll bark at the mailman. Big <laughs> pit bull face. <laughs> Jesus. You just, he what did out, you just say? He knocking out whoever get in the ring. Who, Bruno Cappuccino is he doing He barked it. at the mailman. Bro, okay, this nigga buddy. look like a big-ass pit bull in a human body. I'm dead. Wade, uh, ESPN just reverenced you. I didn't hear it. Damn mm. it. Shout out, shout out my guys, man. They're Sean O'Connell. Big things. Appreciate that, man. Thank Are you. you wealthy yet? No, 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 no. When you yet. do get wealthy, I'm going to holler at you. <laughs> Paper, rock, scissors. Fine. Appreciate y'all putting me on, chat. Thank you. Yo, just put, put, up, put a chair there. I don't want to. <laughs> Is beef on cam? Brother. It's like that? You want to settle this right Yo, now? Jasper, your hand's awful twitchy, bro. Your hand's awful twitchy. I don't know about all that. Jasper said he's going to put the beats on you without the studio, bro. Yeah. That's what he said. That's what the man said. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said, bro. Lay a couple beats on you without the studio. <laughs> that was supposed to be my food, but I can't eat on cam. <laughs> okay, ain't funny. Jasper lost on purpose. <laughs> Is that what he told you? No, that's what the chat <laughs> Lost on purpose. All right, man. Co-main event. A big fight here. I think 17. Bruno. Go ahead. Bruno has to has to win this. Like fourteen wins by knockout, fifteen wins in total. This man does not let the fight go to the distance. Mateus. Keys to the fight, Bruno. Be in boxing range. Use feints and speed. It's the Jake Paul strategy, bro. Be in boxing range. Yeah, use bro. feints and speed. There you go. Nice. You you put the insight on. I thought you was impartial, bro. What the hell? What? You you gave him insight. You in the camp now. You giving him Jake Paul. All strats, bro. I'm in his ear. You're in his head, dog. I'm in his head. And then yes. Mateus, attack the lead leg, striking off pressure. Yeah, Mateus pulled off the upset last time yep. against Bruno. Yep. Now coming back, uh, for some reason. Bruno does kind of look like Dwayne Johnson. I can't. I, now that Jasper said it, I can't see it. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I think Jasper said he looks like a dog. But you said The Rock, too, no? You say look I at don't the rock. think he said that. I got the mirrors, boy. Do you want to pull up a chair? Can, Gus, can you give him a chair? This is turning into the Jasper concept. Yeah. It really is. Jasper. The takeover, bro. I don't know how I feel that like my best friend is a rice gum fan. Oh, oh no, now I'm see what a, we did. Now we, we opened up old cuts, bro. See what we did. Shit a thou, bro. I never, ever lie about no shit for real. And you just sometimes be wrong. Niggas don't tell you you're wrong. Oh, partner. oh, it's beef. Like I'm telling you, bro. Like, see what we did? See what we did? It, it's getting too consensual, real, bro. You're telling me that rice gum's not working at McDonald's right now? No, Stop not, that. Bro. Guaranteed. Stop that. Dude, that you can't Guaranteed. Do that. All them bum ass team ten members are working at McDonald's. No, yeah, dang. with with rice gum. No, brother. He We got Justin his, Roberts his, on the screen. He ain't at McDonald's. Shout out Team 10, you know what I mean? Nah, There's not a uh, shot in hell that Rice Gum has a dollar to his name. He for, he for fuck so do. You did wrong. He was, he was doing some crypto stuff. There's a lot stuff. more That's people going got. bankrupt right now that we could talk about that just went public. Oh, you're talking about FaZe? I don't know who I'm talking about. Jeez. That's what I'm saying, but he's like in the same circle. No, bro. He controlled his like fall back. Like, nigga, All right, let's get this fight started. Let's get it going, baby. I'm voting Bruno Capaloza, Mateus <laughs> Chaffel. I I think I'm going with Mateus. Oh, I like the jabs though, Mateus, early. Mateus, Look at those feints, Jake. Mateus, Mateus getting his head punched in. Yo, oh, you man. ever play Redbeard growing up? Oh, deal. Good. You ever play Redbeard Red growing up? No, no. What's that? What's that? On mini clip. Redbeard, what's that? It's a great game. 
I'm taking uh, give me Bruno, man. I'll yeah, take Bruno. You got good taste. Double jab, we like that. Speaking of Outside Bruno, where, where has Bruno Mars been? I heard he's catching grenades for you. You gonna tell him he fell off? <laughs> nah, Bruno Mars has never fell off. We're, we should talk about all the people that fell off and have arguments about it. <laughs> no, because no. <laughs> no, because no. <laughs> like, bro, define fall off. Oh, nice front kick to the stomach. We like that. Hey, nigga rock. You gonna fall off one day? We all will. That's time, man. That's I, I want to fall off. I, that is true. I when, can't even go. Not, in, not, when, I can't even go in public no more. Thing. Like I'm trying to get unfamous. Oh, look at that! Caught yeah, that no, right hand. <laughs> man went Wing Chun out of nowhere. When it's all over, Jake, you want to retire, go out and live in, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, huh? exactly. Like nice. On a ranch. That's the way to do it, man. Oh, That's shit. the way to do it. Nice front kick again. Oi, that jab's nice, though. He hit him with some mean shit. See, that's the evolution of the low kick. I've always been baffled why guys still go to the thigh. I mean, yeah, it's damaging, but with the low kick now going to the calf and being debilitating, I, I don't. maybe because you don't want to break that tibia and they can check it pretty easily, but I don't understand it. The calf kick, yeah, it, it's revolutionized the game. Guys like Connor still don't utilize it. Yeah, and go to the thigh first so they don't yeah. expect it to the calf. Maybe, maybe. But I always watch, like, what what did Connor in in some of his fights was that unrecognizable. He's like, what is this low calf kick? When Dustin started tagging him with that. <laughs> oh, hey, set right him hand. down. Yeah. Bruno sat him down. Boy, that's it. Oh, oh that's it. Lord. A new champion. Jeez. Quick six. Quick, Quick wow. six, Bruno, Bruno Capaloza. What a shot, man. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, I told you. I'm really he really bad. barked. Yeah, he barked. He <laughs> barked on him. I'm <laughs> Woo! Him. I owe you 200. So. Jeez, Louise. Look at him confused. Head nodded up. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what a right hand down the pipe there. Mail Bruno Capaloza putting on a performance <laughs> in night one of PFL 2. <laughs> the mailman versus the dog. Yeah, he, look, all he fans. <laughs> okay. Did he just kiss his boy hey, on the cool. lips? He hey, man. Happy for him. Yeah. Uh, again? Yeah. Two times. Yeah, it's 2023, partner. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Two, Come times. Here. <laughs> Two times. Two times. Pucker up. Here we go. Look at this right hand down the pipe. Boom. Like Dang. Dark. Couldn't even drop the package off. Oh. And a big <laughs> hammer fist on top. Oh, row, row, row. And then runs him over with yeah, the ground yeah. and pound, man. Now he about to go act in a movie. Jumanji Jeez. 3. <laughs> Jumanji 3 coming soon. Stunt double. Jumanji 44. <laughs> That's wild. Dwayne's Revenge. What Why a shot, man. Dude in a jeans, Do you think they're going to kiss again? <laughs> yeah, I hope. <laughs> there it kiss. is, man. What a fight. We got our main event coming up. You've been waiting on this one, Jake. Wow. I mean, it's it's been some awesome fights. It's been a great awesome, night of fights, man. Awesome stoppages. Great stream, great fights. Some some insight on Jasper's mindset throughout. It's been beautiful, man. I ain't gonna lie, there's nothing going on in here. What do you mean, man? You're full you're full of great stuff. Ideas. Like what? impressions. Like what? Getting me in a stew. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we could uh we could arrange that. Jake, as a tattoo expert, I have none. I need to get one. What are we saying? What, what would what would best represent me? I know the typical. You know, you could do the microphone. You know. No, don't don't get a microphone tattooed right, ever. Right here on my hand. No, don't ever do, do that. that. No. Don't ever do that. Not even the old school one. Nope. Dang. All right. Not. Don't ever do that. Okay. Just call me before you get any tattoos. He he says this to everyone. He's such an advocate on like. He's very adamant about making sure he's there for people's first tattoos. Yeah, because people like deal. don't know. It's a big deal. And you could like fuck it up. What was your first tattoo? Mine was on my lip in here because okay. I was scared like my parents would see it. Freaky music we got. It says Venture. When did you get that one? I think I was like 18. When he opened a Venture Capital. Yeah. Okay. And, well, it's it means for a lot of things, but one of them is Venture Capital. A, yeah, multi meaning. That first but also one it's a daring or risky undertaking or journey. That's yeah. the definition. Venture, yeah. So I just... That's my. I was thinking of putting. <laughs> that's my life, brother. Hashtag. Um, is, tell me if this is lame, if this is cringe, Lord. Okay. I was thinking about putting all my surgeries down. I've had seven surgeries. Putting them, tattooing them? Like, I don't know, in some way. Not like <laughs> August 9th. 
right right hand, you know, whatever. So I've had a bicep tear, two labral tears in my shoulders, hernia, uh, bilateral hernia, um, ankle, and you should just tattoo broken. Yeah, how did you do all of that? Right Football, on your man. Neck. Football for 16 years will do it to right, I have to go. All right. It's time, baby. Welcome back to the Jasper yeah, concept. Paper mache. Hey, bruh. Paper mache. After you, put it, after you put it in the solvent, though. After you put it in the solvent. That's it. Jasper, your main event, Jasper, now. You know this. Yeah. Uh, never, damn. Bro. Main event, Jasper. There's a lot on the going main on. stage. Yeah, who we got? 4K people watching. What you want to say to him, bro? I beat my meat on an airplane one no, time on the way to Miami. No, 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 chill. Look, I, we already got clipped, bro. We've already been clipped. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> no you never beat your meat on an airplane. That, you that you that bored? What? No, How no. long? You've never beat your meat on an airplane. Never. <laughs> like a friend's house, maybe? I don't know. That's about it. You, <laughs> you fucked up. Do, we're such a homeboy house. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, gotta no, be no, that's, wait, that's way crazy. Like, think about how fucked up he was at his homeboy house. Just like you, you was. Nah. Yeah, I mean, whatever, bro. You, you stay a weekend or something, you know. Yeah. I don't know. You said on a plane, dude. Yeah. And <laughs> there's like being at twenty homeboys' houses or like eighty at once. I don't know. I'm never gonna see none of these niggas again. Hopefully, they didn't see that at all. Nah, bro. What you, know, you, if you leave the door open the or seat. something? I don't know, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Who's his main event? <laughs> You have in the main event. You want to you want to go for the name pronunciation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you, go. you got this. This one right here. Yeah, first one. Oh, Larissa. Larissa Pacheco. Yeah. And Julia Bud. Yeah. So I'll give you some insight. Larissa Pacheco, returning PFL champion, just beat Kayla Harrison last year. Yeah, Big she, upset, and coming back to defend her belt, man. She looked like she got it. Yeah, she she's dangerous. She looked nervous. In the picture, she looks nervous. Yeah. Very. That's when you know someone is when they took the picture and was nervous for the fight. Who you got? I'm gonna go with uh, Larissa, returning champ, dangerous. When you take out Kayla Harrison, that's a big deal. You're talking about the two-time defending world champ. You take her out. Damn, she's five six. She's your height. Reverse the numbers, and you're right. No, 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 no. We saw the people already saw it, Jasper. I you saw can't the lie comments. to the people. You can't lie to the people. The comment said you're five four. Don't make me put the glove back on, the bro. The comment, bro, you could put two gloves on. <laughs> Tired? You want to go to bed? I'm good, bro. I'm chilling. Wait, how are you gonna fight with all these uh, ripped up bones and muscles? That's what we got to get figured out, bro. Yeah. That's why I come down to Puerto Rico, get on the pimp bed or whatever. I saw you today using what was you? You was using the. I was sitting in the sauna. The sauna. There you go. I gotta yeah. get that going too. I'm fat as fuck. I'm just stop, talking. bro. Stop. You living? That's all it is. Hardly. Life, man. Life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my pit bull back on. He know he talking about. Look, yeah. The comments did say that. Damn he you guys. he's standing zesty. Like, oh my god, I just lost. <laughs> Damn you guys. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big win though, man. Big win for Bruno there. Six points. Ooh, oh, and he shouts out the Celsius yeah. too. You saw that? Live fit, baby. Jeez, he's shouting it out for you. If Tank wins, Jake got to shave his head. Nah, bro, that's too far. He need to shave that shit regardless. Jake, uh, you think Jake pulls winning. off bald? No, but he not. You're looking at young hair. Greg Paul at that case. Nah, his shit is like knuckle hair. <laughs> knuckle hair. Man throwing knuckle balls the rest of his life. That's crazy. Called him Tim Wakefield with it. Huh? Okay, buddy. Like he can't even go out during strong winds. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Dang. It's he like got, that. You got to let that shit go, man. And I'm. You got to come home. I'm your real friend. You got to come home. I love you for free, Jake. You got to come on home, Get buddy. It off. Look, he making sure you know to live fit. Yeah, bro. This man just said he can't go out in a strong win. I'm done. Just keep it a thousand, man. Facts. Um, yeah. So you're never gonna fight. First of all, I'm just gonna get that out. You're not telling you telling me no, sir. You you're not letting yeah, me no, do no, it. No, 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 no. You might my, my health advisor now. I don't want to see you get hurt. You're a nice Thanks, bro. Guy. I appreciate that. You got a big heart. Thanks, man. That would be sad if you lost. I'm like a big weight fan. Yeah. yeah. Let's go, dude. I'm a big what. Jasper fan. I I, I need that first cut when we drop. Yeah. First cut. Brother. I'm playing it on live stream. I don't care. Yeah, bro. We plug that. We do that, bro. It's Dang like that. Man. We'll do it on, on, on a uh, plug? on a massive live stream. That'll be the intro. Nice. How often do you stream? I think once, twice a month, depending on. I'll be streaming like that. Why not? I got videos to make, man. Seems like got a lot of people in there. Podcasts to run. We do. We do. We, we get together. 
we chatted up. You know, it's like a, it's like the family barbecue. We see each other. Seems like a good community though. Yeah, I got the best on the, I was on the platform. Comments, there are some nice guys. In yeah, there. best on the platform, man. They write for me. You see what happened in the KSI situation? They wouldn't let me down, man. Yeah, no. They were there for me. <laughs> Appreciate y'all, chat. I like Thank how, you. I like how Jake rides for you too. Yeah, that was that was dope. I didn't get a chance to tell him that yet, but that was dope. Was he didn't guy. have to do that. That was that was really cool. It was very genuine. It really was. I appreciate him for that. What I don't know if he's going to appreciate is how we get that freaking mixer back into the studio. I don't know if the people know that we took Logan's mixer out of his studio. They'll get over it. Yeah. It's, it's impulsive. Fun. It's the impulsive lifestyle. Yeah. We do this. He's still wanting that microphone, bro. They he took the mic from out. him. He just want to bark all night. <laughs> <laughs> they took that mic from him. Who is that? Reggie Bush in the building. Okay. Why? What you know about Reggie Bush, man? Nothing. I'm what? I'm 22. That's true. What you know about him, though? How old are you? How old do you think I am? I don't know. You look like an old ass baby. Like, <laughs> like, uh, like. I got a baby face, but it's wrinkled type thing. Like, like very like premature, like like mid stage Benjamin Button. Look yeah, at look at like there I he is. I want to say 34 and 24. I'm I'm right kind of in the middle. I'm 30. 30? Yeah, bro. I'm an old man. I don't know baby. if I want to say, damn, or like, oh, that's young. You want to Kevin Hart me? <laughs> damn. <Yeah. laughs> oh, nah, she's putting belt to ass. Yeah. Honey P. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I told you. I don't you. even got to see the other person. I told you. Larissa Pacheco yeah, is that, nasty. It, Luke, I told Luke you. Luke Kang could be on the other side. I told you, It don't you, matter. Bro. She's putting belt to ass. <laughs> for sure. It's the main event time. Boom. Look at her. Sleepy Inside time. leg kick. Right Sleepy here. Time. Bang. Bro, she's she, cold. She man. got a boosy fade. Nigga. She's cold. <laughs> she is cold, buddy. Hell no. She Imagine is she nasty. just slap you. Like, what do you do if she slaps you? Uh, you apologize immediately. Yeah, you for got whatever the right you did idea. wrong. <laughs> for whatever you did wrong. Sleepy time. Look at this. Look, my look, look, done. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, she's nasty. With that's your returning champ. Oh, pig left hook. Boom. Damn. 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 Boom, boom, double jab. Oh, that was Yee! nice. Buddy. There's Kayla and Harrison. she has zero losses? Kayla Harrison hadn't lost um, until that fight. Yeah. Yeah, she jacked up. I see why she lost. She is jacked up, buddy. She's jacked. So you don't think I can do tattoos? I can't pull it off, man? I've been trying to get one. I don't know. It might be a little too old, partner. What? <laughs> no, I didn't know there was an age limit on it. Nah, uh, if you get some fly shit, but you someone said Jake Paul looking different. Yeah, I tanned a little bit <laughs> before I came back downstairs. Um, you said I got a tan. What are you trying to say, bro? Hmm. I ain't gonna lie, you doing bad, like very bad, like <laughs> okay. milk white. <laughs> <laughs> like replace your hat white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Like you stay in the house a lot. Huh? Yeah, no, I do. I be in the house. You wear a lot of sweaters. Yeah, the hoodies. I'm hoodied up. I understand. It's like that, bro. I could tell. Like, I can see the blood coursing through the veins that I Come on see. now. It's, like, bad. It's bad. It's bad. I could give you some, some melanin, though. You're going to, like... What color would you say I am? <sighs> I like a caramel, right? Yeah, for sure. And you would never lie to me? Never. It's like a like a three-day-old uh, sit-out-in-the-sun caramel. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, yeah, right, yeah. right. That's what, that's what it is, bro. That voice caramel too. Facts. Hey, what's it like whispering to each other? Peanut gallery. I was once one of you guys. Someone said, "Well, you should get a, a Manasarado tattoo or punch in your scar." You should get a boosty fade. I'm I'm letting my hair grow out, but usually I got a nice fade. I'm trying to let it what's grow. What's with out the though. glasses? Maybe that's what I don't know what it was. That my glasses. I'm not wearing them right now, and I can barely see anything because I don't like keeping up with them. But I wear them at home. Nice self sabotage. I like that. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh. Vidal Riley, Tommy Fury. What are you saying? What y'all saying? Uh, I think Vidal Riley, from what I know, it, he's a he's a he's a decent fighter. Uh, I don't know too much about it. Like I said, I'm like not completely educated. I I think he's a good fighter. He's cold. But Tommy Fury got them long ass octopus arms. He's got a long reach. I think he's at, what do they say, 80 inch reach for his, his height, which yeah, is crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's like, that's crazy. That's insane. I, I'm going to say Tommy Fury. You going Tommy? Nah, but I'll smoke some, y'all. Really? I'm sorry. Yeah. 
I gotta see some highlights or something. Yeah, like. pull him up. Vidal, Vidal smokes him. He's cold, buddy. He's cold. The problem is the disconnect at like UK and US. Actually, no. I hope he gets his ass whooped. I just thought about it. Who, Tommy? Vidal. I saw something on Twitter where it was a video of Jake running from 50 dudes that Mayweather had out. And he was like, oh, like, from what it looks like, it was only a couple of them and they just wanted to talk. And it's like, yeah, ironic what it looks well, like. Hold on, on a camera. second. You know that we've on this live stream exposed that that was a fake video. Yeah, cool. But, like, he's too far to just make these politics. He doesn't oh, okay. know anything. That's the problem. He just speaks, speaks, speaks. Well, I did, I did at the time tell him. I was like, nah, bro, you're wrong on this one. But now that we found out that it was game. Is that a real thing? Is it a real – like the Tommy versus – People in chat just ask me what they oh. think. Well, the reason they ask is because Tommy Fury is now ranked number 38 in the WBC rankings. Vidal Riley is ranked 40th. Makes sense to fight, right? Damn. Yeah, I guess so. After Jake gets his run back, right? We got to get that one first. Yeah. A lot wow. of people saying they got Vidal. That's what I think, bro. Really? He's just he, – he's more – oh, here we go. We got Jake on. I know that guy. That guy on screen, you know him? Yeah, a little bit. You know that man's? So what do you got to say here? I need caffeine. Could I take one of these? Oh, I, that's on you, bro. I don't know. I don't know if the Celsius police is I can outside. Take one out the front. On a scale of 1 to 10, how discombobulated is Jake after being on a live stream this long? Bro, he he's out of it right now, yeah. Freaked out, yeah. losing his mind. A hundred percent. No, I can see Extremely it. Extremely introverted. I can see it. This the, I can tell this doesn't. Yeah. I think he smashed it tonight, though, to be honest. What's that section of YouTube? ASMR. That's Twitch, brother. Nah, trust me. I'll be watching. See, bro, you're weird. What do you mean? Why do you watch ASMR? You see? This is what real love looks like. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> me? You know, I get... I, I'm what? BLM? Wrong. No, uh, for sure, but you know... I. <laughs> how it looks when I do it. You know what I'm saying? No, for sure, but you know what happens? Is oh, what people, oh, look here. Okay. Didn't know this was coming. Kayla Harrison. Didn't she get her ass whooped? This is the girl that fought uh, Larissa Pacheco in the final last year. She looks like she's still toe up. I've been subscribed. Pretty simple. Two time. I've been subscribed PFL for champion. an hour. I can comment now. Hey, my guy. Appreciate that. Somebody said shawty big as hell. Take that back. Talking about you? What are you talking about? Oh, no. Don't don't make me, don't, Chad, don't make me come through the camera, bro. Yeah. Don't make me do that. There it is, man. 145 pounds, three-round fight. Julia Budd, Larissa Pacheco. <laughs> bro. <laughs> She's scary. Shouldn't even be a fight. It's through. She's scary, bro. I guarantee you it's less than two rounds. You saying two rounds right now? Two rounds. Someone said only an hour fake fan. Chat, we talked about Kingpin. We talked about it. Hey, Julia built though. Ready for this? Oh, they talking about how my feet are positioned, bro. This is awkward. Jasper, show us your hairline. I actually have a really good hairline. Like, I, I'm going to have hair when I'm old. Not me, brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a good family hairline lineage? Yeah, my shit cool. My hair is crazy because it's under a hat, but the line cold. GP did you dirty with the hairline. Yeah, I ain't going to lie, brother. It's over with, bro. Your gene pool bad. You want to start here? Just chilling, bro. Come around, man. Let's trade off. You want to trade spots? A little switcheroo? Absolutely. Absolutely. Can you hold this? Yeah. There's such a gentleman. The main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, your boy Bruno was repping hard for the live fit. Yeah, he yeah, was. He, <laughs> he was pointing that thing. He did like a bottle spin on one of them. It was crazy. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Sorry. You think
think that uh, there's actually Celsius in the can? Probably not. <laughs> right after, because they got to get, you know. Yeah, it's probably going to spill everywhere. Yeah, you got to watch out. He was doing tricks with it. He was killing it. So Jasper said. Uh, Tony Hawk is getting punched up. <laughs> okay. So Jasper oh said. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jasper. <laughs> That's crazy. Jasper said round two stoppage for uh, Larissa Pacheco. I'm going to go. I'm gonna like go. Larissa's going to win? Yeah. 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 I'm going to go round one. Stoppage? Yeah, bro. Wow. You got to make a statement here, man. Kayla Harris is watching. We saw her on the on the TV with you, bro. Oh. I don't think this is going to be that easy of a fight. I'm saying maybe not because now I'm, I'm looking at Julia. She's built up. Let's let's talk about some some uh behind the scenes stuff here. Now, plus she's at a little bit lower of a weight than she normal. She does have right. She's coming down a little bit. Yeah. But you're talking about Julia, who's been in the game for a while now. Um, 0-2 in 2022. I don't know. Five first-round knockouts. I'm saying, dude. Yeah, she, it's, it's done. The fight was won before the contract was signed. Okay, Jasper, talk to him. Fight promoter right there. Reggie Bush in the crowd tonight. Reggie Bush, Ray Reggie Lewis. Bush, man. Legend in the game. Oh, man, Jack, did they, did they take his Heisman Trophy? Still got it. Still won't give it back, even after the NIL deals. Crazy. Makes no sense. That's fucked up. Took it from him just to do nothing. Like, everybody knows he's a Heisman winner, and now guys are getting eight figures sometimes to go in and play college ball. Did they give it to someone else, like the other guy? No, they who just did confiscated it. it. That's so so there's just not a Heisman winner for that year. You're not going to see much of a difference. You'll see the same Larissa. You're going to constantly move forward, bringing excitement to the fights. I, by the way, still have no idea where I'm staying tonight. So we're going to figure that out. He should sleep over. Can we keep him? Hold yeah, we can keep him here. You're not going back to Orange County, brother. There's nothing there for you anymore. No, no, no. Uh, this is my permanent home now. Yeah. You're going to stick me in one of the closets and have me live streaming all day, all you night. Could, you could sleep right there. W. Can I take the title belt home with me? Logan you can, can win it. So you can, can have Logan's right. WWE belt. Well, he didn't win it, so it's not real, but, you know. Ask Roman Reigns about that, you know. Yeah, that I don't know why he has that, yeah, actually. Yeah, he's living a fake life. I heard you told him you're going to be on my album. Yeah. You are. That's nice. <laughs> That's exciting. Here we go, Isn't right? that funny? Yes. That's great. I'm Let's actually go. super excited. So we actually like, I'm very excited. It's going to be great. We have a lot and, of songs together. And, bro, know. we should make a sick-ass music video. Well, trust me, the whole shit going to be cold. Facts. Not this Dana White diss video either, like a real, a real song, a real song. You don't like the Dana White diss? No, he nah, likes he it a lot. He didn't like it. I, I'm saying no, I liked it. I'm just saying it didn't perform well. Yeah, like people. I thought the people liked it though. It was dope. It didn't. It didn't. Really. It, it wasn't every day, bro. You know. Yeah. But not everything can be a classic like that. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard out here. 28 years of age, Julia Bud, 39. 39. 11 years her elder. Yep. Say it again. They weigh as much as you. One forty-five. You a buck forty-five? Lean, lean though. Listen, yeah. don't be, don't be coming in the streets for Marcos. He's he's dangerous. You still play RuneScape? I ain't never played no more. Hey, RuneScape was RuneScape dope back in the day. Was fire. It was dope. Y'all play y'all played Age of Empires? That was my shit back in the day. Civilization game. Final Fantasy was cool. It was cool. I mean, it wasn't the greatest game ever. She, you like you like Julia Bud? I'm trying to think of my favorite video game ever. Because I got off video games pretty early on. Minecraft takes the cake. It was probably like Matt. No, FIFA. I played FIFA a lot when or I was a kid. Or COD. COD was dope. I was never a good shooter, though, man. Nah, Halo. Actually. Oh, Halo 2. Yeah, bro. What are we yeah, talking Halo, about? Halo, Halo 2 and Halo 3? Come Halo on. GTA. San Andreas so GTA. One? Batman. The Batman trilogy game. San Andreas dope. GTA. Um, Fire. Although I'd play the game and I'd start being one of those law-abiding citizens, I'd like turn when you're supposed to and like no, yeah, no, yeah, bro. yeah. No. I was like, I was making sure I hit my blinker and stuff, you know. Jason Herzog, we should. They get, you I, know, see, I want to interview a referee on BS with Jake Paul. Fun we fact, should just write it down. Fun fact about Jason Herzog, they get him for most fights because he's like, I think he speaks like seven or eight languages. So he how does someone even learn the, that? That's crazy. Here we go. Round one, no touch. Wow. Ooh, Julia Bud's not no hurt. Julia touch. Bud's not playing. 
Wow. Minus 875 for Pacheco here. Ooh. Right hand. Through the break. If you are – oh, yeah, this is not good. If you are Julia Budd, you got to start so, looking – oh, nice three-point so The combo. uppercut's right there for Pacheco. you got to start looking – yeah. Because I was going to say, you got to start looking to shoot. Oh, trade outside leg kicks here. Kick for kick. I like Julia Budd's in and out movement, though. Side to side, not staying on the cage here. Won't last long. Can't move straight back, though. Bro, Cannot move straight Pacheco back. Pacheco needs to throw an uppercut and she'll knock her out right now. Oh, my goodness. Literally right now. Like, the fight won't go five more seconds if she throws an uppercut. Bro, One, two. it's literally right there. Yeah, it's just dicking right underneath the right it's hand. It's right there. Oh, overhand. I don't like this sitting in one spot, moving straight back here from Julia. There we go, sliding away, away from that big power right hand. I don't even got to really watch it. I know it's going to happen. For, you said first round or second round? I you said know. first round. Jasper said second round. Very patient here. Bang, right hand. Bro, it just, uh, it's there, though. You're got right. Got no, nothing to – just got to go down to the body. We. It's just same combination. Just jab right hand. Bro, right switch hand. it up. Switch it up, brother. You want that level change, yeah, Jake? Yeah, there's n been no body attack thrown. It's still all to the head. The, in MMA, the jab to the body is, like, so underutilized. Super underutilized. You know who used it really well? It was George St. Pierre. Yeah. Lived and died on that jab, man. And off of it, his timing with the double legs, his kicks behind yeah, it. Because you can't tell if it's a shot or not, really. That level change. Hesitation from Julia Budd. Very patient right now from Pacheco. I like this. Not forcing the action. Yeah, I'm glad she's not explosive. I thought she was going to come out explosive. The uppercut. It's there. <sighs> level change, uppy. See, I'm just going to – I feel like I'm. this is going to be one of those things where as soon as she does it, she knocks her out, and I'm going to get like, like a, a, dope, genius. a dope clip. You look like a genius when that happens. Right hand. Left hook on the break. Dominating the space and control here as well as the strike game. Oh, look at that. Caught the leg kick and the takedown. Julia yeah. Budd flipping the script here. That's big. That's big. You can steal around here. You start throwing some ground and pound. Hips got to be higher. Oi. Some shots down. Do, do you think that when Julia's friends she is go. She's trying to pin that arm, though. Do you think when Julia's friends go up to her, they say, hey, what's up, bud? That one's probably more likely than the lad one. That's probably more likely than lad. Than lad, right? Yeah, it's probably more likely. I'd mm. say 50%. Trying to okay, pin that arm. Did you just assault me? Well, we got it on cam, bro. A little head position here, Jake. You've seen some of this in, in clinches, obviously, in the boxing game. That under head position. Trying to shove your forehead into someone's chin. Bother them a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Dig your chin yep. into their shoulder. Yep. A little cheeky it's stuff. It's all those little games. With. Yeah, yeah just fucking around. Just being petty. Yep. Fighting's sometimes, petty sometimes. Bro, you have to be. You gotta, and people are like, oh, it's dirty, whatever. No, bro, it's the game. Get so somebody off their of the game, game, get in their head a little bit. Part of it, man. Last minute, I really think Julia needs to really open up and throw here. I know she doesn't want to let go of this position, but you have to be offensive here, especially after losing the majority of the, the uh, striking exchanges. I mean, those you're scoring there, but not really. <laughs> a little Conor McGregor shoulder strike there. This is what you'd call the lockdown from Pacheco. Not letting her posture up. She's kind of staying safe. Trying to throw the high guard up, though. I guess this kind of becomes like a hard round to score. Yeah, because you're not seeing a ton of – she might – she's going for that arm bar. She's going to try to sweep the foot over. Nope, couldn't get it. The problem is you're not seeing a lot of offense from this position, right, from Julia Budd. Oh, oh. She's working arm. She's working triangle, working triangle. Super, nah, not enough. Tough round to score there. Yeah. You don't get a lot of offense from Julia. It was a nice takedown. 
Control time's there, but on the feet, I think Pacheco did enough. Can they wire me into Larissa Pacheco's corner and tell her to throw an uppercut? <laughs> Can we make this happen, Marcos? Go get, like, I, go get that done, Marcos. <sighs> we need the earpiece here. Surely the corner's got to let her know, man. It was there from the from the rip. Or, like, throw some punches to the body. If you're Julia Budd, what's the strategy round two? You already given Larissa's adjustments. I would go back to the takedowns right. and try to just score there because she's not scoring with the striking no. at all. No. And she's going to get tired if she keeps on moving like that. Trying to just stay on the outside. Yeah. Not, not get touched with that right hand is not going to do it. You guys know a lot about fighting. We try. I fight my demons every day. Oh. Bars. I wonder what's on her schedule. Can we see? What's on her calendar? Lose it looks again. colorful. You said lose again? Jesus. She's only ever lost one fight, bro. Cool. It's a loss. Facts? What's wrong with losing? Yeah, bro. What's wrong with that? Nothing, bro. You're a winner in my book. That was a firm handshake. Boom. That's a lot of business. <laughs> <laughs> I practice and yeah. Damn. Let me see yours. I hate when people go too hard though and like. Yeah. Try you trying to like, like pop knuckles yeah. and stuff? Yeah. Bro, me like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, that was like that was nice. Round two, you got you can't give him the dead fish either though. Yeah, yeah, you got to be solid. The dead fish just immediately is, is yikes, bad though. vibes. Yep. I'm shaking people's hand. It's like this. Yeah, you, this one right here is. Oh, bro, you can't do it. I'll be doing this to people. They'd be like, ah, I'll be like, yeah, this. yeah. That's immediate. One, bro, still again. no uppercut. Come on. <laughs> Level change, uppercut. There's it's actually the outside leg kick. It's actually scary how much the uppercut's there. Yeah. And it's the same combination, man. You 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 become predictable like this, and this is where. I was Ooh. gonna say this is where Juliana Buck can start timing it, but she gives up double unders here. Let's see if Pacheco can level change and get something. Twenty mile per hour strike speed to the school zone strike. The school zone punches flying. That in seems there. to be like the average kind of yeah, clock. The, in yeah, the, yeah, around ten one twenty. Twos. Yeah. A Colby Covington position here. He would start dragging that upper body down, stepping in, but that position's lost. Like at this point, you let it go. It's it's a it's a diminishing returns at this point. Boom! Nice knee. Yeah, my prediction about to hit. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm already done for, bro. That's what you should have bet me on. You gonna lose that hundred, big bro? I'm not losing nothing, brother. Sorry, sorry about it. Hit me with that wire <laughs> transfer, you feel? Yeah. Cash app. I'll send you the invoice from the Way Concept LLC, buddy. Sounds good. Kill Jasper LLC. <laughs> Again, the one two, Jake. What are you saying? It's just baiting? bad. Like no hook, no anything. She baiting the uppercut. No. As soon as she throws it, I swear to God, the fight's over. If she like really puts her hip. Oi. Into it. Oh, okay. Nice outside leg kick. She's tired. She's tired. I'm tired of winning so much. Pacheco is this is not good though. To yeah, be tired I, I was wrong. I said on the stream upstairs when I was on the ESPN thing that. Pacheco is like probably more motivated after winning the million dollars last season. Yeah, but it kind of looks like she might have had the opposite oh, happen. Man, where watch, like watch you get the million, uh, bro. As soon as she throws a right uppercut, I swear to God, it's it, over. It's over. Oh, hey, it's Please there. Just yeah, throw bro. it. It's there. It's. Oh, it's they so say that winning the belt. Well, they say Leon Edwards says winning the belt made him thirty percent better. I wonder if if that why is like a, confidence. Oh. Just as a fighter in general, made him better, and you saw it in the rematch with with Usman. Where does Usman go from in the air? I mean, you think he has to go back and fight one of these killers, man? Like, give me the comes on Jamaya fight. Why not? You know, why not? That guy's free mm. if he can make the weight. No, oh no, no, no! Nice three punch combo again. Listen here, Julia Bud. She's hanging around here, man. Now, granted, I still think she's losing this fight, but she's hanging around here. And it looks like, to be honest, she's a more them, fresh fighter right yeah, now. Yeah, I could see them scoring it weird, though, like somehow. Right hand. Julia Budd. Another one. Mm. Finishing up with the jab. Fellas, hold on a second here. We have ourselves a fight. Yeah, this is, this is dangerous. The champ is in trouble. And shoots the double. Gets it. Wow. Oh, oh, or not, south position or maybe. For a second there. Ooh, oh, man, turned. turned it over. Side control Damn. from Pacheco. Damn. 
And this is a rest. If she would have got that takedown, it would have been big. Mm. That's a round winner. This is a rest position, and she will sit here for a minute if she can, the full minute, and ride this round out. Looking heel. Nope. Gets the half guard. Oh, arm triangle. Be careful. Be careful. Yeah, that's what Bo was, was uh, getting Jake with. Problem is, though, the hips are in the wrong place. Yeah, Jake? When you were teaching this, the hips yeah, yeah, yeah. got to flip them. Yeah, over the, Bo does over his the, weird, though. Bo goes for mount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never seen Put, anybody go arm triangle for mount like he does. Yeah, you got to have more of the... Mm, and the sh one of shimmy, those and one of these? And the shimmy on the... One, of the, one more of those is what you the, said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you were yeah. holding there. It's not, you got a lot of experience. Yeah, I, it's almost like it's just like natural to me. I can't even explain it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fact. It's one of those things. It's one of them. Ones. You just got to hit. It's like Michael Jordan not being able to coach basketball. It's just so natural to him. Yeah. It's know? like, how do Michael I even Jordan explain of this? Techniques, bro. Oh, look at this. Full mount. Well. Well, dang, man. Deal. That's tough because, again, this is almost the reverse of what happened in the first round where Pacheco was winning the exchanges on the feet, got taken down. It felt like Bud was winning the exchanges on the feet second round and then gets the takedown flipped on her. The AI trying to score this right oh, now is just computing. <laughs> yeah. Bunch of big it's, ass sending, it's sending Morse code right now. Big ass jumble. I don't know what that sound was he made. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was yeah, that was a little something else. Where you learn that? <laughs> mean streets of Westlake, bro. Yeah. That's where it's he learned it. tough that. out there. <laughs> <laughs> mean streets of Westlake. Oh, geez, they choked her with the water. Not good. What? And they tried to feed her the water, and she Boom. choked. Ooh. That right hand was nasty, man, I'm telling you. And she's starting to time that one, two from Pacheco. That's why. And then goes into the – boom, big double, but a little too overzealous. North-south, and then gave up position. This third round might be legitimately the, the deciding round. Why are you not – the fight on the – Say it again. Why is the fight – TOS, bro. You can't show the fights. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's immediate TOS. Did Jasper get a hair transplant? Yes. No. Last round here. I, again, I do think Pacheco's winning this fight. I just think that it may be a little closer than the odds think mm -hmm. here. With Julia Budd landing a bigger percentage and landing more. Yeah. And they both have one takedown. Interesting. Interesting, big Jake Pauler. Outside leg kick. That's been there all fight. If she wants to just live on that, it's been there. Bro, Faints. she would just throw the right Oy. uppercut. So she shook that one off. That hurt. Jake, is it confirmed? Anytime you shake off a punch, it fe you felt it. Wait, what? When you're in there, when you start shaking your head at punches, when they land, is that the ones you feel? It's the oh, one. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah. She's ooh, wobbling. Ooh. Yeah, she's on, she's on stumbly she's legs. Throw, ooh. Sometimes when you shake your head at a punch, it's if they actually landed something good, but it didn't actually hurt you. Gotcha. So not let them get confidence. Okay. Because I've, um, I've seen you give a couple shakes in your day. Yeah, it's like when the audience or some or like Maybe they go react. ooh, yeah, and then it's like, like no, like nah, no, no, that no. that was not shit. You give the you go to the glove lick though, yeah. Yeah. That's your that's your your go to the double glove lick. You ever concerned about it's what's bad, on the It's bad, though, because gloves? you technically, like, yeah, yeah no. nah, at the just, moment, you got to just, just, yeah. We taste that. But it is it is a weird thing because, like, technically, then it means, like, you did you got, land. Exactly. Like, it's, you're, you're but trying it's, to show the people that didn't, but you're showing your opponent it, you got me. Yeah, it's almost, it's, like, almost natural as a fighter to do it, though. It's, like. It's an ego thing, I think, too, where it's, like, ah, it's he weird. didn't catch me. It's you know? weird because, like, it just happens naturally as a fighter. I yeah. don't know why. Like, you don't think it's about just doing natural it. natural reaction. Yeah. You're just like, oh, you yeah. people. It's so weird. I'm sure it happens in the sparring room a ton, too. Oh, no, that's where it starts yep. is is for sure. Like, you start talking back and forth with the sparring partner. I've told people this before. I want you to correct me if I'm wrong. You, I think, oh, look at this. Looking to snake the leg, go over your neck and choke. I think that you don't have spars. I think you have fights. Like, in training all yep. the time? Yep. Yeah, 100%. Yep. Because people try to come in and, like, prove something to me. Yeah. But. It's always a tough situation because you're, you're trying to get, maybe, I don't know, but it seems like maybe you're trying to get work, but guys are like, oh, it's Jake Paul. Yeah. You gotta, you can't go in there and get caught. And there's, him. like, we're always filming the spars. Ah, uh, okay. So, like, they see that. 
The cameras come on and it's different. They don't want to be on the Instagram montage nope. edited by Gus over here. You got a couple. He'll, of he'll, them. he'll throw you in that. You got a couple. I was going to say, <laughs> you got a couple in there. <laughs> what did he say? Don't put me on the gram. Don't yeah, because I, I, I. Ooh, ooh. Oma Plata? No. Yo, Julia Bud's got to get going here, though. Got to get going. We might need a, we might need a finish, man. This is definitely a, an eye opener for the champ, though, right? Regardless how this decision goes, if you're Kayla Harrison watching this, Damn. you know yeah. what you. Oh, oh, hammer fist from the back. Dang again. She's stuck on that leg. That's beautiful. Oh man, she lets it go. Uh. Wow. Drive over. Oh, the underhook. Wow. Seals it there. But yeah, if you're Gayla Harrison watching this, you know. Hey, listen, you got me last year, but there's there's definite holes here. Yeah, for you know sure. What I mean? And what a fight right now from 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 both ladies. Julia Budd coming in as a minus or a plus seven hundred or something like that. And putting up a hell and of putting a up, fight. Yeah, and doing her thing here. But if you want to put a statement on this, if you're Pacheco's right now, head arm triangle potential. Yup. Yup, arm triangle. She's going to try to get the hips over. Oh, that shoulder pressure too, man. Nah, she can't finish it from there. 42 seconds, she could ride this victory out here. Oh, going to the eyes with the, the hands there for a second. She's trying to get the hips across. Last 30 seconds. Yeah, she's going to ride this out for a victory. Boom. Crazy. She remains the champ, I guess. Crazy. Yep. Oh, yeah, big shots here. Ribs, yeah, man. that's how you finish, though. Yeah. Woo! Tearing up ribs. Throw them on the Barbie. Ooh. Damn. Boom. Striking from your back, never a good option. There it is, folks. Respect at the end of it. Facts. Great fight. Fantastic main event. A lot of people watching that one. Yeah, that Let's go, baby. Come on now. Hell of a main event. What a night. What a night. Jake's Exciting. first live stream, man. Yeah, for <laughs> Let's go. How do you feel about the first live stream, man? I think it's um it's, it's a shock to the system. It's yeah? a shock to the system for yeah. sure. You running upstairs? I started off down? really strong and then and then I yep. kind of came down, but it happens, man. It Listen, happens. First one, many <laughs> more to come. Let's go. We Let's gonna, keep gonna, it up. It was fun. Yeah, heck yeah, bro. We're gonna get these these uh, PFL playoffs, PFL chip. That one will bang. And now we have more ideas. Look at our first live stream setup. Just wait till we get more scenes. Wait till we get an in ring cam. Wait till we get three mics. A three mic setup. Yeah, I'm third willing right now. Thanks. You could use this. No, they could hear you. I think. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of an echo, yeah. Nice. nice. Surely our AI judge doesn't give this one to, to Julia Budd, right? No shot. AI scoring can't. And the, the total strikes were pretty close, but round by round, I think this is this Pacheco's fight. And I feel like with that performance, you got to remind the people, even if it wasn't your best performance, you got to get on the mic and say, Kayla Harrison, I'm still champ. Where you at? Yeah. I did my thing. That's you the, would do that's yours. That's the money you gotta, fight. You got to. That's the money fight for sure. we lose audio here? No, it's just it, it's been doing this between fights. The PFL Smart Cage is a, is a very it's a sanctuary. Chocolate. You know. Lay out the sound. There's this is how the judges decide. This is how the AI scores. It's got to be in complete silence. The AI is going to get distracted. You can't you can't get it distracted. A computerized distraction. They might actually be taking time to score this, maybe. I don't know. Someone said waffles or pancakes. Waffles. Yeah, waffles for sure. Now you okay. I've been I've been called weird. I've been called uh many names for, for putting peanut butter on waffles. No, with that's syrup. that's amazing. Talk to me. You said what? That's amazing. Peanut butter on waffles. And with a syrup. peanut butter and Crunchy jelly butter. sandwich with it, the waffles as the Yeah, as the You're allergic to peanut butter? Dang, bro. That's a L. Yeah. That's a L. Now that's terrible. Here, here's a here's a question for you. This is this is something from the breakdown. <laughs> this is something from the breakdown podcast that is a very hot topic. 
Honey mustard on wings, yeah or day? Yes. Hell no. What? On wings? On chicken nuggets, I get it. It's the same thing, no, brother. No, bro. No, no, no. The bone in wings, no. You don't do that. It's the same I'm thing. With all type of bad vibes. <laughs> mm. You guys. I don't even mess with boneless wings. Do you eat? Do you eat pineapple on pizza? I will eat it. It's not a first like choice. Invitation. It's not a first choice. I will eat it. It's great. It's amazing. I'll eat barbecue chicken on pizza. See, that's that's second to pineapple. No, no, bro, no. You gotta be realistic. If you're doing Hawaiian pizza, there's something wrong with you. as a first choice. You got ham and pineapple. Like, what are we doing? You got barbecue and chicken. What do you mean? That's Buffalo like, chicken, chicken ranch pizza. You're doing too much. Crazy. You're doing too much. It's good, but you're doing too much. Buffalo chicken ranch pizza? So yeah. what's your favorite pizza? You might pizza? as well do buffalo chicken ranch sausage. You strike me as a pepperoni guy. Facts. <laughs> what's wrong with that, bro? You do look like a pepperoni guy. What's wrong guy. with that, bro? Do you have pepperoni nipples? Nah, they're a little smaller. <laughs> you got small nipples? Yeah. And they're kind of off-center. It's a little weird. They're yeah, like, a lot going on, brother. you know. <laughs> I can't. What'd you say a second ago? Can't help my life, bro. You're not in full control. Not, not I'm saying. Control of my life. Niggas allergic to shit. I might like it. Barbecue chicken peas is the one. That's just subpar. What's like your weirdest thing? Like your weirdest go-to? Pizza? No, just food in general. Like a combination. <sighs> hmm. Uh. Oh, here's mine. Ready? I'll eat ranch on white rice. That's weird as fuck. How about that? What you got for that's, that one, big boy? That's gross. On white rice. Yeah, Brandon, it's like that. Nigga, I'm, it's like that. Ranch on it. <laughs> and, and you're proud and you're like doubling I'm saying I got one. You saying Everybody like, got one, though. Everybody got one. I don't think I have anything like that. You're not. Oh, I put syrup on eggs. People think that's, that's weird. Not weird I don't all. do that, it's but not it's not weird, super not weird. weird. Yeah. It just, that, that happens. Like breakfast, you get it. Wow, the, the AI is giving it to Bud. Oh, no. Look at this. That's wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I was wrong. Look how close, though. I was wrong. I 30, was wrong. It was a, yeah, it was a combined total, I was total wrong. strike. Looks like a 30-27 for Larissa Pacheco. From the verdict scorecard. That doesn't mean that's the, the, the actual here. AI, AI <laughs> score did give it to Bud. Yo. Oh, no. AI is bad vibes. Yo, where is this AI machine? Like, where is it at? Chat saying that? Shout out Dixon. Dixon. <laughs> it's tough because round one we did say would be a close call. Unanimous. A 30-27 is not going to Juliana or Julia. Yeah. Yeah. Larissa Pacheco, 30-27, 29, 28, 30-27. Okay. Yeah. Unanimous decision. The AI was wrong. AI got one wrong tonight. That's AI crazy. Works. But that first round was close. And I can understand her getting the second. So I, you, you understand it. But there it is. I want to hear her her uh, post-fight speech and we'll get out of here. Amber with the head kick starting out the, the, Superstar the season on top. Took Beautiful. out the Kleba. <laughs> Took out the Kleba. Well, Jake, what are you saying, man? It's your first time on the way concept. What do you guys say to the people we had out, man? Thank you guys for watching. Honestly, it was really fun. We should do more of these. Facts. And uh, it's a good audience, good vibes. Oh, yeah. yeah I first, love it. First of many. Like what are you saying, Jasper? I like them a lot. They're very nice. I love all you guys at the way concept. W. I want to be friends with all of them. W. Production team, do we know how to end this stream? Well, yeah, we can just hit the stop stream button. But before we do, thank you guys for having me. All the production team, all the, the, the people here at the compound, I appreciate it. Much love to you guys. I want. I'd love to come you back. Sleep in the closet tonight. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Uh, going to sleep in the closet here. <laughs> They're gonna put me to work on the live streams here for uh, for the for the Jake crew. But yes, thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it, Jake. Thank you, my brother. I'll see you, bro. Good right, vibes. So I, I don't know what that was. Uh, I was I was coming here. Well, bro, cause you you're, go, no, but you go under, and then we and then we're there. We don't do that LA thing either. Where we're like, I hate that. Now. We gotta you gotta snap it off. Bang, boy. All right. No. Oh, snap. No. You, you want to go real crazy? This is what people down south of Memphis do. Ready? Bang. They throw that nah, gun that's on you, weird. They throw that's that gun weird. on you. <laughs> that's I t see, I told you. That's one, of, that's one of the things. Here, we'll do it. All right, chat. We'll see y'all later. Peace out, Jake. See you next time. No, <laughs> you're too aggressive with it, bro. You got to be lip wrist with it. You went. You got to draw on me. I was actually trying to shoot you. <laughs> I, I don't know. Chat, we'll see you guys.